Good morning, good morning. Spring has officially sprung. Uh, welcome to Sewing Street, my name's Vicky. We have got the most amazing springtime show, Easter show today. We're gonna to get everybody all prepped ready for Easter. Hope you've all had a lovely, lovely weekend and hope everybody had a nice mothering, mothering Sunday. I know it was such a strange year again, um, but hopefully everybody managed to have a lovely day on Sunday. Um, Oh, I'm so excited for today's show. We've got something really different as well. So Alison Marion is in the building. Tons of Easter makes for you. We're going to do a jam-packed masterclass with Alison Marion. Well, two hours special, one at nine o'clock and one at ten, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, now, as I said, it's light outside. We've got a spring in, this, in our step. Derek, I must say, if you're watching, Derek, you really cheered me up last night. I must say, I've, I've obviously been at home since Thursday and I've literally been at home since Thursday, since I was here last. And I was just starting to get all a bit like, oh, I'm just getting uncomfortable, fed up. And anyway, I put Derek's sing-along on last night and it cheered me right up. We were singing Oliver, we were singing loads of really lovely show tunes, so thank you, Derek. But it got me singing this morning on the way into work, so. We're all feeling nice and springy. Um, so we've picked a perfect early bird for you. These threads are beautiful quality. They're Aurifil, um, but also they're Hoffman. So Hoffman we know from our Barley Pops, our two and a half strips that we've seen, our two and a half inch strips that we've seen. Um, and it's the same company that have teamed up with Aurifil to be able to put together the most beautiful array of color. Look at this. Now this is called Garden state of mind. I love that. Garden state of mind. $13.99. These are brand new to me. It's the first time that I've seen these. They are absolutely gorgeous. The colours are stunning. And they're really nice big chunky spools. You've got 200 metres on each. Look at that lovely jade colour. They're all 50 weight. So the great thing is, is that you can use them as accent you can use them to really accentuate the colors of your thread or you can team them up with matching uh, fabrics so that they blend in so you can use it in the top of your sewing machine you can use it in your bobbin for free motion for piecing for hand sewing this is your sew all thread 13.99 that has got to be the lowest price i've ever seen any orophil thread Okay, now I think everybody needs to appreciate that this is ridiculously low. What does that make our price per 100 metres, Cat? Generally, a sew all thread is a 100 metres spool. These are double that, they're 200 metres. So if we've got five spools here, 200 metres on each, per 100 metres, we're at £1.39 and this is 100% cotton this is a hundred percent orophil it's going to have less lint build up in your machine it's super super strong it is world renowned it's one of the most famous brands when it comes to cotton thread super super quality made in italy with that egyptian cotton and it's just beautiful to sew with i know a lot of people who choose to use cotton fabrics will always like to team it up with a cotton thread. Um, and uh, I mean, you've heard Debbie Shaw, you've heard so many of our guests say, look, good tip when you're starting to sew, use a good quality thread. It will make your seams last longer. It will make your seams be stronger. It will give you that lovely, crisp, flat seams, just that you want. Um, now these colors, these are gonna be beautiful for all of your Easter makes, aren't they? Absolutely. How nice for a gift as well. I think at that sort of price point, they come in this lovely box, that would be really beautiful to gift for somebody. £13.99, it's a saving uh, at Sewing Street of £4. But normally, think about how much you would pay for Aurifil threads. Give it a go if you never have before. Morning, everybody on Facebook. I'm not surprised lots of people buy multiples, cats telling me. Hi, Tom. Yes. It is my bamboo scarf. Um, is that bamboo scarf? I have the grey one. I got um, Tom one for Christmas. He says, I have uh, got the grey one. It's the soft softest thing I've ever had around my neck. Such a fab purchase. Oh, so they're back in stock. I'll show you in a moment on pre-order. Um, just so you know, we've found these threads elsewhere. They're £24.85. pence. 24 pounds and 85 pence on a very famous website. They're exactly the same threads, same color, same brand, same everything, 24.95. This is why, this is why loads of people are multi-buying. Um, 
it, it's virtually, it's not how much you're spending, it's how much you're saving. Now, way over half the stock has already been allocated. Be aware, normally, we talk about the early bird through the day. I think this is going to be a sellout straight away. If you've got it in your basket, check out now. Good morning, Tim. Morning, Vix. Lovely ray of sunshine brightening the morning. Are you talking about, uh, are you talking about Alison, obviously. Alison, obviously, not me. Um, lovely to have your company today, and we have got loads lined up for you. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant day. Right, for everybody who's got this in their basket, remember it's only one postage and packaging all day, so check out as soon as you can. Uh, once you've opened your order, that's it. You don't need to worry about checking out and paying that 3 95 time and time again. And that works across um, the scarves that we're doing today, the primal living that we're going to be launching later on at, at 12 o'clock. So it's a really exciting day today. Let's have a look at how your Monday, is it Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday lineup looks. At eight this morning, this first hour, we have got for you the most beautiful selection of springtime floral fabrics. At nine o'clock, we've got the Easter egg extravaganza with lovely Alison Marion. Now we've got the most adorable little bunny bags. They're so cute. Wait till you see these. They are absolutely adorable. Perfect for your little Easter egg hunts. Um, have you got a picture of them, Joe? Bunny bags, please. Oh gosh, he's all in a flap today, our Joe. There they are. Oh, look at our lovely daffodils as well. Look at how cute those bunny bags are. Apparently, there's little treats for us in there as well, Cat. I love, love, love these. Um, don't forget, if you do want um, some wool for the pom-pom tails, don't forget Yarn Lane is the same postage and packaging as well. Same P&P &P on Yarn Lane and same login details. Uh, what else have we got? We've got loads. We've got the aprons coming up in that show as well. At 10 o'clock, we've got Easter fabrics. We've got brand new, did you say Riley Blake? Beautiful fabrics coming up at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got this gorgeous table runner. We've got a picture of it. Look at that. Oh, that is so lovely, isn't it? Again with Alison. Told you, we're getting you all kitted out ready for Easter weekend, Easter bank holiday, which is going to be lovely, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. Um, and then we've also got that hour, these Easter... Um, well, it's a kitchen tidy box, but I think you could use this for so many different things. Craft box for your bread. You could have it as an Easter Sunday dinner centerpiece. You could put Easter eggs in there. I was thinking I could have that as a bit of an organiser for my nursery. It's so beautiful. Storage boxes, they're really lovely. And what about doing a hamper for somebody um, and having that as the box that they can then use? It's absolutely gorgeous. Morning, Vanessa. Hello, John Scott. Good morning. Final hour. Right, I need to talk to you about the final hour today. Something completely different. We are so, so excited. So Poppy um, is uh, part of our Gemporia group. Those of you that don't know, we are um, we're part of a bigger group. So when we, were, we, we launched the show just over a year ago, uh, we were so lucky to be saved by Steve Bennett. Obviously, lots of us were part of Sewing Quarter, as you had known a few years ago. And when that sadly came to an end, um, it was the Gemporia group that sort of saved us and started this brand new show. So we're really, really lucky to be part of Gemporia. You may have watched Gems TV over the years. They've been going for 15 years. Um, Jewelry Maker, one of our sister shows. Primal Living, that actually used to be filmed in this very studio. And Poppy is the face of Primal Living. She is not only an incredible um, wealth of knowledge when it comes to nutrition. She's a nutritional therapist. She's also a very good friend of mine. She was at my wedding with her boyfriend, Sam, and I've known her for the last sort of eight, nine years, and she's the loveliest, most knowledgeable person that you could meet. So um, yeah, since I've known her, she's she became a, a nutritional therapist. She's gone through her own journey of s some quite serious health issues, which I'm sure she'll talk to you about uh, at 12 o'clock, actually. She's, she's just so open and honest about everything. Um, but she's part of Gemporia, and she's going to be joining us at 12 o'clock to talk about CBD oil. Now, those of you that are thinking, right, I've heard of this before. We were talking to Alison Marion and she was saying, I can't think where it is that I've heard of it. She said I might have been on Primal actually. But if you've got any questions about it, 
definitely worth getting them in. Have a look on pre-order. Everything's on pre-order, including my scarf. We've got huge colorways, all a huge amount of colorways. We've got all of the different um, color scarves back that we launched last year in about October it was when Steve Bennett came on. They are bamboo and they're beautifully soft, as Tom said. They're so lovely. Already selling on pre-order. Huge ray of colour. I'll show you how you get on pre-order. It's sewingstreet.com. Sewingstreet.com. And then you click on watch live. You'll see everything from today's show listed on pre-order, which is here. Scroll down. These are all of our lovely floral fabrics. There's Liberty in there. There's Michael Miller in there. We've got Solstice Range. Fat quarters, we've got books. Then we get onto Alison Marion's makes. There's the Mummy and Me aprons, the little uh, gorgeous little bunny bags. Riley Blake fabrics that's new in. It's going to be such a busy day. Oh, I love the um, the the uh, daffodil one that's behind me as well, the stained glass window panel. Right, so that's lovely Poppy. She's going to be joining us um, virtually from home. Uh, so <laughs> that's new for us as well. But oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? That's the rose gold colour. I think that's the one that Alison's chosen to wear today. We've got the charcoal. Oh, we've got some of the face coverings back as well. Literally limited on that one though. There's the coral one I'm wearing, um, which is, look by the way, have you noticed the prices? So we launched these at 16.99. Poppy has bought us a brand new lowest ever price of 14.99 and they're so lovely and light. What I love about bamboo is that um, if any of you have got the bedding, it keeps you cooler at night, but it also keeps you warm. So it's perfect. You know, when we're in that sort of time at the moment, layering up and do I put coats on? I'm really warm. It's actually so soft against your skin. It's hyperallergenic and it is. it keeps you cooler or keeps you warmer. It's lovely. Poppy has bought us all of Primal Living stock. So if you have a look on the Primal Living website, you'll see them here um, sold out. But they were 19.99, so we have done a really good price on our website, haven't we today? Absolutely, make the most of it. I tell you what, I don't know whether that is a mistake or if Poppy knows we're doing them uh, at that price, but make the most of them before 12 o'clock. You can purchase them on pre-order. Right, we better get diving into this hour of fabric because we've got loads to talk about. Now, Hannah and Rebecca Reid have arranged this for us and they wanted to make a point that they haven't arranged it in designers, they haven't arranged it into price, they haven't arranged it into colours necessarily, they've arranged it into how they would arrange their fabric stash at home. So I love that because we all rearrange our stash, don't we, at home and there's such beautiful, beautiful colours. So... God's sake, I feel like I'm on countdown. Can I have two from the top and three from the middle, please? Can I have a vowel and a consonant? Which one do you want to start with? Right, I'm going to start with this one. This is, I've got some face coverings with this fabric and I get so many compliments on it. It's Liberty. It's from the Flower Show range and I know that Kerry from Living in Loveliness has loved this range as well. It's so zesty and so bright, yet still so iconic, isn't it? It's still got that classic Liberty feel to it. Morning Becky! This is uh, Alison's daughter who's watching. She says, morning, tell Alison Marion to bring me back a box. Those colours are amazing. Oh, absolutely. If you manage to get the early bird, well done, because that's now sold out. Tim said, I love, love, love RFL, uh, RFL threads. They have completely sold out, Tim. Um, good morning, Laurie. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel, thank you so much for my gift. I haven't opened it yet because I'm going to take it home and do uh, an open with Kieran later on. So thank you very, very much. I have got it though, Rachel. Um, Judith said good morning, Vicky. Uh, Pauline said good morning. Judith, I've also had a parcel come through, so I'm presuming that's from you because you did say to me to look out for a parcel. So I'll take that home and I'll, I'll send you a message tonight. Um, Pauline said good morning, Vicky. Susan, good morning, Vicky. Up a bit late this morning. It's lovely and light outside though makes such a difference. Six o'clock this morning, it was light and it makes such a difference. The birds tweeting, oh, spring is here, isn't it? Um, so this lovely yellow is true springtime yellow, isn't it? The flower show range, beautiful quality. Hi, Elizabeth. Morning, Princess Hungry Tummy from sc sunny Scotland. Oh, thank you. So you suit that colour, it makes you glow. This is the coral, isn't it lovely? 
I, I'm just going to be doing this all the time. It's so soft. They're already selling on pre-order. Looking forward to another great show. Thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. Thank you very, very much. So seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. Remember, you can buy more if you want. I'm going to jump around designers. We're not just sticking with, um, we're not just sticking with Liberty. Oh, Elliot. I know that you're wearing a lot of branding, but I wanted to show you because he's wearing his bamboo mask. Everyone behind the scenes wearing our bamboo masks and they are lovely. Oh, he's da da da, da 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 da. He's getting his um, kit off so he can come and say hello. Oh gosh, he's got bed head. Hello, I've always got it. There he is. Oh, looking good. What does your top say? Uh, it's an anime, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. It's an anime. But no, you're wearing the bamboo face masks. Yes. You wear them all the time, don't you? Yes. Yeah. They're lovely and breathable, though, aren't they? Yeah, I bought them on the first show we did. The first show we did. Well, the first show you did, because you've been part of Primal for a yeah, long I, I, time. I was one of the founding members. There you go. So it'd be nice to see Poppy, won't it? We can't really see him. Uh, sorry, hear him. Elliot's saying that he was one of the find, founding members of Primal Living. So it'd be really nice to have Poppy. We're, well, we're in your... your this is your... Vision. Yeah. Stomping ground, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Right. Really? Oh, gosh. Let's go solstice then. I'm going to the ones that I'm really drawn to. You could have guessed. Unpredictable, aren't I? Solstice range has been, without a doubt, one of the most popular ranges of fabric we've ever had. This is Buttercup on Fuchsia. I'm thinking for Alice and Marion projects as well. If you want to do more of the boxes, if you want to do more of the bunnies, how adorable are these? Don't get me wrong, we've got the panels, but if you do want to do some extra bits and bobs, the Solstice range, I know that you love um, for hair scrunches, don't you, Kat? These are lovely for scrunches. Now, John Scott's got his big, um, his big drink, as has Hannah. And now after Cat, they've, they've all got these huge flasks. So I found one. Mine looks miniature compared to theirs, but it's still sort of huge, isn't it? How much, how much do you think that holds? A litre? A litre, maybe? But no, I'm trying to drink more water. Like, John Scott's got me inspired and Cat's got me inspired. This is lovely, though, isn't it? And in fact, it would go with loads of other fabrics, whether it be your yellows or your pinks your turquoise blues. Hello everybody, Georgina. Morning Vicky, you're looking good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, nice to see Elliot, um, can put a face to the name. Yeah, there you go, sorry to disappoint. We always, we always sort of um, big up Elliot like him in his gold hot pants, don't we? So sorry that we might have ruined that for you now, Georgina. <laughs> um, should we go to some Moda? This, which ones? Let's do the bird song one, which is lovely. The birds singing this morning. I love it, absolutely love it. Those coral flower colours. Oh, thank you. Oh no, Susan was also thinking it's nice to see, um, put a face to the name of Elliot. Lots of people liking um, seeing you on the screen, Elliot. Six pounds and 99 pence. I love that it's on like a blush background as well. It's on that lovely blush background. And then for Moda, actually, this is quite a strong colour, isn't it? Normally, Moda, you see more of your muted shades, whereas that is a really lovely hot coral. It's actually not dissimilar to the colour of my scar. In fact, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Do you know, I'll be really intrigued to see anybody who's got these scarves, has anybody embroidered on them yet? Or you know, personalise them or use them as because they're def they're one hundred percent bamboo and bamboo fabric is really expensive. This is a big, almost like a shawl as well. So it's, I, would, I suppose you could use it as fabric, couldn't you? And make what you want with it. You could use it as fabric. We've had a message come in from. Oh, it doesn't say your name. Um, morning, lovely. Can't wait for Alison's demos. Ordered mine. Please, can you say hello to my little one, Hattie? Hattie and Ozzy. Hello. Oh, and Elsie sat watching. Uh, they're lovely names, aren't they? Hattie, Ozzy and Elsie. These are all lovely. Oh, I, I absolutely um, love those names. They're lovely. 
Oh, I hope you have a lovely Tuesday. Nice, um, sunny, springy Tuesday. It's nice outside today. Um, right, I'm going to do something different. Let's go for this one. Sunflowers. Look at that. That is so vibrant, isn't it? Now, just so you know, lots of these fabrics are really, really limited. It is virtually, virtually a miss it, miss out hour. Oh, it's so sunny and beautiful, isn't it? Do you know, I was so excited about coming in today. It's my penultimate week, by the way. <laughs> scary. Here this week. Um, and then I'm also in a couple of days, just two days next week. And then that's it. So I'm making the most of this now. Um, soaking in all of these lovely summery fabrics. And if you do want to get ahead, making things for the summer. It's just around the corner. What about a lovely dress with this? Big circular skirt. This is your chance to now purchase by the half metre. It's only £7.49 and a half metre. Um, if you're thinking for home furnishings or those of you that want to buy multiple units, if you speak to the customer service team, they can obviously tell you how, as much as you want. You're thinking, odor oh, coat it and have its place mask, uh, uh, place mask, uh, place mats? Or, I'm not okay today, am I? Or you could do a lovely big sort of beach bag, picnic bag, couldn't you? Oh, I think we're going to have lots of picnics this year. Let's stick with the really bright. Um, this one. This is lovely and bright. So this is really affordable. This is only 5 99 half metre. I like the um, ochre as well. Nice splash of ochre. Ochre, purple, teal. John, I think this is why John's, John watches is up wide awake, bright and early every morning as he's on standby to come in and, um, yeah, take over and deliver the baby, obviously. <laughs> what do you mean? John, I've never heard this story. You've delivered a baby before. What? No, he's not. Why doesn't that surprise me? Why doesn't that surprise me that John Scott has delivered a baby before? John, if you're still watching, please tell me the story. Um, the photos on the website don't do these fabrics justice. Oh, these ones, they are beautiful, aren't they? They're such lovely quality as well, 100% cotton. They're gorgeous. If there's any on the desk that you want us to do especially, then of course, message in, message in. If you want me to fast track you through, if there's one that you want to see closer, let me know. I'm going to jump back to Liberty because Liberty is oh just one of my absolute faves. I'm going to go for this one. This is iconic Liberty, but again, because it's from, well, this is the Cottage Garden collection. The colours are so pretty. They are so, so pretty. In fact, I can see lots of Alison's Easter makes with this. I can see loads of these beautiful, what about like your table runner? I know that we've got the panel to be able to do it, but imagine doing a Liberty Easter egg table runner like this, or bunting. Um, we had lovely Barbara in last week, um, last Thursday, and this would make the beautiful, beautiful bunting that we did with her. And do pick up one of these colors for your, for your binding for the top and complementing pocket colors as well. Or just hints of it. Hi, Jill, good morning, Vicky. How are you all? Come say hello to us on Facebook. Uh, we've got Alison Marion in the building. She has bought us pasties today. She's bought us pasties. Um, we've got treats in our Easter bags as well. She always looks after us, doesn't she? So thoughtful. It's very good, very, very good. Um, right, we've also got more from the solstice range. Uh, so, more buttercups, please. I've got two other colourways. This one, sand background, and we've also got an ochre background. Look at that lovely golden tone in here though. Beautiful teal and yellows. Oh, it's gorgeous. Seven pounds, 49 and a half meter.
Oh, Lucy. Oh, I'm so pleased that everyone liked their shout out. Good morning, Ozzy and Elsie and Hattie. Good morning. Oh, we do love this buttercup range. So that is so lovely, isn't it? So bright. Neons in there. Oh, Maureen. Maureen. It clashes with Derek sing-along if it's a Monday night. 7.30 on a Monday, I do the um, Derek sing-along. The big borders sing. But what were you singing last night? Irish pop and folk songs. Of course, it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, isn't it? It's um, St. Patrick's Day. Keep well. Oh, I will. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my last one in the buttercup solstice is with the ochre colourway in the background. When I say ochre, it's more of a, a peachy orange, actually. Look at that. Sorry, I've just dropped my um, my cushion. Let me just grab one. Uh, so, 7.14 and a half metre. It was without a doubt one of the most, I would say one of the fastest selling collections ever in the history of Sewing Street. It was one of the craziest shows we've ever done. The Solstice Buttercup, but we said this is so beautiful. Even if you just buy half a metre and you're using it for cosmetic bags, hair scrunches, there's so much you can do with half a metre fabric. £7.49. Um, Jill, it's called Borders Big Sing. If you find it on Facebook, you can uh, request to sort of join. Borders is in the Scottish Borders. And it's so good. We sing all the so show tunes. And I mean, you can just sing as loud as you want because no one can hear you. <laughs> so I was, I was actually sitting in bed last night because it's on at half seven, which is my bedtime. <laughs> so I was lying in bed just singing, where is love? And all the Oliver songs, as long as he needs me. And it was so lovely. The kid thought I was crazy. Um, Let's do the all teal. I'm guessing it's one of these. These are all the teals. This one. Absolutely. What range is this? This one's called Colour Flow. Oh, that is nice. Uh, Four pounds and 99. Your Colour Flow in teal. How gorgeous is that colour? Jude said that this was a bit of her. Bit of her. We had her on last week and she loved this. Four pounds, 99 a half metre. Hi, Jill. Hi, Vix. I made the Japanese knot bag with some of the Liberty fabric yesterday. How did you get on? How did you get on? Because I always think that looks like origami. That looks like um, something really, really difficult. But actually, I think with Debbie Shaw's instructions, she found a really good more simple way of doing it so let me know how you got on morning carol morning just so you know it's really really busy just because the graphics go off your screen it doesn't necessarily mean it's sold out it's just really busy and we want to try and get as much in as we can before alison um comes in at nine o'clock oh remember you can look ahead on pre-order lots of people are already checking out on all of Alice and Marion's kits. We've got some gorgeous Easter kits. We've also got the scarves back, the bamboo scarves that are at nine o'clock. Lots of lovely messages in about that show as well. We're looking forward to something a bit different. It's not something we're gonna be able to ever do. We're a sewing channel. So it isn't something that we are gonna be doing regularly. Don't worry, it is something that we aren't, well, we're not going, we can't do all the time. Poppy's a very, very, very busy lady. So we're really lucky that we can steal her for an hour just to talk to you about what we do as a group. We managed to get a half an hour Zoom meeting in with her yesterday, but she was literally sitting there eating a lunch because she's so busy. Then she was on Lifestyle yesterday afternoon. And um, yeah, on Gemporia Lifestyle, she's very busy. So it's good to have an hour with her. Now, this is Dina Designs. It's Adelaide Grove and it's beautiful. It's just like watercolour, isn't it? I actually think that this reminds me of a very, very high-end soft furnishing company that do blinds, beautiful cushions, and they are really expensive. You're talking about £50 a cushion. Um, you could make your own. And I mean, this would just be so beautiful for soft furnishing. I'm thinking in a conservatory or in a bedroom, big bolster cushions. 
Oh, they're gorgeous. Or a blind would be gorgeous. <laughs> Seven pounds. 14 and a half meter. I think we've also got this. We've got it in a couple of different colorways. Just so you can see, look, this one's got more of your teals and then this one focuses more on the golden tones. Let's do the more golden. Um, they are beautiful Dina designs though, aren't they? I think for dressmaking, they'd be really nice. As a really lovely sort of structured summer dress, they'd be beautiful. And it, it's a dream to sew with, a dream to sew with. I know when Wendy Gardner does dressmaking, She's always wearing something she's made and she'll often be wearing something that she's made with quilting weight fabric. This one is lovely. Elliot, could you put the aircon on please? Seven pounds, 49. Oh, rookie mistake, Jill. She's put, it was okay. She says, I had to pick, unpick the side seams as I did them up the wrong way. She says, I didn't read the instructions properly, um, but I'm going to make more now. Put a photo on the fan page. Brilliant. Yes, please do so I can see. That's it, isn't it? Even when you think, ah, I kind of know. I think I know where they're going with this. It definitely pays to sit and read through the instructions. You like me, though, I get ahead of myself. I did it with my um, recipe. I made um, some flapjacks. I've made some flapjacks yesterday and I thought, oh, I know how you do this. You mix all this in and then did it wrong. Right. Well, I didn't bring them in today because I was a bit, they weren't great, to be honest. They're really crumbly. And we knew that Alison was in today and she would always outdo me with my bakes. Um, many of us have Alison Marion's uh, Mummy and Me pattern. Any chance that we've got any extra templates? Yes. We've got the panel and the instructions for the egg separately. So have you seen the Easter egg? We've got those separately today. So stay tuned, that's coming up in the first hour at nine o'clock. Hope that helps, hope that answers your question. The other two Dina designs are these. We'll stick with Dina designs, it's fine. Kat said, because I've, ca I've asked so many designers recently, can you do random? How good are you at doing random? And they've They've almost sort of questioned themselves. Kat's now questioning herself. She says, I just don't think I can do random. Because we're doing Dina Designs, I've got to stick with Dina Designs. I can't just randomly pick the next one. Oh, thanks, Karen. Morning, all. In Scotland, where it's nice and sunny, don't believe the sun is, um, is, is still too, it's still two shivers and what, the mm, ah, Karen, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you mean. Um, you're saying don't believe the sun. It's still oh maybe it's still cold. Two shivers. Maybe that's the thing. Like I'm saying, it's still two shivers. Still do two. Oh, two shivers. Um, but stay safe. I must say, Karen, I am. Don't you worry. We're all obviously. Th this is a great thing about Sewing Street is that we're li we're in this massive studio now um cat calls us the safest bubble there ever was so no i am being super super careful um just seven pounds 49 i love the dinner designs really beautiful the lovely ditzy print is gorgeous isn't it we have also got in the pink with the ochre the uh, early bird sorry has already sold out it's very very busy today Oh, hopefully, like us, you've all got a spring in your step. You're feeling good today. Has everybody's daffodils opened? Uh, can you be allergic to daffodils, Cat? Cat said, oh, I hope, no, I hope nobody's allergic to daffodils. I don't know, you could be allergic to daffodils, I suppose. Yeah. What gives you a spring in your step? I've realised after Derek sing along, I totally forgot how the songs from Oliver, Oliver Twist, give me a spring in my step. I sang Food Glorious Food on the way in this morning. <laughs> and I know every word, I know every word. And um, what was it? You've got to pick a pocket or two. And I thought, gosh, it makes such a difference. If you give yourself a bit of a sing song this morning, if you are feeling a bit low, put a, a, a really lovely, happy song on and sing along. 
makes you feel so much better. Cat listened to Bohemian Rhapsody and sang along in this, mo this morning. It does make you feel good, doesn't it? Having a good sing. Even if you can't sing, just sing. Sing out nice and loud. This one has got a lovely ochre in the background as well. Come on in, Joe. You need to see this lovely ditzy print. Come on in, the water's warm. Morning, one and all. Good morning, Vicky. Thank you, Irene. Stay safe. And to you, stay safe. We've come so far now, haven't we? And I feel like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we all just need to be super, super careful. Um, Becky has said, had daffodils out since before Christmas in Cornwall. That's just showing off though, isn't it? That's just showing off. Um, these are the only ones that we've had since before Christmas, these ones. The stained glass window. They are lovely, aren't they? That's so gorgeous. That's on pre-order, by the way. It is on pre-order. Did you watch yesterday's show? The stained glass window panel that they had, in the, uh, they had it on set. It was an Amber Makes one and they had the beautiful twin needling detail. Oh my word, it was stunning. I mean, that would just look amazing, wouldn't it? All year round. Give a bit of a spring. Okay, now, is there any that you want to do in particular or can I pick? Thank you, I've picked this one. I've picked another Liberty print, which is Newland Large. It's from the English Garden collection. That's lovely, isn't it? Pinks, oranges, yellows, blues. Um, can I just show you for scale? How teeny tiny that ditzy print is. I tell you what, it just sums up, doesn't it? The quality of Liberty fabric, that even in that really small scale print, uh, it's very detailed, very, very detailed. Seven pounds, 49 pence. Hi, Viv. Oh no, I did hear John saying the other day. Um, John, I tell you what, he tells all my secrets, doesn't he? Uh, Viv said, morning Vicky, I was wondering is your baby's due on the 1st of April? I'm actually, it's, it's, the, it's the 2nd of April, but it will probably come on the 1st, won't it? So it's April Fool's baby. I'm going to produce a surprise guest under your jumper and shout April Fool. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is, I promise this isn't like the biggest April Fool setup ever. Imagine. Um, Linda, it's your birthday today. Linda, what a great day to have a birthday because this is so, it's so beautiful today. It's such a lovely spring morning. Linda, the sun is out for you. I hope it's out where you are. Um, happy birthday. Happy birthday from all of us. It's strange, a strange time again, isn't it, to have a birthday? Because we're all going through our second lockdown birthdays now. Right, Liberty again. Liberty. Beautiful fabric, so cheerful, and such perfect choices for this season. Julie, aren't they just? They are perfect. I'm going to stick with Liberty because I know that Cap doesn't like me to go too random. But this is different. This is again from the English Garden collection, but it's called Ricardo. Just for scale. There you go. Let me put my finger there so you can see. £7.49. Pauline says, my friend lives in Cornwall. She has three fields wrapped around her, properly filled with daffodils. Gosh, I bet that's beautiful. I'd love to go and do. I've always thought... Sounds really random, but you know when you just want to go and do like a photo shoot, just like running through the daffodils? I'd love to do that. I have to come to Cornwall, have to come to Cornwall. Yeah, like a wheat field or something, like all of the... Just, what do you mean? £7.49. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Catch just told me, um, yeah, doesn't matter, we'll move on. 749 and a half metre. Your Liberty English Garden Collection. No. 749 and a half metre. Um, we've got Alice and Marion here in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We've got this one again. We've got Ricardo again. Um, look, I wouldn't call it pa pastel. It's like... It's more, um, <laughs> it's like William Morris colours, isn't it? 
But this would be nice for your uh, draft excluder cat. You could do some really lovely soft furnishing, couldn't you? You've got some what what? Liberty curtains. No, of course not. I've got Liberty curtains. What were you trying to tell me? Oh, your pajamas, pajamas. Oh, imagine doing lovely little pajamas. Um, I was looking at really gorgeous little baby grows that were plain white, and then they had with an initial a plicade on in Liberty, and they were so expensive because they were li Liberty fabrics. If you just get half a meter of this and use it um, to upcycle something you already have, maybe a pocket on the front of a plain white t-shirt or. You know how Rebecca Reed loves to personalise her cardigans, just changing, covering buttons, changing the placket, adding a frill. Um, you could do, oh, so much. Little pyjama bags, eye masks for sleepovers when we're able to go and do staycations and, and things like that. These are so lovely, aren't they? It's nice to just fill your workroom with lovely florals. You could make lovely little stuffed tarts, fill them with lavender, couldn't you? Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. So they're both Ricardo. Now we haven't done any Michael Miller. Let's jump to Michael Miller. We've got four, three different fabrics from Michael Miller, which I'll show you them all. We've only got two metres of the stripe left. Um, but these, I love that you've got the little nod to our craft with all the buttons as well. So we'll do the stripe first, but then those two are from the same range. So this is a really nice stripe and it's almost got that, that sort of blanket stitch, different stripes, all your buttons. Stripe up the bands, this one's called. Uh, your stripes are running vertically. The last two metres, the last two metres now available. It is last of stock. If you do want two metres, grab them now. Remember, it's by the half metre. We sell by the half metre. So these are your opportunities to get more if you wish. If you do want more than half a metre, it will come cut off the bolt, especially to whatever size you want. Okay, there's more of you that have got it in your basket than we have availability, so we are gonna end it there, but check out. We've also got the um, other two from that same Michael Miller range. This is the larger floral print. They're all buttons. Um, this is again really limited, eight metres left of this. 749 and a half metre. You're busy this morning, Joe, aren't you? Quite loads going on today. We've got our first virtual guest here, virtual chat, uh, live chat at 12 o'clock. Something a bit different as well. Loads of you have already checked out these scarves. Do you like my coral one? Coral's so lovely and bright, isn't it? It's so nice. I bought this one for my mom for Christmas and she loves it. And it, she's, she's um, dark, she's, she's got more of a really dark hair. So it suits lots of different complexions because lots of people said, oh, it really suits your colour, really suits your hair colour. But actually, I think it's, it's one of those colours that actually just, even with I've got a really dark sort of khaki green top on, just gives you that bit of spring, doesn't it? Less than 30, just so you know, of the coral scarves. I'll let you know there's less than 30 of those if you want to get them on pre-order. They're at a brand new lowest ever price. So on Primal Living website, they're 19 99 and they're all sold out. Poppy's brought all of the stock over to us here. Um, she's, I don't know whether she's dropped the price or whether we've dropped the price because they were 19 99 I know that we did a Sewing Street special before they launched on Gemporia for 16 99 and they're 14 99 when we've come in today, so there you go. Win-win, get them while you can. Okay, Pauline says, I like the rose gold and the light gray scarves. Rose gold is definitely one of my favorites. In fact, Pauline, there's only less, well, there's less than 15 of those now. And you also like the light gray. I suppose the light gray will go with everything. The coral, I think it still goes with everything, actually. If you're wearing white or if you're wearing dark colours, it will still look lovely. Um, right, these are gorgeous. Same collection, so it all ties in together. It's got like a mottle effect background. It's not one solid colour. Julie said, morning, Vicky, beautiful fabrics. 
My daughter was due on the 1st of April, but she arrived on the 2nd, weighing seven pounds and 10 ounces. She'll be 41 this year. It's a good date. Oh, there you go. And it is a lovely time, isn't it? Going into spring, it's a really nice time. Um, thank you for your message. When's your birthday, Cat? July 18th. July 18th. Um, yeah, bang in the middle. Christmas presents, birthday presents is right in the middle, isn't it? It's not um, too expensive. This is it, my sister-in-law's Christmas Eve, and it's, yeah, it's, it's always, well, obviously, a very expensive time of year every, anyway, and my sister's birthday is the 30th. It's very busy around there. We have two more. Michael Miller fabrics. Is it these ones, if I remember rightly? No. This one. Oh, yes, and that one. These are Michael Miller. Michael Miller is such beautiful quality fabric. Those of you that have worked with Michael Miller, Victoria's Garden range, this one's called. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. There's lots of different colours on the website, but we don't have any of the black, Pauline. She's asked, do we have any of the black bamboo masks only allowed to wear the black at work? They come in green, pink and blue. You do get three in the pack, uh, green, pink and blue. They're 14 99 for all three, which is really good. And they are bamboo, 100% bamboo. Um, they're so soft and really breathable as well. Uh, so definitely worth having a look. And they adjust on the ears. They've got the little adjusters as well. Laurie said, April the 2nd is my anniversary. Oh, it's a good date then. We'll aim for that day then. No pressure. Uh, just 7.49 and a half metre for your lovely Victoria's Garden rose on blue. I like that you've got a little floral print as well in the background. Oh, Stephanie, are you an April Fool's baby? April Fool's. I love April Fool's Day. I remember when I was little, my dad once, I went for an audition as Annie, and he rang and pretended that I'd got the part of Annie. And I didn't. And oh my word, it was the worst April Fool's ever. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not Annie. I was so excited and then. I would see my mum and dad be like, oh, we, we, we shouldn't have told her that. <laughs> They were like, oh, April Fools, you know, Annie. <laughs> Thanks. I can't listen to Annie again now. <laughs> okay, we've got one final Michael Miller. Fabric of the hour. Um, and this has got lovely butterflies. It's different to the other one. It's not the roses this time. It's still from the Victoria's Garden collection. It's got a lovely warm, almost like buttery background. That's lovely, isn't it? Pinks and greens, lovely yellows. The butterflies are gorgeous as well. You could do some really nice fussy cutting. Loads selling on pre-order, by the way. Have a good look through Alice and Marion's hours coming up. Um, don't forget the bunny bags. We're gonna launch those straight away at 10 o'clock, by the way. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to get onto pre-order, we're going to do them straight away at 9 o'clock within the next 10, 15 minutes. 749 and a half metre. All of these are 112 wide. All of these are quilting weight cotton. Um, I'm going to fly through the rest of these. We've got another Liberty. Oh, yeah, it is. Kat says, oh, I don't think it is Liberty. It is. It's the Cottage Garden Collection. It's called Morning Dew. I've dropped another cushion. Bear with me. Uh, seven pounds, 49, a half metre. Are oh, you thinking little baby bonnets and little matching pants to go over their nappies? Oh, it is lovely. <laughs> seven pounds, 49, a half metre. Oh, I had a lovely virtual baby shower on Saturday and um, had the most amazing video. Cat didn't appear. Cat didn't appear. Elliot edited it all for me. It was 40 minutes long and he cut Cat out and Hannah. I've got John Scott, had Joe, had Elliot. No, nothing from Cat though. One from Hayley. My favourite, I must show, <laughs> I must show you, is Hayley's, our um, header TV. It's hilarious. Really funny. Um, 
Oh, this is lovely. I've not seen this one. Country roads take me home. Look, look at the salvage. Take me home to the place I belong. Oh, I love it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Those big daisies. Oh, I think I've got a new favourite. I've never seen this before. That would be beautiful in a blouse or a, a summer structured dress. That is gorgeous. $6.99, poppy cotton this is called. It's lovely, quilting weight cotton. That's nice. I can see Kerry living in loveliness wearing a dress of that. And I love the name of it, Country Roads. Oh, I'm really into my country music at the moment. In fact, Alison Marion is. And Becky, I've got your playlist on my Spotify now. I've got your um, country playlist. They go to um, they go to all the festivals, well they normally do. Um, there's a country, country to country it's called, a festival that comes to London every year. This one um, isn't on yellow, it's got a peachy pink background, not yellow background. Six pounds, 99, a half metre. Half a metre, remember you can buy as much as you want, so if you are thinking of a larger project, or if you love this as much as I do, multi-buy on units. If you just change your quantity on the website, then it will come cut off the bolt, especially for you. Um, okay, we've also got a couple more to do. Now I'm gonna go to these two, please. These are Moda. Um, when you say lilac, which one do you mean? This one. Lilac, that's not lilac. There's definitely no, there's definitely no purple in it. It's, it's, it's a really lovely silvery grey. Oh, there's already loads of you have got these in your baskets. Oh, lots of people packing out their baskets this morning. Please don't remember, d please don't forget that you can check out as many times as you want and all of your orders will be combined and you'll pay one PMP at the end of the day at midnight tonight. So don't let your baskets get too um, bulky. Keep checking out as many times as you want. Just six pounds, 99. How long have we got? Five minutes? Ah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the one in blue. I've got a secret fabric to show you at the end. Oh my word, there's too much. Maybe we need to keep some of these, maybe some of these we'll keep for our Easter fabric show. Oh, I'm just reading all of the um, April Fool's babies. Lots of April Fool's babies. Maybe that's a sign. Right, let me spin this round. Maybe if you don't want pastel, pastel colours. They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, we are limited on this one. This is um, a really, really new collection, actually. We only launched this um, very, very recently, the Homestead range. Look, you've got the salvages all watering cans. How nice is that? Uh, okay. I've still got loads, cats. Do you want to just jump to the other one and we'll bring all these pinks? The pinks, let me just show you, I'll bring all of these back in the 10 o'clock show. So don't worry, you've got Moda, 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 bit of Liberty in there, we'll bring those in the 10 o'clock show. They're on pre-order if you want to grab them now, but I'll put those to the side. Now, we've got something really special. We were saying we've definitely got a spring in our step. If you want a spring in your step, how about beautiful fabric, really lovely for this time of year, could be um, likened to Liberty's, likened to Michael Miller's, likened to Riley Blake's, likened to Moda's, very designer-esque. Look at the price. It's 3 99 a half metre. It's such good value. So if you're thinking of making any Easter projects, grab as much as you can right now. Half a metre is 3 99 Face coverings, little dresses, 
Loads of people adding it to their basket. We have got less than, how much, sorry? Less than 20 metres. It sounds a lot, but it's not, it's not. If we were in a fabric store, 20 metres would probably be a lot to have in stock. Whereas so many of you have got this in your basket already. It's only 3.99. Can I show you what half a metre looks like, Joe? And if you do want to add more to your order, you can jump onto the website, change the quantity, and it will be cut off the bolt for you. But how lovely is that? Down to less than 15 metres on this one. If you want to make more of the little bunny bags, we've got the panels coming up and the instructions, but if you want to make more, this would be lovely fabric. Just half a metre, well, half a metre is just 3 99 It's definitely worth stocking up. Even for little dresses, little shirts, just to do a Peter Pan collar in this and on little white dresses. Add it to a pocket on a denim dress or something. Have it as your lining of your new bag that you're making for spring. Just $3.99, it's so affordable. That one will sell out today, just so you're aware. There's a lot of people who've got it in their basket. So, this is poplin way. Absolutely, you can make cushion covers with it. If you want to give something more structure, so if you want to give it a really sort of lofty, lovely, squishy feel, what I would do is buy some H640, which is a fusible fleece. And if you just iron that onto the back of it, it will make it really, really plush. But absolutely, you could use this for a cushion. Um, it's a lighter weight, so poplin weight is a lighter weight cotton, um, but it's still perfect for, for dressmaking, bag making cushions you can still use it for quilting you can still use it however you want just be aware that it's slightly lighter weight than your quilting weight cotton three pound 99 um four meters left four meters left we'll leave you to check out during the break have a look through all of the projects that we've got we're continuing with our spring and easter theme with Alice and marion loads of makes with her today so stay exactly where you are have a look on pre-order and get ahead of the queue because the bunny bags are already selling very very fast and we'll see you with Alison after this in need of a crafting fix there are so many ways you can watch sewing street and yarn lane Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Welcome back, welcome back. Loads of you have already checked out these on pre-order, so I'm going to go straight to it. Um, we want to spend as much time with Alison as possible. Talking all things Easter, obviously just around the corner, a couple of weeks away, so we do want to make sure that everybody's got their projects home and, of course, have time to make them. Uh, and these are going to be a really lovely quick afternoon project. Uh, aren't they adorable? Now, this is a great place to stash all your mini eggs, isn't it? Oh, I love them. Cat, no, chocolate. She's like, oh, you could put buttons in there and little haberdashery bits. I'm like, no, you definitely need to put your mini eggs in there. Oh, she's thinking all crafty things. I'm definitely just thinking about chocolate. Um, so, Alison Marion has written these beautiful instructions and they, um, we've done an exclusive uh, panel as well, which fits perfectly. So our instructions, as always from Alison Marion, are extremely clear. You've got your template there as well. She's done all of the sort of trial and error, getting the right shape for you. Um, talking about how to make the optional tail pom-poms as well. So once you've got these instructions, you can make loads, you can make loads. I mean, you could always draw around the, the, the ones here before you cut them out, or you've got the template and the pattern. So if you are making it next year and you've lost your the one that you've you've looked at, the only way of getting the instructions is with the, the panel today. We're just doing it all together. Now, we have got four different print fabrics here. What I would do, now these are all new, exclusive, beautiful Easter prints. What I would do is use the white that's on the background here and also maybe substitute a bit from your stash so that you can make four complete ones, including the linings. Um, Alison's obviously used the white you can see here because you can see on the inside of the ears. You've got to think what colour you want your bunny ears. So just keep that in mind. <gasps> There's eggs in here. This is so exciting. So, but what I love about these, oh, you could make two complete ones if you want to use one of these as your lining one of these as your outer plenty of options but aren't they just beautiful i love look this one's got little duckies on little chicks you've got little chicks you've got bunny rabbits you've got all your easter eggs and then you've got your lovely springtime flowers 14 pounds and 99 pence for your panel and your instructions what a great price as well that is brilliant um Thank you. Okay, so those of you that have um, have got it in the basket, please do make sure you check out. Uh, they're so lovely. And look, don't forget any of your wool stash or have a look on Yarn Lane if you need to top up some wool as it's the same P&P and our yarn is so affordable on there. So if you do want to make that lovely little pom-pom to go on there, how adorable is this? It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So there's the lovely spring flower. This one's then with your little, um, with your little duckies, your little chicks. Remember, you can make four. You just need to use some for your lining, some stash from your lining. And then this one's got um, your blue with your rabbits as well. Love them. Now, Kat said, I haven't told you this already, Biggs. Go on. Before the show, um, Oh, brilliant. Kat had a conversation with Ian and Hayley and upped the stock levels because we were a bit concerned. And she was right to do so because if we'd have kept the same stock level, then they would have gone. So 
I'm so pleased that we've upped the stock. If you do want them, please be quick to check out though. They are a really lovely, quick project as well for Easter. So if you're thinking, I haven't got time to make a big Easter quilt, I haven't got time to do you know, larger projects, these are gonna be really lovely achievable things, whether you're a brand new sewer or whether you're an experienced. And what a lovely thing to you know, you know, know, put through someone's door or send in the post um, to somebody. You could put these outside your house for you know people to come and collect, do a little Easter egg hunt. That'd be so lovely. Uh, Fourteen pounds ninety-nine. Well, fingers crossed, all going well by Easter, you'd be able to have six people in your garden, or you could go on a little picnic, couldn't you? Hide them in the garden. The kids could find them. That'd be so lovely. Oh, I love just seeing that little pom pom tail. Now there's less than 100, there are less than 100, which sounds a lot, it's not. There are so many of you have got these in your basket. Just beware, it's the only way of getting your instructions. So a reminder, you've got four different prints, exclusive to Sewing Street, brand new today, and you're also getting Alice and Marion's full instructions as well, plus the template, 14.99. Alice and I love these, these thank are brilliant. You. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, Jolly good. Fine. You're yes. looking lovely and um, springy as well in your cat top. In my pyjama top. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a pyjama top. Yeah, Too I, nice to have pyjamas. Yeah, I bought the fabric to make some pyjamas and I made the top and I came out and Mike said, that's too nice to yeah, wear those right. pyjamas. And I said, I sent a me uh, message to Becky and said, look, these are pyjamas. Do they look all right? She said, no, they're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got to wear them on the telly. They're not pyjamas. I feel like I'm in my pyjamas. <laughs> no, oh, well, that's the best thing. But because I've, that's why I bought the the fabric but it's lovely really lovely thank you it is very bright and now these are adorable aren't they're they? cute aren't they um when did you design this oh gosh several years ago i right. everyone had them for easter <laughs> <laughs> i've seen lots yeah. of your tulips by the way on, on I facebook know. fan page yes one lady made 70. oh my word yeah the the and bouquets people have done huge great amazing bouquets they all look fabulous well done everybody oh i love seeing them all yeah. on facebook so please yeah. post your pictures as well of these lovely little bunny ears because mm -hmm. you could still personalize these you could put little names you could do lovely fancy stitching you could put a face on you could put two you could do a couple of little french knots and a little nose good on idea. the other side yeah, yeah. good idea the, yeah. Um, if you are on the phone lines, by the way, there is a bit of a queue as predicted. So we can see you there. There's a <laughs> lot of people who want these. Um, so we, we just need to add some of our stash for the lining. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do just two, you could do the two colours together. But with this one, I've got the fourth, the fourth colour here. Okay. With the fabric on the panel, there's mm -hmm. enough to do two linings in the white of mm -hmm. the, the waist, really, around the outside edge. But this one, we've got the, the nice little um, lemon dot and I've yeah. put that with the chicks and this is the, uh, the fourth colour. But everything that I'm doing today all blends because all the panels have been done. It's like the table runner later mm -hmm. on. I mean, if you're doing that as a table runner, they would be lovely as little um, gifts on the table because they, everything blends in. You just need to put them out of reach of any dogs, don't you? Because Becky oh, said, gosh, yes. <laughs> mine had a plaster on it where yes. the dog got hold of it and tried to eat all of my Easter treats. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and the chocolate's not good for dogs. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but these are lovely. I know a lot of people who have got like, Easter trees as well. You know, yeah, like you could nice hang them. You could hang them up, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, you They're could. so lovely. So are, are these suitable for beginners as well? Oh, gosh, yes. They are so easy. Um, because, well, and also you've already got your shape cut out. There's n you don't need to allow any seam allowance or anything. Oh, you just included. cut out the shape. Yeah, okay. just cut out the shape. Um, I've actually drawn, I've, I've done that one. I've actually drawn on this one. You're going to take from where your shaping starts, you're going to take a quarter of an inch seam up to the point, round the other side to where the, the shaping starts on the other side. So that's where you're going to be begin. I'll just pin it to hold it all together so that it doesn't move in the machine but I mean yeah I mean one evening you could easily put down together half a dozen you know it's it really is you well you'll see 
there's basically two seams, this one and the one where you're putting everything together. See, sometimes, you know, it's, it's nice to have big projects on the go, but also it's nice to have things that you can just do quite yeah. quickly in between big projects. So you think, oh, do you know what? I'm just putting that one to bed for a little bit. I want to do something where I can complete it in an afternoon. That's why I've drawn around here so that people can see um, you don't need to use a quarter of an inch foot or anything like that. If you draw around your That's a, good tip a for line for a beginner, yeah. yeah, because it's surprising how small a quarter of an inch is. Less than 50 of these, by the way, less than 50. Cat can't keep up with all of the... Um, there's a lot of people who are who are checking out on the website can't, can't keep up there we go and if you uh, do a back stitch at the beginning and the end because you are going to pull this open or if you've got a lock stitch this one's got a lock stitch so we'll do a lock stitch there and then you can either clip just snip into the seams or use a pair of pinking shears to go around the outside edge where your shaping is. This just makes it so that it's a lot easier. Where shall I go over here? It just Thank makes you. it a lot easier to turn it through and get a nice edge when you've turned it through. If you do want some pinking shears, we've got some on the website. But you say you can just do your little You can just do little curve. snips, yeah, on your curves. There you go, there's some pinking shears, 14.99. Oh, they're really nice quality ones as well. I love pinking shears as um obviously this is to to help give you the shape, isn't it? Yeah. But it looks really lovely decorative on um, toys, clothes, bunting. Well, it is. I mean, if you want to make little presents and things, a little heart, just a shape of a heart stuffed and then cut around the outside yeah. edge. Yeah, that's brilliant like that. Um, this is a handy little gadget. Have, this you, is... have you used these before? Yes, I... I well, I saw them here. I'd used them years ago for cake decorating. Oh. Never ever thought to put it in my sewing box. What did you use them for cake decorating? When you're making decorating. flowers and you have to hold wires and delicate things like oh. that. You hold the wires so that you can, you know, manhandle things. Yeah. yeah, and for shaping wires. But yeah, never thought until I saw it on here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, be used for this. Needle grippers, I think they're called on the website. Yeah, they're brilliant. So you pull that through with those, but we're going to sew these two together. Right, I've marked... You've done a couple of notches. Yeah, I've, I've marked before. that there so that I remember to actually leave an opening to turn. <laughs> We've all done that. Because I have a habit of not remembering. Yeah. <laughs> Even with smaller projects, like yeah. you think, right, I know that I need to leave a gap. Yeah. And you can just be merrily sewing around and think, I've not left a gap. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the way around the outside edge. Ten left, ten left, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so pleased oh, we upped the stock. Yeah. This was the added stock. Um, there's ten left. Oh. That's it. And I don't think we can up it anymore at the moment. We have maxed it out this morning. So right, so what, I, what I'm doing at this where we've got the shaping, I'm... I'm do, nesting the seam so that one is going one way and one's going the other way so that it'll be easier to turn through and you'll see once I actually sew it you need to move the ears out of the way so I'm going to start the ears are going to be that way and I'm going to start go all the way around move the ears out of the way and then come back round to the other end okay so this is a quarter of an inch seam as well And again, we want to start with a lock stitch or a reverse stitch because we're actually going to be turning through this little mark. If I'm cutting out my lining at home with fabric from my stash, um, is it the same, exactly the same size pieces, the lining piece and the... Yes, they're identical. Exactly yeah, okay. identical. So you're just going around the outside edge. I'll reach the stitching mm -hmm. and then pivot a little to keep the shape and then when we 
get to the corner, I'm going to turn, but before I go along there, I'm going to move those ears out of the way. They've now sold out. Sold oh out, sold gosh. out, sold out. We have got a second project for Alison today. Um, it's the Mummy and Mia aprons. So we'll bring the graphics live for them just so you can get ahead on those as well. You've seen the beautiful small version, the, uh, the little me version. Mini me. Mm -hmm. um, how we're doing it today is that you can get the apron pattern, which comes with your egg cracking template. Uh, and it also comes with the birthday applique template as well. Alongside that is another kit that you can get today, which we're doing your template and your panel because I know loads of you have already got the pattern. So especially for Easter, we've done uh, the brand new applique bunny pocket and a panel to go with it. Um, which is all again these lovely designs that, that coordinate with your bunny bags. $14.99 as well, that's really good. Oh, so for everybody who is asking, look, can you do one separately because I've already got the pattern, then this is perfect. So with this you get the, the bunny and look, they're, they look like they've all been pieced, which is done for you. All of your panel, plus you're getting your applique eggs, which we'll talk about those in a moment of where we could use those. But that's what it looks like. And it's got that hidden pocket as well. So that's going to be your main graphic, which is the bumper. Remember, you need your, your pattern first, but this one, I know a lot of you have already got the pattern, so if you do, then these are your applique pieces. Um, anyway, we'll carry on with the bunnies still. Yeah, Alison. right, I've pulled one through, so you're going to put these through up to the point and then clip. Yeah, I'll let go. There we go and pull that through. This makes it so much easier. So we've got that. You don't need to pink these ones. I've taken off the corners. I've clipped off the corners, but you don't need to pink these ones because they're all straight seams. And then we're going to pull that through. Point poke out the corners. And we'll push that one. I'm going to take this again and we're going to poke out the corners at the other end. So they're dual purpose. Nice. Although I'd have bought myself a stiletto since I used it last time. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you see that day? And we're yeah. not talking a pair of stilettos. No, not, are we? not those sort of stilettos. Not like Wendy's. Not like shoes. Wendy's. <gasps> Amazing shoes. I didn't see them yesterday, but I heard pink all about glitter. them. I saw her nails and I texted Kat saying, I love her pink glittery nails. She says, Have you not seen her shoes? <laughs> Were they pink shoes as well? Yeah. Oh. Pink glitter. Matched her, matched her nails, yeah. She's so glam, so, so <laughs> glam. We were talking about this morning, how she comes in in her high heels each morning. She's always dressed up to the nines. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I couldn't stand in them. I don't know how she does it. Well, so we're now not where PJs, are we, Alison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've turned under where I've turned through, and I'm just... You can hand do this if you want in your lining, but just for speed to get it done, I'm going to... Uh, do I've closed that up and all I've got to do now is press it and it's done. So will that be inside? So if, if you are just whizzing this it. This one's going to be it. inside yeah. eventually, yes. So. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about doing your hand stitching. No. <clears throat> so we'll go round the outside. I mean, I suppose you could top stitch it if you wanted to. You um, could do one of your decorative stitches, yeah. couldn't you? I don't think it needs it. We're going no. to... I didn't push the points out on the ears, so I just get a pin and do that. I always keep one of these big jumbo pins for that. They're fine for going through wool and fleece and things like that, but not ideal for cotton. But I always have one in my pin cushion just to pull through because they're stronger than a standard pin. So you just press around the outside edge. Go and the other one. Tuck the lining through. There you're done. They're so cute, aren't they? 
All the instructions on how to make your pom-pom as well are in, aren't they? Yeah. Do you want me to just give you a very, very quick deal? Like, yeah, Because you, you don't need a gadget mm -hmm. or anything, so... Oh, great. And they help them stand up. I mean, once they're full, once they're full, they stand up anyway. Yeah. Where are we? We're there. So if you've got something in it, it weights it down to stand okay. up. But you're just using double knit. Just double just knit, ordinary yeah. white double knit. Yeah. If you take a little, a little tail and then put that between your two fingers. Where are we there? I've put that through my two fingers, and all I'm going to do is do lots and lots of turns around my fingers very quickly. If you want some yarn, yarn lay website, same postage and packaging and same um, login details, a sewing street. Oh, hang on, hang on, we don't want to miss this bit, Joe. There so we are, they are, they are. <laughs> just stay where you are, Alison. Um, so there's all the different yarns. There's loads on there. Lots of different colours as well. You could do an aspect. I think Ian did say they were getting in some white, so um, okay. yeah. So yeah, I've just wrapped this around my fingers and here's the little bit that I had and I'm just going to pull that and do that into a knot and pull it really tight between my fingers. I'm going to pull that off, hold it together and then pull it tight, tighter. And you've got like a little bow. Yeah. Obviously, if you're giving this to really small children, you wouldn't do this because, I mean, there is the risk of it coming undone. This is a really good way of doing little pom-poms. Cut the loops. I remember when I was doing it, you know, the little um, card where you wind it all round? Yeah. But this is... Yeah. Well, yeah, we used to do way. it on like a round yeah. thing with a hole in the middle. That's and it. You, yeah. I this mean, so and then, much easier. then you can just trim it trim up. It, give it a little haircut. Yeah. And then all you need to do is to take the two, two ends. Uh, have I got a big, oh, I've got a big needle in here somewhere. Oh, so you, so you I thought they were glued on. No, no. So you just no. then stitch it in. Yeah. So you take your two ends, one at a time. It's so quick, isn't it, Alison? It is. It's such a lovely little project. Yeah. And also... Um, in the instructions for the apron, on the apron I have at home, I put a pom-pom on the back, a big pom-pom. Oh. And instead of using two fingers for the pom-pom, I used four. So there was a little pom-pom tail oh, on the back brilliant. of the back of the bunny bunny apron. Oh, I should have put it on that idea. one, shouldn't I? That's such a good idea. So that goes through very close to it. There we go. Let me just knot that off inside the bag. Brilliant. But if you do them in plain, they look really cute with little um, French knots for eyes and a little pink nose. Oh, little, yeah. little triangle for a nose with, with a V underneath it. Oh, I'm excited to see everybody's there versions. There, the pom-pom needs more wool in it, but for time's sake. I suppose with, with your, um, you know, <laughs> once you've got the template at home, once you've got the instructions, you could always upscale it and make big ones. Oh, easily. Yes, easily. Oh, make I a mean, whole if you've family got, of bunnies. If you've got a photocopier where you can guarantee that all the um, sizes will upscale, you know, at the same rate. Yeah. Well, what does it matter if you want longer ears? Yeah, that's it. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, we've just had a message from Sue saying, lovely demo and fabulous nails. Oh, thank you. <laughs> are, are they, how have you got those flowers on there? They're stickers. Stickers? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> so good. Um, we'll just quickly recap the yep. two kits, if that's all right, before yep. we um, jump onto the aprons. Okay, I'll so, get the stuff out for the apron while brilliant. you're doing that. So, those of you that haven't yet got the Mummy and Me aprons, why not? They are brilliant. And it's just two seams, plus your binding. It's really, really lovely project. And they're... Uh, uh, well, depending on what fabric you, you use them in, you, well, you can use them with so many different fabrics, whether you're doing them in like a denim or a canvas. 
Um, you can embellish, you can use them with quilting white cotton. Uh, you can odor coat these. We've seen lots of demos in the past and this is for adults and for the children. So you've got both patterns in there. Now this one comes with, can you see here? the egg cracking applique pocket. So this one you can use it, well, you can make loads of these. I would trace it out so you've got the right, you know, your sizes there and then keep it all in the bag. This is why Alison put it in a, in a lovely bag like this, is so that you can keep it, all of your bits and bobs, because you are going to want to make more of these. On the back, you've got your layout diagram um, and it will tell you how much fabric you need. And then, so not only do you get your cracking egg, you also get our birthday applique pocket. So you could even do a birthday, birthday cake one as well for somebody's birthday, which would be lovely. So that's option one. Those of you that have got this already, which I know loads of you have, we've put together a different bundle for you. So obviously you'll need your pattern, but especially for Easter, we've got an Easter bunny pocket applique which is gorgeous. Uh, so you get your instructions and then you also have a panel. So on the panel, you've got your Easter bunny. Well, that's the bit that goes in the pocket and then this will be over the top of it and you've got the, the, the little bunny paws, the ears. You've also got some applique eggs to use. So, I mean, th this is going to go such a long way whether you choose to embellish on the apron itself or whether you want to use these. I know Alison's made an extra bag, which you, I might have, you might have seen in the background there, using your applique eggs. So there's lots of different um, ways of using Mommy and Me apron. It's been one of the most popular projects since day dot of Sewing Street. Just 14 pounds and 99 pence, and that's for your panel and your, um, your pattern. Now, if you do want to make the apron today in the same color that you've seen the apron, we have got some canvas. So we've got the teal color here. It looks lovely, doesn't it? With that nice bright yellow binding. Half a meter extra wide is just 3.99. It's such good value and it is ideal, absolutely ideal for your, your bunny apron. Nice, nice uh, Easter color. How much of this are we going to need, Alison? You actually need a metre for the adult and the child because the child takes the largest size of the children's one takes uh, 0.75. Okay. Um, so obviously you have to go up to a metre, but you do get a good amount. That's why the, the bag came out of what was left over oh, because I, I also didn't use the little eggs that are on the panel. Right. So I thought I'll put it on the bag. They're doing a little Easter egg hunt. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because it's nice and wide, isn't yeah. it? So this yeah. is good. Uh, the teal colour. We also have the navy, which you'll see in a second with Alison. Um, that's this one. So the adult one needs a metre as well for the size up to size 16. Okay. Because you have to fold it differently for the largest size because of the width of the fabric, you need a metre and a half. Okay, for brilliant. the largest size, which is the 18 to 20. Fabulous. So um, that's one, two, three units, metre and a half. Three units. It's only 3 99 though, and it's really lovely quality, mm. isn't it, the canvas? And it washes lovely. I've oh, that's it. Yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, it's slightly more sort of structured than your, your quilting weight cotton. It's a canvas, but please don't be put off by the word canvas. Yeah, it's not rough of, like you would yeah. imagine a canvas to be. It, and it's really soft. So. Yeah, it's not like the canvas curtaining that you get that's okay. stiff yeah you know it, it yeah it's lovely to use i know this is what debbie shaw uses a lot for her bag making and she'll often say it's really lovely and soft it really is three pound 99 i love the lavender mm. that's really really nice really nice uh three pounds 99 a half meter now you are going to need binding you are going to now whether you choose to make your own binding you love yeah, making your own binding. i i very rarely <laughs> buy binding anymore and there is a there is a video on the sewing street youtube channel yeah we did of me on, making yeah. the um continuous spice binding from a fat quarter so that's worth a look if you fantastic want to do your own if you do want to buy some um we've got some available uh these are already pre-made binding uh so this one is your lovely spot how nice is that? This is your red spot. Now, how much do you get, Kat? Two and a half metres. 
which if you need to join them the, together yeah for the largest one you would need three because you need seven for the largest one okay you need five for the children's largest one so you'd need I could two. still join these together though oh yeah I? easily yeah okay. easily yeah brilliant so this is already pre sort of folded and pressed all nicely ready to go one pound 99 and it's in your spot we've got plain red which is slightly narrower does that make a difference no no this has got the narrower one on I if you are if you're not used to using binding and we are binding the outside edge I'd probably go for the wider one okay yeah um, as this is for a demo really for the pocket I have got some binding here that I will just show you when you buy ready-made binding normally one side of your binding fold because this is called single fold binding one side is slightly smaller than the other which allows you to turn it over and if you're going to bind like I do on mine it's worth watching back the videos of previous makes I mean, I don't do this because I just fold mine because I, I do so much of it. But when you're doing it this way, if you fold it over and leave a little tiny bit wider mm -hmm. on the underside, that means that when you come to put your fabric round, you're going to wrap it on your fabric and you're going to stitch down here. If you're going to stitch you're going to stitch a little way in from the edge, but because that one underneath is wider, you're always going to catch the underside. Right, brilliant. I mean, there are other ways of doing it, and on the in, on the video, there's a thing there that gives you the date on the pattern. Oh, great. So um, you can watch it back you on You can YouTube. watch it back, and I go through a couple of ways that you can add the binding. That's the sky blue. The sky blue that Alison was just showing you is this one. It's two and a half metres. And then finally, very, very quickly, £1.49. Um, this one is like a tan colour, so it's going to go with everything, isn't it? Linen, it's called. Um, £1.49. It's the same width, again, that 12 mill um so what's that your main graphic is going to be the uh the add-on the brand new today so the panel is great actually isn't it oh it's lovely because you can just cut everything all out perfect <laughs> you don't have to transfer patterns or anything so we've got uh, everything here that's it. That's all you need to do. You don't have to transfer any patterns or anything. Great. And I love that it's such a hidden pocket, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, the idea was uh, egg hunts, you know. Yeah. yeah so. Absolutely. Yeah. It's brilliant. Right. So what do you want to show us today? The pocket? Yeah. Because you need bonder web. I don't know whether there's any of that in stock because you start off, cut all your whole egg on the panel. There's... Could you hold out the panel? Would they yeah. be able to show the panel? Is a metre piece enough of Bonder Web? Just the, sm the smaller packet? Yeah, that's all you're going to oh, use. fantastic. Yeah, we've got that, that $2.99. Yeah. So you've got the whole egg, which is the, the finished the one, pocket, basically. basically. That's, basically. That's the background. Yeah, the inside. Then you've got, <coughs> on the right-hand side at the bottom is your pocket, and then yeah. you've got all the little additions on the top. Fab. So you start off by cutting out the whole, the whole one on the left-hand side there. Mm -hmm. and adding bonder web but one thing I did do I'm doing the adult one now so I'm leaving it as it is but if you're doing the child's one if I can just oh we're behind a square when you do the child's one if you cut the ears off and place them where you need them on here because obviously they're longer and they come all the way up here uh, I'm with you yeah so just cut them off and replace them mm -hmm. because when you come to do your ears on top you can all you're going to do is line them over the top right so it's you. not an yeah. issue but yeah you will have to cut off the ears and place them where where they fit on the smaller size so with your bond web i've already applied it to the the back and i'm just going to take that off so for anyone that hasn't used bond web before it's a way of um, adhering fabric to fabric. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It it's only is wonderful. If you haven't tried your bonder web before, any of your applique projects, um, we normally sell it on the roll, but that, that generally comes in and sells out very quickly because a lot of people love applique. Yeah, I mean, I adore applique. I, I just think it's fabulous. But there's so many different ways of doing it, um, and I like needle turn applique. 
but with this you can just finish the raw edge and it yeah. doesn't fray away because yeah. it's already stuck to the to the fabric so yeah. I'm just eyeing that up because I've got my fold because the apron the apron's already cut out and it's uh, cut on the fold so I've got my fabric fold there so I'm just eyeing that up and on the pattern it tells you to make up the apron and then put on the pocket mm -hmm. but because we're doing so much work on this normally you'd only put on a like a half moon pocket right. you'll have um, appliqued anything you needed beforehand so that's fine just to do it with all the shoulders done but with this one because we're going to do so much work on this little area it's best to have it flat okay so now all I'm going to do is just uh, take the iron over the top and then that's going to heat bond with the glue that's on the back of the bonder web. It does tell you to leave it for quite a long time actually if you look at instructions and some um, you can use steam mm -hmm. but you have to be obviously be aware of the fabric that you're putting it onto so you know you wouldn't leave it in one place a long long time if you've got something that's going to melt or burn but well is it a, vi a visoline product i think it is isn't it the bonder web um i don't know which one it was they sent actually yeah it's a visoline yeah. one but it's marvelous stuff i don't think any applique would uh, you still need to stitch it down though, don't you? It's not going to hold you, it well, permanently. No, because when you wash it, the edges will start coming up. I mean, they call it a permanent bond, but yeah. yes, either you can free motion around the outside edge or I'm going to zigzag with this one, but you can see that it's down now. But yeah, I wouldn't trust it just on its mm. own. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have on that bag because it's only like a little yeah. novelty thing and it, it, it would only be used at Easter probably, so... Right, so that's down nicely. That's the that. ears are there as well. Right, in preparation, I've put a little bit of ah, wadding. Oh, nice. Just a tiny little bit of wadding on the inside of the pieces that are going to be put down so that you've got like a little bit of padding. Oh, that's so cute. So I 505 those, so, um, or you could use the sew line glue pen and just, it's handy having them glued down to keep them in place. So I've done that on the ears. You do want a bag of the uh, the, the so easy poly wadding, just five pound ninety nine. So it's the ears, the back of the feet, and also the back of the little paws. So I've I've cut that so that it's within the yeah. seam allowance. Okay. And this is the pocket that's going to go over the top. Let's move that out of the way because I'm going to put a. I've put a double seam. So when you cut this one out off of your panel, mm -hmm. you actually cut above where the printing is okay so don't cut right so to don't the cut right to the printing no issue if you do because you can put you can bind it you can put a bit of binding on it mm -hmm. but um yeah we're going to just fold that over i've already pressed it and we're going to put that you stitch that down stitch it down you might as well leave it all uh, uncut until you're ready to go so we'll And you're fine because you're going to sew over this again in a minute. You don't have to worry about your start and stop points. That's why it's handy to um, just run off the ends because you don't have the trouble with, because sometimes things can get caught down in your needle plate, can't they? Yeah. And we're not going to cut around the feet. We're just going to cut, cut the feet off just because we're going to applique those applique those on this panel actually is a little bit different um, to yours in that I don't know whether you can see it on it's got a seam allowance we had that removed because it was too confusing because you didn't really need it okay so we had that taken off I'm so just, you just I'm using up a panel shapes. yeah I'm just using up the the panel that was the tester so this is your pocket and that's going to go down on the top Nice. That's just going to go on top. So now I'm going to pin this in place. 
So you haven't got any bonder web or any interfacing on the pocket? Nope, no, nothing at all, no. You've just got it supported around the top okay. by the seam that you've done. Let's take this out now. So all I'm doing now is I'm just pinning this down to hold it in place because this is again a re another really quick and easy make. Just so you know, it's worth having a look through pre-order pre because Kat's panicking a bit. There's so much that's selling out throughout the day. <laughs> so if you want to get ahead of Alison's next hour Easter projects, you've checked out on any of these, the table runner and the, uh, the tidy as well, the table tidy, please do go through and check out for those nice and early. We're starting to get slightly concerned. Right, the ears, we're not actually going to sew them down in this run of stitching but we're going to just put them in place because what we want to do is we want to stitch over the bottom of the ears okay. when, when we're going around this one. So we're so going to put that in place. So the really 3D as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just putting that little bit of wadding, I mean, just an ordinary little craft wadding is fine or you know something you've got in your stash. Yeah, great. So we're just going to... Pin. Bit of trapunto going on there. Yeah. God, I haven't heard that word for a long time. Oh, it's my favourite word. Joe wants floppy ears on the front of his. Well, if you want floppy ears, that's not a problem because <laughs> what you'll do is you'll cut off both sets. Okay. Put them right side to right side, sew around the outside, uh, turn them inside out, and then just put them in as we're going around, but then you don't sew around the outside because oh, you'll have your double piece that can flop over the front. You can stuff them with a bit of wadding if you like. That'd be all right, Joe. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> he thought he was asking that really awkward question. We were like, no, you can't yeah. do floppy ears, but there yeah, you go. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Wendy Orlando is asking you a question. So, good morning, ladies, late to the party. I've been doing some housework. Where have you been? <laughs> um, she says, I've got a question for Alison. Yep, yep. Um, when do you get time to sleep? Um, yeah. Not it's much. not my best pastime, really. <laughs> <laughs> she has another fab design, and this would be perfect for all levels, too. Um, as not too many twists and turns. Love, 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 love it. And love the scarves. Wendy, I'm not avoiding you, by the way. I will send you a picture of my knitting. She's saying, how are you getting on with your knitting? She started me <laughs> off the other day, so I will send you a photo. A right. Lot. Oh, Wendy. I wonder whether Wendy's got one of the bamboo scarves. I wonder what you were asking then, Kat. Oh, I wonder whether you've got one of these. Um, a lot of people asking about the colour that, uh, that Alison's wearing. It's the rose gold. It's lovely, rose gold. isn't it? They're Go so with soft, everything, obviously. With really your cats. <laughs> um, Yeah, so now all I'm going to do, I'm going to zigzag. You can satin stitch if you like, if you want it a bit tighter. Oh, but lovely. I've just, I tried in the green room and I've got my zigzag set at a full width and a one length. What did you do the, the small one with? Was that like a satin stitch? That's about stitch? it, yes. No, oh. that was the zigzag, oh, zigzag on there. Oh, nice. But you could satin stitch if you want. You could also blanket, um, blanket stitch it. You could um, free motion it. Oh, nice. If you wanted to do it in the dark, yeah. that would look lovely, oh. having the black outline. But uh, yeah, I'm just going all the way around now, but I'm only going around the egg. I'm not doing the ears at the moment because okay. I'm just joining the egg. So I'll be doing the zigzag around the outside edge. We'll see if I, how I'm set there. That's it. There we go. And we're just going to go right the way over the top of the pocket. So obviously the pocket is being sewn down at the same time as the piece of panel that we put down with the bonder web. And would you do all of this before you construct your apron? So exactly as you're doing it Yeah, here. because Normally, I would say, do your shoulders, construct your apron, put it on and find out where you want your pocket. Because there is a point on the pocket um, pattern, it says, place pocket here. But if you want, if you've got longer arms, you might not want it there, you've got shorter arms, you might yeah. want it somewhere else. So it's entirely, it's best to make it, and if you're just doing a single pocket, it's yeah. fine to put it on. But we do quite a lot of work, so it would make it awkward having this right. already constructed. Because it's not flat, is it? Because of the crossover at the back. 
So the idea, if anybody who's not done an applique, is that your needle is swinging from the blue canvas onto your pocket, isn't it? From yeah. side to side. Yeah. It's worth doing a little bit of a practice and just check that you're happy, especially if you're doing something like a blanket stitch, which way the blanket stitch is going, if that makes sense. And do pin it down. And if you, okay. keep, your, if you keep your pin back, it's fine. You're not going to hit it with your sewing machine. Wendy wants the powder blue one that's behind me, this one. Yeah, that's it's, lovely. It's that's beautiful. Called grey, but it, it does have yeah, more of a blue. Yeah, it looks more of a silver grey though, isn't yeah. it? It's not a muddy grey, because yeah. some greys are quite muddy. <laughs> no, it's lovely, that powder blue. Right, I'll be with you in a minute. I'll go all the way around here. Almost like a, you know how you can wear them like um, a pashmina also, let me, if I take this, oh no I can't take it off actually because I've got my microphone You've got your mic'd up, yeah. Um, but there's, you can have it as one of those, you know if you're going to a wedding, someone's had their weddings postponed or any occasions where you just need something to cover your shoulders, more of a shawl, these are ideal and they look really lovely and smart as well. Um, oh, Susan's put, morning Vicky and Alison, how lovely with these looking child sizes, they're so cute. Well you can, they are child sizes as well, this is adult and child sizes, which is fab, isn't it? What age children are they, does it say here? Adults, kiddie size, well yeah, chest size chest, 20 to 33. Yeah, so um, obviously children vary All so much, sizes. don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean a two year old has worn the, the oh, smallest one. Cute. Yeah. So cute. Um, I will just say, now that I've got up to the ears, I've kind of moved my stitching out a little bit so that I'm um, catching more of the ear than I would when I was just putting on here because I'm kind of putting most of the stitch in around the outside of the egg into the egg because you don't want to see too much out on the canvas. But I've moved out slightly here because we're actually anchoring the ear down. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and it's not too much of an angle to worry too much about um, going round a, a curve. No, absolutely. It's it, not a it steep sweeps, curve. Yeah, it sweeps round quite nicely. Yeah, you're not having to stop and pivot, she says. Going over a pins, rebel. <laughs> I've had a message come in from Kerry. Oh, Kerry! Cumbria, morning mum. She says, lovely ladies. Um, morning ladies, I love these scarves. My daughter would go mad for an apron like that as well. Oh, uh, no, Kerry's got, I think, four children, have you not, Kerry? Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's just had lovely little Hope, though. Aww. Hope you had a lovely Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, pashmina shawl, exactly. It's ideal for one of those. I'll just give that a press. It's so clever, isn't it? It's Easter egg slash bunny, it's so cool. And it's the same colours, they coordinate in the panel, all coordinates in with your table runner. Everything, yeah. Um, yeah, everything sort of coordinates together. So if you want to make anything else, so you can serve your Easter lunch with your Easter pinny on yeah. your Easter table runner with your Easter gift bags. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we? Okay, so I'll put one of the feet on. Is it that one? Let's put that one there. And then that one would go there. Oh, Susan, am I pronouncing it wrong? Pashnima or Pashmi? I always thought it was Pashmina. Oh, yeah, I did too. Pashnima, I ah. think they called Vicky, Susan said. 
And there's the ear, and then you've got your two little two little paws. Oh, I see, hang on. It goes on there like that. Obviously, I'm not going to have time to do all of them, but I'll go round one of the ears <laughs> and one of the feet, and then. Uh, this is why, so you trimmed idea. away you, uh, your wadding, so it didn't. Yeah, because you're, get stuck. we're going to go around the outside edge, so you don't want little bits of wadding sticking out. And good idea. I'll go around this one first. I used to do, um, Alison, when I was, we were talking about Trentham Gardens earlier, and I used yeah. to do lots of events. There was a lady in my road when I was sort of 15, 16, who ran an events company, and I once dressed up as the Easter Bunny at Trentham Gardens, Aww. and one of the days, I was booked for the Easter holidays, like a four or five day stint, one of the days, I was really poorly, and I said to my mum, Mum, you're going to have to go and do it. And mum's really shy. Oh, it, But she loved it. I was going to say, was it doesn't matter. She was yeah. She really came into her own, being the Easter Bunny. We're always like... When you're in disguise, it doesn't matter, does it? No. I, lo I love fancy dress. <laughs> so funny. So now it's like... It's like a good, um, it, now I said, mum, if I have this baby over Easter, you are officially have to be the birthday Easter bunny. Yeah. Nanny bunny or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so oh, out of lovely. character for us. Yeah. It's so funny. But when, when you're in a costume like that, it doesn't matter, does it? No. You can be anyone you like. Oh, and those of you that remember Alison's very, very first VT, in fact, it's still going out at the moment, isn't it? So you do see it. Jill said, um, will Alison bring her dog applique patterns to Sewing Street? Um, it's it's in the in the offing. Is it? Yes. They're not my patterns. They're oh, okay. someone else's. Right. But, uh, yeah, we are sort of... Because um, we love seeing those on your advert. Yes. And my Claris Cliff as well. People have said about the Claris Cliff one. Oh, right, OK. Um, because that's the other side of me. Because I, I absolutely adore Claris Cliff. So there we are. There's the ear done. Um, let's go down here and do one of the feet now. And you just carry on doing that, and then that's it finished. And of course, unless you want a, a pom-pom on the back. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> so you, did you do it the same way, just a exactly lot more? Exactly the same way, but over four fingers. OK. Yes, yeah, yeah, just making it bigger, it bigger and, and obviously lots more wool. I mean, I would have done uh, that one with more wool. But uh, just to show everybody. Yeah, I mean, I can remember doing them with my nan, with the with the rounds of card and you had to keep cutting the pieces of wool small enough to go through that the middle it, yeah yeah I mean and we cut them down and trim them down so it doesn't really matter that uh, that they're different lengths you just trim it all up and does anyone Remember, it's just reminded me of my old um, when I was at primary school. We did craft club, so it was that making pom poms. Yeah, and it was also there was something that like had a doll's head, and you sort of pull it through. I don't know if it's called French knitting or something. Oh no, a dolly knitting. The, you go around yeah. the pegs. Yeah, and you cut and it comes a little through. cord. That's it. What's yeah. that? Uh, it is French knitting, isn't is it? it? It's like dolly knitting, it used to be called, yeah. And you make them into like coasters yeah. and things like that. That's right. You do can you do them with um, cotton reels as well. Is that still a thing? Yeah, when cotton reels were wood, you could put nails in the right. top of cotton wool. Yeah, you can still buy those sort of things. Oh. Obviously, we're going round a tighter corner or bent curve here, so I'm, I'm stopping and lifting and moving. This is why it would be more difficult having the apron made up. Oh, yeah, you, it would be a bit of a faff, yeah. wouldn't it, trying to... Because the, the back of the apron is actually joined and crossed over, it's not like a flat apron. If you're putting it on a flat apron, you could put it on an apron that's already made up, couldn't you? 
if you wanted to. Oh, Jan said that it's Dolly Bobbin. Oh, Dolly Bobbin. Uh, Janice has also said French knitting or yes. corking, we used to call it. She says we've got them on Yarn Lane. Are you kidding? Oh, Jan, I'll have to have a look. I'll oh, have, have they look. done it? Yeah, oh, I had no idea. Oh, oh, I'll have to have a look on the website. Whoops. Stay up there. So there we go. So we've got a nice little puffy. Oh, that's so cute. Puffy foot. That is so cute, isn't it? I just love that we've all got, you know, different Mummy and Me aprons now for lots of different occasions. And it's really important you keep your pattern because you are going to make multiple. How many have you yeah. got, Alison? Oh, I've lost count. <laughs> and I ordered some fabric yesterday to make one for Easter as well. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Um, obviously, when you're pressing this, if you're using a polyester wadding, mm -hmm. don't use too hot an iron because it will just flatten your wadding. Yeah, and that's the whole reason of putting the whole, it in is the whole point. Want to yeah, keep it nice so and just textured. take it around the outside edge and give it a good press, and yeah, you're all done. Oh, brilliant! Two lovely Easter makes from you there. Thank you. Um, do get ahead it. of um, the queue with Alison's next two projects at eleven o'clock. We're probably going to start it slightly earlier to make sure that Alison gets the full. Yeah. hour because we've got two projects, two projects to again. do <laughs> so we do want to make sure that we do it have a look through on pre-order and see what's available there's the table runner and there's also this storage um caddy which is so fab and this is going to be so useful then all year round for lots of different with lots well, yeah, of yeah you you can untie it and just have store it flat, it flat. yeah oh yeah. it's brilliant absolutely brilliant yeah. we love those is that everything that you wanted to say yes, about? Yes, I mean, I, can, I could carry on and do these, but I'll try and do that in the break, and if I can get it all bound and done, I'll bring Ready it back in. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Okay, thank you, welcome. thank you. We'll mm -hmm. see you in an hour, Alison. Lovely. Um, right, so we still have no availability, sorry, on the, uh, the bunny bags. They've all completely sold out. If you've never done the Mummy and Me uh, apron before, you need your pattern. This is your pattern, uh, and it's got the adult size, sizes 10 to 20, and also the kiddie size, which is 20 inch chest to 33 inch chest. Um, have a look back, there's dates on YouTube uh, that, that are jotted down on the front of the pattern there. So this one comes with the egg cracking applique, and it also comes with your birthday cake applique pocket, which we literally launched um, for, our, for our first birthday a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so this one's lovely as well. Birthday projects, it's fab, and you can put as many candles as you want on there. Um, it, it's a lovely project, really lovely. And as I said, it's only two se seams and then it's your binding. So you'll make loads of these. They're great gifts for people as well. So you don't need to worry too much about it fitting with darts if you are getting into dressmaking. And it does cover your bum as well at the back. So you can actually wear it as a tunic. I've seen such lovely designs with denim. And uh, I know that uh, Alison's also made it with a jelly roll with two and a half inch strips. So there's so much you can do. A really, really versatile pattern. We love it. So that's option one. Now, for anyone who also has the pattern, which I know loads, hundreds and hundreds of you have already got it, um, we've done a special bundle for Easter. So you have the Easter bunny pocket, which we were just looking at with Alison. It's got your templates and your instructions, but it does also come with a panel. So this comes with the panel for $14.99, which you can simply just cut out. You don't need to use the template. It's literally including your seam allowance, just cut around the edges. Just remember with the pocket to don't cut right to the edge. You want to leave yourself a bit of a turn um, to be able to give you a little hem. Now you've also got extra additions of some Easter eggs there as well. Alison, behind us, we hadn't mentioned, um, we did briefly when we said, you, if you're getting a metre and a half for the largest size, you'll probably still have some fabric left mm. over in the cotton canvas. Yeah. And you've just appliqued the yeah, Easter eggs on the, the bag. The eggs on the bag, yeah. Nice. With some of the leftover fabric. There you go. So still use those for other projects. They're really lovely. Uh, £14.99. Now we do have all of the canvases on the website. We've got all of the bindings that are available on the website. It's up to you whether you want to make your own. Now Alison's going to be back in an hour. Don't forget to have a good look through pre-order, not only at all of Alison's projects coming up at 11 o'clock, but also the bamboo scarves are selling like hot cakes. Um, Alison is known to be a bit of a trendsetter. There's now less than 10 of the rose gold option. Um, what about my coral? 
There's loads. No one wants that one. <laughs> no, coral has also been very, very popular. Thank you, Kat. Joe's just mean, isn't it? Um, these two have been the most popular today. Don't forget, you've also got your grey and the silver. Olive green is lovely as well, and that's closely followed, actually. So we'll get that out, and I can show you that in a bit as well. Um, there's loads of colours, so it's definitely worth having a good look on the website because these are now at the lowest ever price. So here's a lovely poppy who you'll meet at 12 o'clock. So there's the light grey, there's black, olive green, we've got a beige, grey, which is the one behind me, the charcoal, that's the one that I bought for Tom. They're great for, for gents as well. And then you've got the rose gold and the coral, which is the ones that me and Alison are wearing. Um, they're lovely. And then finally, we've got the ivory. That's a lovely ivory, isn't it? It's like biscuity colour. It's beautiful. Is that the charcoal behind you? The charcoal's... Yeah, that's the charcoal. It's gorgeous colour because it's, it's not hard like black, is it? No, exactly. So it's blending with loads of colours. Yeah, lovely. That's the one that I bought for the, the gents. All of the gents had yeah, them for lovely. Christmas. They're yeah. nice for, for, for him or for her. Really lovely pre presents and they're so soft. Uh, have a look on the website anyway. We'll be talking more about those with Poppy at 12 o'clock. Don't go anywhere. We're going to do more Easter treats. Lots of Easter fabrics and, and lots of, um, well, I'll show, you, I'll show you after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
Were you waiting for me to stop eating then, Joe? <laughs> Honestly, Alice and Marion, she treats us all the time. We got lovely posh chocolates in those Easter bags. <gasps> oh, they're so lovely. Right, we're not going to have to start, I think, with the spot bundle because this is already about to sell out. Um, sorry, the panel behind me's gone already. Lots of people have spotted it over the last couple of hours. We had some Easter fleece. Where's that? Gone. Completely sold out. I'm so, so sorry. Well done if you've got a head on pre-order, though. I have been warning everybody today. It's very, very busy. I'm so pleased that you've all got a spring in your step like us. We're feeling ready for Easter, ready for spring now. Um, this bundle is lovely. And Kat said, to be honest, when I put it together, it's not like her to not have the fabrics to hand, but she said, I had to do it from home. And she says, I didn't realize that this was a larger spot, but do you know what? It works. Different scales of print is, are always really useful. Um, whether you're using this all for one project or whether you're using it for, for linings, for the lovely little bunny bags. Well, I, I mean, you're gonna be able to get loads of bunny bags out of this, aren't you? In fact, that's what I'd do make loads of bunny bags with this 21.99 you've got your pattern um it's completely sold out um this is absolutely ideal isn't it just so you know there's now less than five of these bundles and we can't recreate it because we've got no lemon spot that's that's the very last um of the lemon but these for linings for little easter bags for little scrunchies for um, borders, for your quilting, they're poplin weight. They are absolutely lovely. There's a lady asking, can you use poplin weight for cushions? You absolutely can. And if you do want to do something that's more, um, you know, structured, uh, then just add some interfacing, add some H640 or some wadding. They're lovely. Sod out. Right, should we do my uh, baby bundle? Now. Kat has done everything she can to max this out. I know that we often, we often have people who come in and say, why don't you add more to the stock? Honestly, we wish we could. We wish we could. Um, so, you are getting seven half metre pre-cuts three and a half meters in total. Um, now we have maxed out everything we possibly can on this because every single time we've bought it to air, it's sold out. It launched for my baby shower and the colors are adorable. Springtime projects, Easter projects, baby projects, but also just lovely pastel shades for your stash. So for example, if you're working with any of your Moda fabrics and you want to have a complementing fabric, if you've got any of your Liberty fabrics and you want a complementing fabric, it's gonna go a long, long way. It's gonna make your designer fabrics go further. Once again, linings for your bunny bags. And we saw hundreds of those go in the last hour. They've completely sold out now. So well done if you did manage to get them. Um, 23.99, it's such a good price, isn't it? Remember, these are Rose and Hubble solids. They're really lovely quality quilting weight cottons. Uh, these are all of our, we, we have a staple range of fabric that's constantly on our website and we do do our best to be able to make sure that they're always in stock. We can't guarantee they're always in stock. Sometimes they, they, they are um, having to be on reorder if they've sold out, but these are ones that you'll always be able to replace. So if you find that you love this color, this mint, and you're thinking, actually, do you know what? I want more of that. You'll be able to go back to the website, whereas with lots of our designer fabrics, they come in and they disappear. But these are our staple. So when we are having our staple collection of fabric, we obviously want to make sure that it's gorgeous quality. And over the birthday, you might have heard our presenter, Rebecca Reed talking about that and how we really do pride ourselves in not only having um, really good pricing, but we want to make sure it's uh, the best quality that we can bring you for the best price point. So they are lovely, absolutely lovely, just $23.99. So you've got in here mint, you've got lemon, ivory, you've got light grey, light lilac, chambray, and pink. And I want to just run through those, those names because that's what they're called on our website. So if you do want multiple units of a, one of those colors, because these are all pre-cut into half meters. So if you want multiple units of say lemon, then you can just type in lemon on the website and you'll find it. Brilliant for this time of year. It's fresh, springy, 
absolutely gorgeous and as I said we've maxed out we've put together huge quantity of this bundle a quarter have already sold um, but keep your eyes peeled you know as we're going through other fabrics this is going to be a brilliant mixer bundle to go with everything um, Kat says, I think this is the biggest quantity bundle that I've ever put together. That's how confident you are. Normally, she's a bit more conservative thinking, oh, is it going to be popular? She knew that this one was going to be really popular, so maxed out as many as we possibly could. Um, it's been really, really busy today. Very, very busy indeed. Just 23.99. Love it. Now, we've also got a brand new Riley Blake fabric bundle. Oh, this one is literally perfect for spring. It's called Easter Egg Hunt. Doesn't get any better than this. So you're getting, oh my word, these are adorable. Oh, look at this. So we have got them by the half meter. So you've got your three Easter eggs here. And then you've also got this amazing bunny that says this way. He's got his Easter egg uh, basket there. He's got his little beautiful uh, daffodils, Easter eggs. Start here. What does this one say? Hop to it. Oh my word, this reminds me. Last year, Kieran did me an Easter egg hunt in the flat. Obviously, we'd just gone into lockdown, hadn't we? And uh, there's nothing really to do. And he says, I'm going to do an Easter egg hunt. Were, were you involved in it, Joe? Joe, so I had clues that I found and then I had to FaceTime or call somebody for my next clue. So Joe was part of it, Joe and Liam. And I had to hop around the whole of our flat to get to the next one. It was hilarious. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so funny. But I can't remember what you had to do. Can you, Joe? But there was something that I had to ring Joe for a clue. <laughs> Love an Easter egg hunt. You never get too old to do an Easter egg hunt, do you? <laughs> especially a chocolate at the end of it. I'll be like, yes, I'm up for doing an Easter egg hunt. So you have got, <laughs> yeah, my mum, she loved being in that bunny suit. So can we do this one? Imagine doing Alice and Marion's Mummy and Me apron. Oh, this is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So they say this way, hop to it, start here. And then you've got different, you could even fussy cut these and applique them onto smaller projects, couldn't you? You could even do like little bunting, little Easter bunting. Look, you've got your little Easter baskets. Loads of this is already sold on pre-order, by the way. We've now got five metres left. That is it. Hop to it. Your daffodils. Oh, I wonder what you're making. I wonder what you're making. Are you going to make some of the bunny bags? Some of the bunny bags, even if you get half a metre, think about how many you're going to have. In fact, Kat, could you do me a favour? I'm just wondering if you could get the template for the um, bunny bags. They've completely sold out. But I'm just imagining how big the template is and how many you're going to be able to make, even if you get half a metre. Which is brilliant, isn't it? Seven pounds ninety-nine pence a half meter, and it is Riley Blake. So those of you that love our Kerry, Kerry living in loveliness, she adores this. Absolutely adores it. Oh yeah, you'll be able to get loads. Uh, even if you're upscaling it, even if you're thinking of doing, um, even if you're thinking of doing larger bags, then you could upscale this on your photocopier or on your printer. And look, if we. Um, show you you'd be able to do loads and loads and loads just with half a meter in fact this is the template cutter ready to go and you could fussy cut and place them however you want so that's amazing isn't it oh all these are lovely riley blake they're about to sell out cats raiding the chocolates allison there's different chocolates oh my word oh, we're so spoiled here we really really are I don't know what I'm going to do when I leave you. Oh, honestly, she is absolutely our fave, isn't she? We love her. Oops, cat, your um, your thing's going to fall off the um, the lamp. Okay, very, very, very limited on that. Shall we do our stripes? Because that's really different. Now, this yes is Easter, but also. I think this is quite boho. This would make a really lovely sort of boho bag, wouldn't it? It goes perfectly with my scarf. 
I want a bag to go with my new coral scarf. Oh, isn't it lovely? Absolutely lovely. I bought my mom this colour scarf for Christmas and she wears it all the time. And you know when you get real FOMO, <laughs> you just think, oh, I should have got, I should have kept that for me. And I've decided I am going to get one and we're at a new lowest ever prices today. So it is lovely. But this would look really, really nice as a big beach bag. I'm thinking with like a rope handle. Or if you want to do home decor with pom-poms all on it, do some sort of festivaly theme. I am thinking, you know, beach bags. Oh, I'm hoping this year that I can just see the sea. I'd love to be able to just go to Western Supermare or Cornwall, anywhere. Westerns are lo most, I say local. We're as far away from the sea as you possibly could be. Um, but yeah, Western would be lovely. Oh, my grandma lives in North Wales. I'd love to go and see her as well. £7.99, a half metre. Also, Easter eggs, you can just cut that out and obviously you've got all your stripes, um, all your layers of Easter eggs. So with your, uh, your mummy and me, perfect. You've eaten all the chocolates in there. What, how many have you had, Jo? One. Oh, Jo's got a white Kinder Bueno. And do you know what I've bought? Orange Twirl, have you tried those yet? Cat, cat bought a salad. We've also got pasties though, haven't we? Right, so that's brand new Riley Blake. We've also got the pink eggs. Now we've got pink, we've got golden, and we've got ivory. We'll start with the pink. I am thinking for, you know, Barbara's bunting, you could get some really lovely shapes out of here for your EPP as well, some nice big hexes. Because from a distance, it doesn't look like Easter novelty fabric. It looks quite opulent, actually, doesn't it? But then when you come in closer, you can see that they're little Easter eggs. So cute. Do you still get Easter eggs, though? Do you still get an Easter egg? Oh, I don't. £7.99. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That lovely colour in the background. Perfect for all of your Easter makes. Great for lots of Easter projects. Lovely for your bunny bags if you managed to get, if you were lucky enough to be able to get the pattern earlier on. And again, where have I put the template? Just with half a metre, just with half a metre, you'd be able to make loads, absolutely loads. And um, you can make a dozen of these just if you get yourself a bit of production line going. Um, it's not going to take long at all. You saw how quick and fab the uh, the the um, demo was. You could make them really quickly. Yeah, you're right, Kat. I, I said this at the start. From a distance, it doesn't look like an Easter novelty fabric. It's not screaming bunny rabbits at you, whereas it looks very opulent. And then when you look closely, it's just got that lovely, classy Easter feel. It's not childish, is it? Oh, Kat's thinking of Fabergé eggs. They remind her of really classy eggs. You with your Fabergé eggs. <laughs> oh, she, says, oh, she says, I'll never have a Fabergé egg. <laughs> Fabergé. This one. Oh, right. Just so you know, the mint with the bunnies on, this one, is half a metre left half a metre left. If you do want to get the mega bundle, the still availability, Joe, look at that one. That's the, um, the green that's about to sell out. This is our, oh, look at that. Golden, golden eggs, I love that. 7 99 There you go, Pauline, Pauline. That's exactly what Kat said. She, she's just put, they look more posh, like Fabergé eggs. She says, I can't spell it. I think that's how you spell it, Fabergé. I think that's how you spell it. I know what you mean. Your guess is as good as ours. Um, <laughs> just £7.99. How about a lovely Easter dress? Something to wear around springtime. Just like the white flowers as well. Simple. Not lots of colours. It reminds you of a beehive in that colour. That's lovely. 
I'm thinking that you could line a, a wicker basket. I went to, um, we've got like a little fruit and veg market out in, um, in our square and there was a lady there and she had a big wicker basket that she was putting a fruit and veg in. I thought, oh, that looks so good. That looks so lovely. And you could just line it with some beautiful fabric couldn't you? And that'd be gorgeous. Or, you know, the storage tray tidies that we're doing in the next hour for your Easter table, a really lovely centerpiece. Lots of people make different wreaths and things at Easter, don't they, as well? It's nice to be able to, especially this year, um, I know that when we were at Christmas, everyone was saying, right, it's all about Easter. I'm doing lots of Easter decorations this year. I'm going to go all out with my Easter decorations. It's now Easter. We can put all of our spring things up. Have you seen on Facebook, Susie Duncan's put a picture of her, her spring display. She changes her window display each season. She's put a, a spring one up now. But this is lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. We've also got one other brand new Riley Blake fabric. This is brand new in today, especially for Easter. And by the looks of things, lots of these are in and out today. This one is with your white background. Seven pounds, 99 and a half meter. This is called Easter Egg Hunt and this one is the Royal Egg. Oh, you could make just um, fabric eggs, couldn't you? Stuff them with lots of toy stuffing that you hang then onto your Easter tree. Does anybody have an Easter tree? You have all your mum. I was wondering whether you've got one in your new home. Kat says, no, no. Um, she's got a hoover though. Well done. <laughs> got your hoover, you've got your duster buster. You've got your bell dray iron. You've got your bell dray iron. Um, that's still available by the way. I saw it yesterday on the show. It's on the website if you do want the two in one iron. Just £7.99 for your Riley Blake. If you do want the entire mega bundle, it comes with all five Easter fabrics. So you get your white background, you get your gold background, and you get your pink of your Easter eggs. The only way of getting this bunny fabric is in the bundle that's now sold out by the half meter. And then you get what you call, a, I'm calling it a blender of this collection, but it's not, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hmm? You do save actually, you're saving. You're saving on um, the bundle. If you purchase them all as half meters, it costs you slightly more. But if you do want them all, um, if you can't choose which ones you want, you get half meter pre-cuts. It costs you, oh yeah, you're saving a pound. Saving a pound. What's that? 38.99, it was all just, sorry, it was, it was stuck into my um, earpiece. Um, right, 38.99. All brand new Riley Blakes. Oh, I love Riley Blake fabric. Now we've got some design rolls um, which are exclusive to us. Now, generally, if you buy a design roll, it comes already sort of pre cut. But what I love about these is that it gives you so much scope to do other things. So I've got, um, is there one in particular that you want to start with? We'll start with the pastel full strip. So these are your full width of fabric. In fact, no, 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 they're not. Generally, with a jelly roll or a design roll, depending on what brand you're looking at, they're 112 wide, which is your full width of, um, of, of quilting weight fabric. Whereas these are 140 wide and you've got a bit of extra white fabric either side as well. I mean, they're absolutely huge. Let me show you. It's amazing. And now they've also put little gaps in between. So if you do want to cut them, into two and a half inch strips you absolutely can if you want to make the apron out of this you can absolutely can um you can pin tuck between those you could leave them as a uh, part of the design it's absolutely fine but i like the fact that they have given you the option that if you do need perfect two and a half inch strips you've also got a little bit of wiggle room and every single one of them has got a different print so you've got little crosses you've got little squiggles uh, you've got dots you've got stripes you've got all sorts if i just keep pulling it down then you can see all these different colors and they are your perfect pastel shades aren't they all two and a half inch strips ready to go 19 pounds and 99 pence bearing in mind how much do you pay 
for a design roll or a jelly roll. Depending on the designer, you can pay 30, 40 pounds. It's such good value, such good value. Absolutely love them all. And they're really nice and wide. So whether you're choosing to subcut them into squares, triangles, hexes, EPP, however you want to use them, We've seen Debbie before do a bolster cushion where she's pin tucked between them. You could cut them on the bias. You could do binding with this. The, because they're printed onto a panel, which is exclusive to us, it makes them even more versatile. Two and a half inch strips are very versatile anyway, aren't they, Wendy Orlando? I know that um, she loves working with two and a half inch strips. Lots of patterns call for two and a half inch strips, but see it as one piece of fabric as well, like that. Very versatile. We have a second strips panel, which isn't as wide, but if you don't want full width, if you don't need full width, then this one's brilliant value for money. Similar colours, so again, your pastel springtime ones. Sorry, I'm so aware now. After I had a lovely message about how amazing my folding was, is my mic gone funny? I had um, a message about how good my folding was. Since then, I'm very aware of it. I've got to keep up those standards. There we go. These are your spring pastel strips. So they're cut into quarters. So you can see this is one quarter, is your pinks and your yellows. And then on the other side, there's pinks and yellows. They've all got different prints. I turn it over. This one, you've got your blue and lilac. Now this one, you don't have the white gap between, which I know some people actually prefer, depending on your project, because you can just treat it as one big piece of fabric. Um, so you get all of those colors. If I open it out, then you can see your blue, your lilac, your pink, and your yellow. All of that for 12.99, just 12.99. It is brilliant, brilliant value for money. And the, uh, the patterns are so lovely. They're different to the ones that we saw on the last panel. Uh, this one's got like a lovely floral print. Look at that. The floral, the triangles, the dots. This one's lovely. This is like um, dandelions, isn't it? Dandelion and burdock. Oh, no. No, thank you. I haven't had one in ages, but I don't think I've ever fancied it because I think that it's, I just presume it's very floral. You have to have it warm. No, don't get started on warm squash again. No. Uh, £12.99. pence. Oh, I bet you like iron brew as well then, Joe, don't you? <gasps> they do like an iron brew. Now, we've also got two other big design rolls. These were super, super popular when we launched them last year. It was probably the same sort of time. It was probably um, this time last year that we launched them and I haven't really seen them since. Oh, so I've got the fat quarters. I've got the blues, which is called set two. So we've got two different colors. Oh, look at these. Very, very limited. We do do our best to try and keep up with the demand and get them back in when we can, um, but do make the most of it. Now, these do have gaps in between, so if you want to cut them into fat quarters, and they're big fat quarters, we're calling them fat quarter plus <laughs> because they are big. It, because of the width, it's 140 wide, so you're getting a lot of fabric there. And we know how far fat quarters go. In fact, these would be ideal for your bunny bags absolutely ideal because I would use this and then this one as my lining it would be lovely wouldn't it absolutely lovely and for 20 pounds you'd be able to make loads absolutely loads and I think you are going to get a bit addicted to making those bunny bags you're going to want to make them for everybody because they're so quick so fun and so simple and if you've got a ball of yarn it's going to be perfect oh don't set me that challenge cat she just says well this one's going to be a difficult one to fold isn't it I'm following the lines. Right, we also have set one, which is again fat quarters, but it's a different, um, different color. So you're getting more of the pinks this time. I do love all the different 
pretty floral prints. Right, I'm going to lay it down on the desk again, but these are the same size. They're, e they're 70 by 50 centimetres each, um, which is 27 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. Absolutely huge. And look at those lovely colours. This one's got a bit of a retro feel to it, hasn't it? That one's got a bit of a retro feel. Just 19 99 You've also got your really lovely ditzy floral print. You've got your flowers all in a row. What are these ones called? I do know this. They get You have seeds in them, don't you? I'm not sure. No, it's not poppies. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, this one's called... Hello Poppet, uh, set one it is the, the first colourway, but it does complement very well with set two as well. Complements with both of them. Okay. So I was supposed to wait until the next hour, but I think that we need to just do this now because um, you've spotted them on pre-order. We've got some brand new exclusive panels which um, we're fast tracking forward just so that you get a look in at these because I've got a feeling they could sell very, very quickly. Now I've got strips and fat quarters. Oh my word, strips, fat quarters and charm squares. Let's go stripes first, the strips. So did you love these fabrics that we've been using with Alison's Easter projects, whether it had been the bunny ears, whether it had been the, uh, the apron that we had earlier on? <gasps> This is exactly the same print. So it's 140 wide again. Oh, look at these. So you've got your Easter eggs, different scales of um, print, double the width. I've, I haven't unfolded it all, but it is double the width, so 140 wide. You've got your little chicks. You've got your bunnies. Come on in closer, Joe. Look at all of this lovely detail. Your prints of your bunnies in green and blue. And there's even little ditzy prints in the background as well. Such detail. These are all exclusively made for us. For the Easter eggs, look. Especially for Alice and Marion's projects. They are beautiful. And then if I flip it over, you've also got your gingham, your spots, your stripes, and all of these lovely florals. Oh, they are so nice. Oh my word, they have flown into baskets. Just be aware, there's your gingham, there's your spot, and let me show you the bottom ones as well, because you've got the florals and you've got stripes and spots at the bottom. You could do your bunting, you could do little mini bunting. Oh, it would be so lovely. Or actually, if you did big bunting, well, don't worry, it's not your eyes. Um, if you did do bigger bunting, then it would look like you've pieced them all together, wouldn't it? Great idea. Great idea. If you do want to make more of the egg applique pockets, maybe one for everybody, you get the templates and your instructions that we launched in the last hour. If you want to make more of the storage tray tidies, if you want to make more of the Easter bunny um, bags, these are really good to all tie in together. If you want all of your Easter makes to all tie in and look lovely together, all your decorations to match. Perfect. So, we also have the fat quarters. I'll open this one right out so you can see how big these fat quarters are. And those of you that have got any of Wendy, our Wendy Gardeners books, or any of the Debbie Shaw books, the Half Yard books, there's so much that you can make with a fat quarter. And to have them specialised just for Easter. The stripe is lovely. Even the things you can do with that stripe. I'd like to see somebody use some binding with this. I love a stripey binding. The o bottom two, I mean, they're not overly Easter, are they? They're really, really lovely for lots of projects. So you've got your floral, you've got your stripe, you've got your Easter bunnies, which again doesn't need to be Easter bunnies. Bunnies aren't just for Easter. Neither are chicks. Did you get your bunny bag? Do you want some um, bunny bag lining? The stripe would be lovely as the ears for the lining. Absolutely. It's only 19 99 It's such good value. Okay, these are brand new in today and I think they could be selling out today as well. Um, we'll remind you about these if we've got any left in the 11 o'clock show. 
they are all used in Alison's projects that are coming up um, at 11 o'clock. So we'll recap those if we have chance. Just wanted to introduce them early because it's very, very busy today. Finally, we've got the charm squares. I love a charm pack. Five inch squares, which are ideal for so many projects. Like I was saying with two and a half inch strips, there are so many patterns out there that call for two and a half inch strips. Same with charm squares. You can buy books on how to use your pre-cuts, but it means that you're getting all of the different prints. Let me move this out of the way. Um, look at this. Oh, right, charm packs. How much are they generally? $17.99? $19.99? Maybe $15.99? Look at this. This is $12.99, really good price. 40 complementing five inch squares. And they are so lovely. You could do some really pretty fussy cutting with your little bunnies. Um, you're gonna have enough if you're doing English paper piecing to be able to do what, depending on the size of your hexes, four hexes, depends how big they are. But um, even if you just wanna patch these together, uh, just make them into one big quilt. This one, Cat loves the big daisy print. Oh look, there's an even bigger one there. You got your stripes. This one's little chicks. They're little chicks. And the huge gingham. Look, the two different um, gingham prints, different scales of print. So it's all thought out. That's just half of it. Look, you've then got all, all those lovely spots. You've got the eggs with the different prints. You've got more bunnies, this time with a cross in the background. You've got bigger chicks here, bigger eggs there. Even bigger chicks here. Brand new and exclusive. The only place that you can get it is here, which is fabulous, isn't it? I love this, absolutely love it. And they all coordinate different scales of print, different projects. Oh, let us know what you make with these. Still time to make things for Easter as well. Still absolutely, still time to make things. Um, just £12.99 for your huge 40-piece charm pack. I'm saying it's a charm pack, but of course, when they're like this, you could just simply quilt between these. You don't actually need to cut them out and patch it, do you? This is 100% cotton. Um, I'd say it was a quilting way, absolutely. They're really nice. They almost feel, they haven't got a dressing on them, but it, they feel like they'll behave themselves on the sewing machine. They're not slippy and slidey. <clears throat> I know that Alison Marion loves working with our panels. Delphine Brooks loves working with our panels as well. In fact, where is Delphine on Thursday? Tomorrow, I thought it was Thursday. <gasps> Oh, tomorrow we've got Delphine Brooks and we've got a brand new applique project, which if you if you sign up to our newsletter, you'll have seen a little sneak peek. It's amazing. It looks so good, doesn't it? Another one, she's just done it again. She's done it again. Half the stock of these squares have now gone. Be very, very careful. We will try and do more if there are more available, but they're all brand new today and selling very quickly. So we've got a discount on some buttons. We're gonna do some brilliant prices for anyone who wants to embellish any of their projects with some lovely wooden buttons. Look, these are supposed to be £2.50. They've got little bunny rabbits. They're all individual. I've got the ones with the bunnies and the carrots and there's, look, um, bunnies and carrots. Are you ready for the price? Forget £2.50, they're 89 pence. <laughs> 89 pence? Oh, I'd just add them to your order. Add them to your order. If you've bought anything else today, pack of six, little beautiful um, decorative buttons. So whether you're stitching them onto your table runner, any bags, if you're stitching them onto little cardigans, if you're stitching them onto anything, making little Easter cards. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Easter bonnets, just 89 pence. Absolutely brilliant value. I don't think we've done anything at 89 pence before, so we can't stay on that price point because um, airtime is expensive. Um, it's not cost effective for us, but I just wanted to show you as these are all brilliant. Now this has got butterflies. I've got a ladybird in there, Kerry. I've also got a little bird in there. Lots of people have been finding these on the website and already checking out. 
lovely little springtime wooden buttons. You could paint these, couldn't you, or colour them. They've obviously got the little um, holes as well, so you get some nice brightly coloured thread and stitch them on. I've also got just butterflies and, oh no, butterflies and flowers. 89p, pack of six of your, what, uh, your wooden buttons. Um, hang on, let me shimmy one of the, the flowers. I know that they've been very, very popular, so I don't want to open a pack because that means that somebody won't get them, but these are the flowers. And then you've also got all of your, your butterflies as well. And then one more, finally, these are flowers and leaves. Little flowers and leaves. Oh, is that a little pot? Sorry that I'm rustling away. Uh, I can't do it. These ones have got a little flower pot in there as well. Your leaves, your flowers and your flower pots. Just 89 pence for your pack of six spring buttons. All of the buttons have been very, very popular. If you've opened your order today, it's definitely worth just adding them on. You've already paid your P&P. That's just a little bargain. Little uh, filler. Well done, everybody. Okay, now, if you're making any Easter bags, we were talking about um, Easter bonnets, Easter outfits, different. If you need to do little Easter dungarees, these are just so adorable, aren't they? I love this webbing, and it's one that you don't need to cover. I know lots of people tend to buy webbing and then cover it with fabric, whereas this is so lovely and decorative. It's only two ninety nine. You get a whole meter, which um, if you want to do some really nice long adjustable straps, it's lovely, isn't it? Perfect with the wee spring projects. You could do little bracelets, like Easter bracelets, couldn't you? You could do. You could use this for, um, as I say, straps for your bag, trimming for uh, any of your dressmaking garments, a bit of a trim. You could use it as a guitar strap. What about a guitar strap? That's a really good idea, even if I do so myself. Um, just so you know, they come pre-cut into metre length pieces, but they're really nice and strong. Easy enough to join together though if you need to. But um, I do think sometimes, if you're anything like me, you generally do, um, well I pack I pack a lot into my bags. I pack too much into my bags. So in like, it's nice to have a nice, strong, solid strap, isn't it? Let me move my microphone then. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Lost my microphone in my scarf. Napkin rings, yes. Oh, um, who was it that was making napkin rings on the show? Wendy. Wendy Gardner did, but you could just simply stitch those together and that would be a lovely, really lovely idea, napkin rings, and you get a whole metre there. £2.99. Um, we've got some fat quarters. Now these are bargains as well. Uh, any particular that you want to start with? These ones come with your floral, you've also got a stripe, you've got a gingham print, and um, you've also got this one, which is like a dotty floral fabric. They're gorgeous. They're £6.99 for four fat quarters. They're poplin weight, really beautiful quality. But if you do have any of the fat quarter books and you just want to do some smaller projects, I always find fat quarters are less cumbersome to work with. When I first started sewing, it was fat quarters. I'd only buy fat quarters. Like, right, I can manage fat quarters. And they always coordinate when you're buying packs like this. You don't need to worry about spending time trying to work out what works well together. These just do. Um, we also have the yellow. How pretty are these for little scrunches? I love little scrunches. They never go out of trend, do they, little scrunches? Headbands and things like that. Oh, look at that. That looks very Liberty-esque, dare I say it. Very Liberty-esque. You've got your lovely um, check as well, your gingham print, uh, your floral. Oh, they're lovely. They are lighter weight cottons, just so you're aware. They're poplin weights. Uh, for just £6.99, you cannot go wrong. They're all lovely. If you're thinking of nice little gifts for somebody, you could make yourself little hampers, couldn't you? Um, we're at 174 fat quarter. I mean, that is an absolute steal. 
just six pounds 99 for four fat quarters okay can we do the lovely buttons because i love all these colors um we were talking about these with when was it that we were on with rebecca when we we're doing the door stops and i was saying look i collect buttons i've got lots of buttons but i don't have any pretty buttons they're all ones that have fallen off cardigans and are just boring so it's nice to be able to have a button stash where you're getting all of these lovely springtime colors and whether you're embellishing them onto as eyes for your bunny bags you could use them um on any of well i generally put them on if our points don't meet points don't match i put a button sometimes i've never got the right size button for my buttonholes so it's nice that you've got lots of different sizes in here and different colors just five pound 99 they're lovely and a huge assortment of summery springtime colors now one of the biggest mega bundles that cats ever put together is this one um, we just want to remind you that there is availability still a few available because we maxed out and did as many as we possibly could. So you've got your grey, your light lilac, you've got chambray, you've got pink, you've got ivory, lemon and mint. 23.99, it's seven half metre pre-cuts, three and a half metres in total for 23.99. You absolutely can't go wrong super duper popular today lots of people buying multiples i'm not surprised remember cut them in half they're fat quarters there's loads of fabrics and whether you're choosing to use them as complementary fabrics to make your designer fabrics go further or whether you're making a really beautiful uh, well I, this was launched from my baby shower this would make the most lovely play quilt or um, quilt that you put in a pram or something it would be really lovely colors together are beautiful aren't they well done, everybody. Is the spot one sold out? Yeah. So if you do want a bundle, definitely go for this. This would be great for your lining for all of your bunny bags as well. Now, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, look at our little sheep, by the way, just whilst I grab a surprise. Look at him. He's so cute. How perfect for spring, how popular for Easter. We call him Joe. He looks like our lovely Joe. I think it's to do with the glasses. He's so adorable. Look at him. He's a pincushion, by the way. It, it doesn't come with pins in it before I try and take those pearls out of the, the sheep's back. But they are um, designed to be used as pincushions. I promise it doesn't hurt him. But how lovely to be able to have, just sitting on your sewing uh, sewing machine. If you've got the early bird, um, this would be a really lovely gift as well. Seven ninety nine is great price. Your little sheep pincushion, so cute and so fluffy. Now, are you ready for a quick surprise? Every single time this item comes into stock, we have to do a what's it called, a megaphone, standing on the rooftops, letting everybody know we've got it. I genuinely think we take of all of Soline's stock. We have the Soline glue pen in stock. Go, 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 go. If you want one, buy it now. If you already have one, buy another one. It's so useful to have a few of these in your pencil cases, ready to go to workshops. If you want the refills, stock up on those. They are on the website as well. But this is so exciting that we have it back. Um, oh, there are endless uses for them. I remember when I first started it, I remember when I first saw this, uh, this one and I thought, ah, do you know what? I've got a prick stick in the cupboard. I might try and do EPP with my prick stick. No, don't, it it's, doesn't work. Um, it's a completely different thing. This is a specially made glue for your fabrics. It's a temporary fix. So for English paper piecing, it's perfect. It's fine going through your sewing machine as well. It's fine when you're hand stitching, it's not gonna gum up your needle. Um, it doesn't leave any color whatsoever. Even though this one, I think this one is, I don't know what color this one is. I think it's blue inside. Oh yeah, it is blue. Um, but you, um, it doesn't matter because it dries completely clear. 
Kerry loves this to be able to do her, her zips, to be able to use for binding as well, to just stick it down before you go and stitch, to hold anything temporarily in place, it's fantastic. Kerry loves this. Um, I know Rebecca Alexandra Frost loves this. Alison Marion loves this. Okay, just so you know, on Sunday, it came back into stock and over half the stock sold out. I had no idea this was coming back in. They just come in and surprise us, don't they? So many people ask, day in, day out, when's the glue pen coming back in? Um, so not only do you get your pen, you also get a refill. There is already a glue stick in there, but it's really easy to change as well. It's just £6.99. Um, now, we've got to go through a break, but please do make sure you're checking out on that. We're going to a break slightly early because we want to make sure that Alison gets plenty of time to be able to do both projects. We've got two projects coming up in the next hour, the table runner, and we've also got the, the table tidy. So stay tuned, have a look on pre-order. Don't forget 12 o'clock, we're gonna be bringing back the scarves and we've got a special from Primal Living. So stay with us, do not go anywhere. Alison joins me after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make-Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix... There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
Hello, welcome back. Do you know what? I was just saying to Ian, Ian's in the office today. And I just said, do you know what? I love coming here. I'm so, I feel so lucky to be surrounded by such beautiful projects and such lovely people. It's, it's been such a lovely day today. So hopefully you're fe feeling all springy too after today's show. We're ready for spring now, aren't we? It just makes you feel so much better when it's lighter and brighter out and the daffodils are out and we've got all these beautiful projects. Um, it does make a difference when we've got Alice and Marion here. She brings us treats and Cornish pasties. <laughs> and uh, of course, brilliant projects. Well done to everybody who got the bunny bags. They completely sold out. Hundreds of you managed to get those. And what I love about today is that everything's sort of coordinating. And I am one for coordinating things. I think if you're going to do an Easter table or if you're going to put some decorations up, it's nice that they all tie in together. And we've got brand new exclusive panels. Now I did give everybody a bit of a sneak peek. If everybody, um, if everybody, anybody missed the last hour, I just want to show you these panels again because, well, I say again, we didn't see the fat quarter one of this one, did we? This is lovely. This is a different fat quarter one. So this one um, is your really lovely. Um, what's that? Oh, uh, okay. So do you not want to do this now? Um, we can do this now. So you get four massive fat quarters, by the way. They're absolutely huge. They're bigger than your average size fat quarters because it's, um, well, they're 27 and a half by 19 and a half inches. That's 70 centimetres by 50 centimetres. So they're really, really big. You've got your gorgeous print, which is your um, Easter egg. You also have your stripe. I'm excited to see what everybody does with these. And I'm thinking also, if, you're, if you've got projects um, from the previous hour, the bunny bags, this would make a great lining because they all coordinate perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Um, then we also have, I just want to show you them all before we bring in the graphics because if I'm being honest, there is a reason why we're delaying the graphics. Um, we think there has been a bit of a mistake, but I will just triple, triple check it and um, we'll bring the graphics live in the next minute or two. Um, so you also have your really lovely Easter egg prints. Look with your little bunnies, with your daisies, your hearts, your rainbows, I absolutely love it. And then you also have another fat quarter, which is this one, which is your spots, yellows and greens and pinks and blues. They're all absolutely gorgeous. And this is the one that Alison used to make your table tidy. Um, now it's called your Easy Store Tied Basket, which you could use for so many different projects. Uh, it would, or so many different uses. You could use this in your craft room. You could use this to, to have as little Easter hampers. You could have this as your bread basket in the center of a, a dining table. You could, I was thinking I could use it in my nursery as a little storage box in there. I mean, there's so many different uses for it. And not only does it tie like this, if I undo these ties, it also can be lay flat. So it's really versatile, it's a beautiful pattern and it comes with all of your instructions as well. So not only do you get your panel, but look, you can have that flat as well. How good's this? For a picnic, ideal, isn't it? So you have your fat quarter panel and you also have your Easy Store Tide Basket. Um, lovely instructions and photographs in there, exclusive to Sewing Street. So this is a different fat quarter panel to the one that we showed you in the previous hour. So definitely have a look back through. It's 19.99, how amazing is that? Now, we, the reason that we've delayed bringing the graphics in, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, is because we thought, no, that can't be right because the fat quarter panel is 19.99 anyway. So surely this should be 29.99 because normally the instructions are 10 pounds. No, not today. Remember, if you're purchasing today, you'll get this in time to be able to make it for Easter as well. And it's such a lovely project. And again, one that once you've got the pattern, you've got your instructions, you could make in so many different uh, favourite fabrics that you have. And it's just 19 99 What I would do is definitely get this bundle whilst you can. Um, 
you can't get the fat quarter bundle outside of the bundle even if you wanted to you can't get it but the ones that we just launched in the previous hour the same sizes are that price they are 19.99 so you're getting your instructions for free just depends what print you want uh 19.99 is so good and uh, as i say you do get all of alice and marion's really thorough instructions plus you've got today's show to watch back and that is to make remember today to make your lovely easy store tied basket and i love that you've got the little bits there that flip in and you've got um really nice interfacing in here so it's very structured it holds its shape you've got the lovely ties so then you put those in little bows. It's just lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely project. Um, keep going through. I know that it's very busy. In fact, we've got less than 100 of these now. And the last time I said that in the bunny bag hour, the 100 didn't last very long. They did not last very long. If you're wondering what was that that just popped up onto the screen? It's the interfacing. It's the, I didn't know whether this was a buckram or a, Deckerville or something. What's it called? It's sewing. Nice. It's extra heavy sewing interlining. Um, you get a metre by 30 centimetres. You'll get absolutely plenty to be able to do multiple boxes there for £4.49. There you go. I've tied them all up again now. But isn't it lovely? It's so, so lovely. Um, so, yes, we've got you're interfacing oh yeah it feels different does it have like an adhesive on it no no, no. you don't got need a shiny one. size no. uh, you don't need an adhesive no. you don't need one but you can sew through this do you know what my mom really really needs some of this can you just take one out of me for a for a for a pearl knit <laughs> she wants to make a pearl knit and i thought what's like a really good structured interface yeah, this is perfect would that would that yeah. do it yeah yeah, I'll get one of these for then. £4.49 is really good value as well, isn't it? Really good value. It does come pre-cut into metre pieces. One metre by 30 centimetres. £4.49. pence. But okay. you'll be making these for Christmas and everything. So oh, yeah. yeah good idea. <laughs> Alison's just said you'll be making these for Christmas. You'll be making these for every occasion in all of your favourite fabrics. So you might as well stock up on that uh, interfacing. So we've got a second bundle. Um, now we will talk about this as well we're going to start with this one in fact yeah. this is your table runner which you've seen on the desk all day long it looks absolutely beautiful you've got your template you've got all of your instructions but we've also done a panel so same panel that we've done in the last hour and it's the same price again oh my word so this is the same one this is balmy you get all of your strips and you get your pattern for 19.99 that is absolutely brilliant i have no idea why that's happened but make the most of it you haven't missed out yet is the key word yet be very very careful if you want one of these because um yeah i think that should be 29.99 but we've done a absolutely brilliant brilliant deal for everybody who wants the the jelly roll strips you two and a half inch strips plus your instructions 19.99 you've got florals stripes look you've got all your easter eggs here you've got your little chicks and your rabbits they're upside down but um let me spin them the right way there you go they're lovely well i tell you what you could make the table runner you could make whatever you want i mean the the two and a half inch strips are so versatile they all work in conjunction with each other. They all complement each other. They're all going to look great together in your, uh, if, you, if you're putting together your Easter decor. They're going to look lovely, all matching. Uh, just £19.99. pence. Fantastic. Now, just so you know, there's less than 50 of those remaining. Lots of you have got it in your basket. I'll keep you updated on quantity. I'll keep you updated. If you are on the, uh, the phone line and there is a queue, Thank you for your patience. I'm so sorry it's so busy. It's just very busy. It's Alison. It's <laughs> Alison. Always very, very busy. So please do hold the line. Not forgetting, we do also have our five inch charm packs. Is that one with the instructions as well? Right, the five inch charm packs, just so you know, are on their own. Um, but these are really useful. So useful. If you want to make any other little additions to go with, um, to go with your bunny bags, to go with your store tidies. I'm trying to remember, Alison, how big was the fabric that we needed for the tulips? 
in the kits you had four amounts of fat sixteenths. Fat sixteenths. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering whether you could do some little um, flowers oh, or something you, yeah. with these. You could use that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it'd be lovely yeah. to make some Easter flowers as well, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Table mats. Table mats, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. Um, and it's up to you whether you want to cut them out and patch them together or you can make them into half square triangles, you could make them into hexes, you can subcut them how you want. But you could also just sort of quilt, quilt it as it is, couldn't you? Make it look like you've um, patched them all together. I know you've got a slight gap, but even if you did some um, dec a decorative stitch between, it would look like you've done a lot of patchwork there. I love it. £12.99 is such good value as well. 40 coordinating uh, five inch squares. Right, we're starting with the table runner, Alison. We are, yes. <laughs> oh, we love these. These are brilliant projects. And it's so quick and easy with that panel. I mean, the panel is lovely. I've actually um, backed it to okay. preserve the, um, the strips for other projects, I put a, a backing on. Right. But, I mean, you could easily get the six more and more out of that one lot of strips. Brilliant. Because each of your, um, each of your pieces is just the one egg shape. Nice. Um, it works nicely because obviously this is quilted in the lines, but you mm -hmm. don't have to quilt it in the lines if you don't want to. You could quilt across entirely up to you but uh, yeah that's all it takes a little bit of wadding your backing whether it's a different backing or whether it's the um, the strips panel um, and well you'll see really quick and easy but before I do anything else I'm going to mark out my lines because you might not worry about it if it's not equal but I think it looks nicer on this sort of thing if everything is regular yeah but that you know personal choice there you might like to do a wavy line to do your quilting but I'm just going to put in a, a mark to follow I'm using a friction pen and I'll be pressing it so it will come out well, you don't even need to do sort of strip sets do you <laughs> you don't no, for you no and aren't they fantastic I mean Tom has done a fantastic job again, um, you know, uh, with the with the designs that are on it. Well, I like the fact that they all coordinate. They're all different scale prints. Yeah. So you you think about all of these different um, fabrics that you mix together. It's actually a lot harder to do it. Than well, you and think. if you if you wanted to go out and buy, even if you bought fat quarters to piece together because you lose some because of your seam allowance. Yeah. So for every strip you've got, you lose half an inch anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's such an economical way of buying a lovely selection of fabrics. Absolutely. Pat, you haven't missed it, don't worry. She's just said, morning, Vicky and Alison, enjoying the show. One question was the, when was the box demo? Seem to have missed oh, it. not yet. That's coming up this yeah. hour. Coming up this hour still. <laughs> Right, so all you need is you need your piece of wadding. The template's in the, in the instructions. Okay. So you've got that there. So you decide where you want it on your strip fabric. I mean, you've got a lovely choice of di in different places. Um, so you put your wadding down first. Then you're going to put your lining right side up on your wadding. And then your actual main fabric well, it can be the other way around. This can go down first in the lining, but you're going to put those right sides together. Okay. So I've marked my lines already. Obviously, I'm not going to quilt that until they're turned through, but I've just marked them there because it's easier to do it on a flat surface mm -hmm. rather than leave it until you've turned it through and you've got the bumpy So this time surface. you take your wadding right to the end. I've gone around the outside edge, yeah. yeah. Left a little bit around the outside. Your craft wadding um, is the same one that we used in the first hour, actually. It's just 5 99 for the pack of your polyester. And it'll go wadding. so far. <laughs> it yeah. really will. Right, now with this one, you're going to leave a space at the bottom to turn through again. But there is a little flat piece at the bottom. If you look at your template, there's hardly any curve there. So that's where you're going to leave your piece to turn through. 
I'll pull them back a bit because we're going to go round a quarter of an inch. I mean, the, the spacing for your seam on this little bit isn't crucial because as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter. So if you want to use your side of your foot or something like that, but you do need to finish off at the point you start and finish because obviously you're going to turn through. So either lock stitch or reverse stitch. So we'll lock stitch there. The, um, the wadding doesn't get trapped in your feed dogs, does no, it? No, 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 it's good. fine. It behaves itself. Yeah. And then we're just going to go around the outside edge. I'm, I haven't got a quarter inch foot and I'm just going um, and using the, the foot as a guide. And I've got the machine on 2.4, which is your standard on most machines when they start up. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a nice, easy make that you can make as long or as short as you like. I mean, I, I didn't have that on my table. I had it on my sideboard. Um, so if I'd done it for my table, I could probably put another two on, but there's plenty on that panel. Oh, great. Absolutely plenty. The panels are beautiful. Oh, they're, they're wonderful. They're really nice to work with, aren't they? Yeah. Somebody was asking about the weight of them earlier, um, whether they're quilting weight, and I said, I don't know whether they're between like a curtain weight and a They are. Poplin they're kind weight, aren't they? Yeah. I mean they're definitely not poplin. No. Because no, poplin's a really tight weave, isn't yeah. it? It's light, but it's very tight weave. Um, I would say it's more like a quilting cotton. But it's really nice to sew with. For those of you that are new so new to sewing, it really behaves itself, doesn't yeah. it? When you're cutting it out, when you're yeah. uh, sewing with it. I, I think it's lovely fabric to to sew with. And just like you said, the fact that you're getting such a variety of prints and a variety of fabrics on there, if you were to go out and even buy fat quarters, it would add up, wouldn't it? Well, also, if you're um, new to going buying fabric, it can be quite daunting standing in front of this huge wall of all these fabrics thinking, well, does that go with that? Or does that go with that? And Is it still in Sometimes itself? it's nice to have the decision made for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So I've gone all the way around the outside edge and I'm going to take my pinkin shears again. As I said, if you haven't got pinkin shears, the same as last time, you can just snip the curves, but you don't have to worry too much. Just check I've caught that there. I'll take that in a little bit. I've noticed I've taken that in a bit tight. Um, Are you using pinkin shears again? Yeah, I'm using pinkin shears, but as I say, you can, you can snip into okay. the curved seam if you haven't got any pinkin shears just so that it uh, lays flat when you actually turn it through. But make sure you don't go through your seam. If you wanted to use this and put like hot pot things on it, could you use Thermalan inside? You could, yeah. The only difference is if you're using Thermalan or one of the needle, do you can use the needle. If I mean, if you've got pieces left, this is ideal because you only need little pieces. Yeah. So if you want to use up little pieces that you've got in your stash that you've had left over, because we all collect those pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing you would do, the, the polyester wadding, you can fold through easily. Okay. But if you were using Thermalam or one of the needled cotton or wool waddings, I would trim it really closely to your um stitching yeah so that when you turn it through you haven't got a lot of bulk because you'll have like a little ridge right which you don't get with the polyester because that flattens okay but i'm just going to go around there because that's, that's a little bit close to the edge we have got some thermal anything on our website which is your compressed visoline fleece um which is heat resistant so if you're using it with hot um tableware then it's perfect for that and that's nice to work with as well. There's no, no issue with that. Oh, that's good. There we go, that's better. Right, so we'll just take this through. And then with your the table new kit. trusty stiletto. Oh yeah, you literally unpackaged this today. <laughs> it's just arrived. Yeah, it was wasn't here it? for me when I arrived. <laughs> Brand new today, today. <laughs> 
It's got the um, silicon end on the one yeah, side. Yeah, so that you can... It was handy. What was I using it for? I can't remember what I was using it for. Was it with I'm, you... Was it when I you were pressing or was Yeah, it I was turning something and it must have been close to my fingers. Right. Do you know, I've been asleep since the last time <laughs> I was here, but I ordered it after the last show, whatever I did. <laughs> no, it is handy. Because right. a lot of people get into bad habits of using the scissors to yeah. poke them out. Yeah. And you'll end up going through your stitching or going through your fabrics. Now, because I've actually done my quilting lines with a friction pen, I'm not going to iron this. But we're going to, that can be just be turned up at the end. But we're just going to quilt this. I'll extend my um, stitch to a three. I tend to do my quilting on a three. And we're just going to do easy straight line stitching. Could I do some decorative stitches on yeah. here? Yeah. If you've got a nice um, Easter, oh, a daffodil, a flower, or something like that. And you don't have to worry too much. You can leave ends and tie off if you want to, but we're actually going to top stitch around the outside edge with a smaller stitch. So that should hopefully keep all your uh, stitches in. Don't forget, with your table runner panel, you get your instructions, which baffles me because we were trying to work it out, weren't we, Alison? The price, yeah. I don't... Yeah, I don't know how they've done that. <laughs> um, Kat says, I could have tried harder to go outside and ask Ian and check, but I thought I'd pass on the saving to you. So be quick to check out because we need to erase all evidence that this ever happened. We are giving away the instructions with the price. Alison's instructions with the price point that we would normally see just for the panel alone. The strip panel is great value for money. And Alison, like you said, you've got loads here, haven't you? Yeah, loads, loads and over. loads. So brilliant. I mean, and once you've got the pattern and the template, I mean, you can easily piece together strips. Well, that's how my, my one at home is done. It's all, it's not regular sizes. I just used up strips of kind of spring colored fabrics. I mean, nice. it's not as pretty as this because you've got all the bunnies and all the chicks and <laughs> all those lovely things. Oh, yeah, put some buttons on it. Do all sorts. There we go. And I've left that because now we're going to top stitch. I will just trim away a little tiny bit of the wadding because I want to fold in the, the bottom there. Now at home I would hand stitch this before I actually sew it, but I'm just going to do it on the machine here. And we're just going to top stitch about a quarter of an inch again. Don't miss the table runner, by the way. There's a, a load more people who have just put it in their basket after um, I think we've reminded everybody we should not be at that price point. So just be aware that if you do want that table runner pattern, um, it's at the same price point that we see the panel. Like, it's brilliant value. Shocking. Nice beginner make again, this one. Yeah, if you lovely, haven't done anything. Yeah. It's lovely for anybody no housewares or anything like yeah. that, yeah. Because very often dressmakers are put off because they think everything's so fiddly. So there we are, that's it. Basically done. Press, press it nice and flat. And all my stitchings going to go the friction pen will oh yeah they go. will disappear then. yeah friction pens we've had lots of new colors in recently haven't we the green's good that's good if you're doing things on yellow and white and you don't want the black right okay there we go let's put that down they're three pound 99 um i know that different size nibs are good aren't they for different projects i think they've got the medium the fine tip yeah. and now they've got thicker ones as well 
So you would take off all your little pieces of thread and that's basically your little pieces that you're going to sew together, that's it done. It's brilliant, isn't it? So you can make as many as you like. I mean, if you've got a 10 foot table. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yeah. I think they're really nice for not just your sort of table runner, your dining table, but nice to have on a coffee table or a sideboard. Yeah, well, I put, I, mine's on a sideboard. Yeah. yeah. So then all you do is you place them together. And then, I mean, obviously you'll tidy this up beforehand. So let's put the chicks on the top of that one and I think I'll do it that way round. Turn it upside down so that if you're on a table, you somebody's got both sides, you know, you've, it's the right way up from there yeah. and this one is the right way yeah. up from there. Topsy turvy. I suppose if you wanted to do a more centrepiece, you could put them all round in like a circle, couldn't you? Yeah. I've got in there. If you were to extend out something like Thank you. Something like that. Yeah. You could s extend it out to however big oh, you wanted it. That's it. Absolutely perfect. We love it. Uh, Maureen, can I just say, I know we did not know that um, these were the same prices with the instructions. So if you really want to, um, if you want to get this one with the instructions, if you call the customer service team, they will amend your order. No problem whatsoever. Speak to the team, Maureen, and they can help you out. In the kit, you oh, do get the strips separate. panel and you get your instructions for 19 99 which is such good value for money. Problem is, is that we've got less than 30. We have got less than 30, super duper popular. We have just seen how quick and easy it is to make and how adaptable, it's brilliant. Well, I've sewn that one to that one and all I've done is I've sewn around and on top of that top stitching to join it to that one. Now it's up to you. You can then, if you want to, go, well, let me do it because I didn't do that with this one. With this one, I've hand sewn these pieces down. Okay. I've just slip stitched those down because I didn't want that shape there. But I'll, I'll do that shape with this one and we'll see what it looks like. Would you use a coordinating thread? On the back, yeah, yeah. So we need to go from that one. In fact, the Aurifil early birds that we had today would look lovely with these fabrics. They went in a heartbeat. Yeah, Becky wanted that. She said, oh, Mum, can you order it? I'm at work. Oh, oh. Not that she should have been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're gone. Well, there you go. It doesn't look bad, actually. I mean, it all needs a good press. Um, oh, it looks great. But, yeah, I mean, if you don't mind that there. Yeah. I mean, I haven't done it, as I said, on there. That one's without... Oh, I'm excited stitched, to see everyone's so. quilting. I bet there'll be all the free motion yeah. whizzes doing all lovely Well, wouldn't it be motion. lovely with the uh, big bunny um, oh, quilted yeah. in the middle? That's it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah use yeah. one of your templates, freezer paper or something, yeah. and stitch around it. Yeah. Down to less than 20 of these. If you have got it in your basket, check out now, because that will sell out. You get your instructions and you get your strips panel for less than £20. Jot down today's date as well, which is the 16th of March, if you want to watch the demo back. Brilliant for beginners. Anybody who's getting into homewares, soft furnishing, any of your quilting, the only thing else that you'll need is your wadding, and it's up to you on what choice of wadding you use. And you can use up web. bits because there's such yeah. tiny pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's really affordable. Now, okay. the basket, Alison. The basket. Um, problem is, <laughs> we've just got get 20 my bits left. Out. Oh, no. <laughs> 20 left already. I'll be so with you in just while a second. Alison's sorting her bits out. We have got. Our Easy Store Tied Basket, which is just lovely, isn't it? Um, it comes with your Fat Quarter panel, which is brand new. Now, the only way of getting the Fat Quarter panel is with your instructions. The only way of getting the instructions is with the panel. So, be quick. There's less than 20. You've got your Easter eggs, you've got your spots, you've got your stripes. Let me open up the other side as well your stripes and then your smaller Easter eggs as well. Just 19 99 and that's to make this. Oh, if you've got some buttons from the last hour, you can embellish on it. I absolutely love it. And Alison, as you said, I think this is something you are going to make not just once. No, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you can bring them out every season. And I'm, I'm tying this one with the, um, the little ears out, so you don't have to have oh, them folded cute. in. But this one, it says in the instructions, I'm actually, um, using the interfacing mm -hmm. 
My original one was with cardboard. Right. Um, it was fine and I wadded it and it was nice and fluffy, but you can't wash it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I used to use it as a, a bread basket for Easter and, I, you know, you just can't wash it. So I had to look for something that was uh, washable. So I've done this one and it does say in the instructions you can also use bosal. This that's is bosal. Lovely. That's lovely fabric that you've got there as well. Oh, this is just a fat quarter that I had. <laughs> yeah. A couple of fat quarters. It would so. look lovely for... Um, these the are the smaller fat quarters, so you can get it out with smaller fat quarters as well. These are huge, absolutely oh, huge. Brilliant. You have brilliant. quite a lot left, left over. I now, we don't have it templates. Do you give measurements in yes. this one? It's measure, all measurements. Fab. So, yeah, you can tie it out, but this is a softer oh, one. Bosal works so, this well. is with bosal. And in the instructions, with your interfacing, this is the extra, extra heavy interfacing. It's sold out now. That's gone. <laughs> But the bosal, I, I think, is available. <laughs> um, you cut two pieces for each side and the base, and then we, we sew them together. But if you're using the bosal, you only need one of each piece. Okay. So in the instructions, it says to cut two of each of these. So two of these squares and eight of the sides. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it with the bosal, you just need one of each. So we'll put that out of the way. But it, it's... Not as structured. That one is more structured. Yeah. So I've already done these ones. These are so there's two pieces together, and I've sewn round the outside. I've actually in the instructions it does show you in the diagrams there. You're going to uh, go around the outside edge, all the way around the outside, and then cross through the centre. You want to make sure you do cross through the centre because if you do wash them, because this is washable, if you do wash them, you, you don't want them to separate. So I'll just do that quickly. We're going to go round. So I'll go down the short end all the way round the outside and then cross through the middle. But you can see the machine's not struggling or anything like that. It's oh, lovely stuff to work you could with. Sew with it. Yeah. We're over-allocated on the, the basket, just so you know. Your main graphic is going to be the other fat quarter panel, which these are, again, massive fat quarters, absolutely huge, and another one that is brand new today. So if you do want to get any more, maybe you've got the instructions. If you've got that one, you want to make some more, then this one's 19 99 as well. So I'll just go up that short end again to the corner. I didn't realise you could sew through that. Yeah, brilliant stuff it is. If you need anything, you know, that needs some, a good amount of structure. Yeah, it's good. But it's one. still washable. Um, so with your bosal, do you like the um, de the one that's... No, because the you ones? don't actually want it to stick to the basket. Because you're going to be folding it, mm -hmm. you don't want the, um, the fabric to be adhered to this. You okay. want it to be able to move. Right, so you want the sewing bosal. Yeah. Okay. So that's all your insides done. Now... I'm going to be really brave here. I have no idea how you're going to... Are you having to turn these through? Yes. <laughs> are you going to do it on the telly? Yes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Don't want to be in your With shoes. With something that I've not used before. Okay. <laughs> because I use at home... Not this everybody likes... I have to sit in front of the telly and do over a half an hour episode or something. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody likes them. But I use this rouleau ah, turner. Okay. You have had them in stock, but you yeah. haven't got them in stock at the moment. So I thought, prim, aren't they? stupid as I am, I thought, right, I'll give these a go, the prim one. I've got these at home. Okay. And they're absolutely fantastic, but I've never used the tiny one. Right, no, that's so, good. You don't know how quickly my heart's going at the minute. <laughs> be careful, <laughs> be careful, you. Oh, yes. <laughs> With your new monitor. <laughs> so this is an inch strip. Okay. So it's narrow. Yeah. So we're going to fold it in half. And because we're using this, we need to close over the end. So don't try and do it too close to the end because you, if you haven't got enough fabric, it will be taken down into your machine unless you've got the straight foot plate on, which we haven't because we've been doing zigzag. So I'm just going to sew across to the end. Now you're going to sew down this an eighth of an inch which is quite a narrow seam. Okay. But I don't know whether you can see that. Most most of the um, machines have got an eighth of an inch. They've got a little mark. 
an eighth of an inch mark. So oh, yeah. I'm going to run the side of my piece of fabric along this eighth of an inch there. That's a good tip actually, because your machine's got lots of different markings that you can use as a guide. Yeah. The basket bundle sold out. Table runner, sold out. Bunnies, sold out. <laughs> oh dear. I know, Alice, fun. <laughs> It's so lovely and to have And when they so see me mess customers. this up, they'll say, oh, ask for a refund. <laughs> no, you're showing everyone how easy it is to do, even on the telly. Oh, good. Maureen, I'm, I'm pleased you've got that sorted. She says, thanks, Vicky. Vicky changed it for oh, lovely. table set. Last one. You got the oh, last Oh, brilliant. One. Yes. Oh, that's good. Good job you rang when you did. She says, it was lovely, Kelly. She says, a great help. Lovely, Kelly, and the customer service team. Thanks, Kelly. They are very helpful. They're a lovely team. You speak to them quite frequently, yeah, don't do. you, Alison? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because we have to start turning it through, we don't want an awful lot of fabric. I'm going to trim that quite close. It's already close to the, to the corner. Edge anyway, isn't it, it is, yeah. But just to start it off, because obviously we don't need any bulk, excess bulk. I will just check that I have caught in all the edges. I have. So you so put here we go. You put first. the tube into your fabric. This is going to make it so much easier than doing it with um, a safety pin or something like that. You'd struggle it? because these are so thin. I mean, if you haven't got any of these tools, it's not a problem because you can make them bigger. Okay. And you can fold them in as if you were doing a bias binding, but you you don't want it on the bias because you're going to be tying and you. Well, unless you zigzag, you could do it on the bias if you zigzagged your stitches. But if it was on the bias and you did a straight stitch, when you were pulling it, you'd probably split your stitches. So here we go. So then you take your, um, the, the pointy, pointy thing. Pointy thing, The yeah. pointy thing. And you're going to start pushing that through. Alison, like that. There you go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake. There we go. And you have your lovely thin narrow oh, rouleau. Easy as that. Right. Now, mm. look out for those when they come back into stock, the prim oh, tools. Are they out of stock again? Yeah, they're out of stock again. Oh, I, they were on in stock when I looked because you were out of stock of the little metal ones. And I thought, oh, I'll have a go with they, those. They'll have some of them. Yeah. No, thank you, Alison, because it's good to show it. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I will just press well. it because they do look better pressed. But as I say, if you haven't got those tools and you don't want to go to the expense of buying that for one particular project, you can make the, the straps wider and just turn them in and top stitch. Okay. So what else could you use ribbon? Yes, yeah, you could use ribbon. You could use like a, um, a cord. Mm -hmm. As long as you, um, you know, can tie them and it stays tied together. I mean, anything too silky would come undone, but well, to be fair, you're not really going to do an awful lot with them, are you, once they're together? No, good point. It's not as if you're going to be moving them. Right, now I've already marked these out just purely for time. So you, in the instructions, you've got measurements of where you're going to put your, your little ties. So you're going to mark them at your points where you're going to place these. So we'll have the finished end on the inside. I'm going to put that there and I'll pin it. Uh, let's have, I alternate the colours. So I want the finished edge in there. Um, just so you know, the snips are on the website that Alison's using. Someone's just asked about the um, Fiscus one. Oh, they're brilliant. You would think that Alison is sponsored by these <laughs> you, Fiscus I'm not snips. paid for any of these things. They're just fantastic. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> you should be the way yeah. that you champion them. I think you should contact Fiscus because they are great, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous, yeah. Um, all their scissors. You can't fault them. They're just fourteen ninety nine for your... Um, Easy action, soft grip scissors. Right, I'm alternating the colours as I go round, so I'll put the blue one. I mean, you can also, if you wanted to, um, 
you can also do your ties all one colour. It's up to you. Does it tell you in the instructions how far from the end to put yes, these ties? Yeah, all the all the um, si sizes and everything are in the instructions. The charm square squares, just so you know, we've got less than ten left. They were only twelve ninety nine, weren't they? That was so good, and I do love the fact that everything coordinates. What other projects would you do with these, Alison? With the twelve. Well, I think table mats thing? would be lovely. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to have everything coordinating, isn't it? Yeah. Do you do you generally put um, decorations up for Easter then? Anyway, I do. I normally yeah. have like not a tree, a twig. Yeah. <laughs> with the little bits hung on. And we normally have that in the conservatory, but at the moment my, my conservatory is more a storeroom. Oh, well, yeah, you've got <laughs> rolls of fabric and it. things, you know, because we're, yeah, we're not organized yet. We're getting there. Right, okay, so I've pinned all the, um, the ties in. If you wanted to, if you would feel safer, you can uh, sew them down, just tack them down either with a long stitch on your machine or with, by hand, but I'm going to just run with it and you're going to place your other fabric right side down. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go all the way around the outside edge, a quarter of an inch again. And I've drawn this in just to show you that the, the best thing to do is to actually mark out where you're going to leave your little space for your turning. Because even the uh, most experienced of us still forget. Yes, it's definitely I did worth last time, using. didn't I? I had to unpick. It's definitely worth using pins or something just to stop yeah. yourself. I mean, if you, if you prefer using clips for this bit, you can, but obviously you can't. Um, you've got to pin those down really to because you want to keep these out of the way. Right. So you've also got to make sure that none of these ones are poking out the other side. You want all of your ties in the middle. Do you know what I saw somebody do and I thought that's quite handy. They stitched round and then when it got to that gap they lengthened all of their stitch and then unpicked that bit with a real length oh, right. stitch yes. so they could see the stitch line so then it when they turn it, over and turned yeah. it and it was perfect in line. Oh, that's clever. Because every time I try to do it, I, I struggle to get it exactly. Oh, right, yeah. No, well, we'll um, actually, um, it says in the instructions to actually turn this back and press, press it, it first. Because you're actually going to tuck this up inside. Yeah. So, yeah. But I'm just going to go round now, all the way round the outside, so we've got the right sides together. Yeah. And I'm going to start at my little mark where I've left to you do turn a it back through. Stitch? Yes, because you're going to turn it through, so you want to protect your stitches just there. Great. So I'll be with you in a second. I'm just using an. Uh, she says. Let's switch it off and switch it back on again. <laughs> a two point four. That's it. Oh, something I didn't say with the um, the runner there. You don't need a walking foot for it because you're not going far enough to worry about your your fabric moving. Again, like you said, that's good then for anybody who is just starting yeah. and might not have invested in a walking foot yet. I'm taking it easier when I go over the top of the thicker thicker piece. I think my pins are all back, but just in case. When we come to putting in the um, interfacing, don't worry if you find that the last couple of pieces are a little bit out size-wise because you can always trim them down. That's another good thing about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, my cardboard looks fine if you wanted to do it with cardboard, but you just got to, when you put anything in it, you have to put like a napkin in or something like that to protect it. Because it'd get a bit soggy if it went in the washing machine, wouldn't it? gone too far on that one. Julie, um, big fingers crossed soon, I'll make sure that we say to Ian as he's here um, in today, so we'll do our best to get some more of that heavy um, interlining in. 
because that was great, wasn't it? I'm not and sure very what, quickly. Not sure what we had it in stock for. No, was it in stock already? And you it said, was oh, in yeah. stock because I, I, I said, well, I can order some, but what I need is a, um, a really heavyweight interfacing. So, yeah, Ian came up with it and he said, we've got it in stock. So I don't oh, know great. what we had oh, it in for. Someone must have done something. Perhaps Debbie had it for a bag yeah. or something because it'd be Maybe, brilliant yeah, for a base of a bag. Perfect for base of bags. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you can layer it. Nice. I mean, we're putting two layers together, so. Can I say, I'm being honest with you, it's been on the website for months. Yeah. Well, sometimes when things are on the website, you're not quite sure how to use it. Yeah, they would have got it in for a particular project, though, wouldn't they? I would yeah. have thought. I suppose on the picture it doesn't look like the most inspiring thing to look at, does it? No, it's well, it's really something. Useful. Yeah, it's something that you actually need. Yeah. Yeah. To have a look at it, it's not something you browse and think, "Oh, let's have some of that. That's pretty," <laughs> as we tend to do. Right. I'm just going to snip off the corners to make it nice for the turn. And we'll turn it through. Oh, before I do that, I will just turn that back. You only need to do it on this little bit here because we're going to press the other out. But like you said, this gives it... And we're going to tuck the interfacing up underneath the, the turning. Ah, so giving it a good press, that'll yeah. help get it all nice and li in line. And make it easier to... Ooh. Where does that gap sit in your box? In your this row? is on, my, on the side, but it doesn't really okay. matter. Um, you can put it at the top or the bottom, it's up to you really. The only reason I say is because I can't see it on yours at all. I can't see where you get. No, well I like, and there's none of that on the website at the moment, I know because it sold out last time when I did whatever it was I used it for. Um, I use a, a silk thread oh, yes. for all my applique stuff and I don't, wouldn't use it in a seam. It's not strong enough for a seam, I wouldn't think. But it does hide itself very well, doesn't it? But it just buries itself mm. in the fabric. And it, I mean, I didn't even use a white. Um, I think they're trying to get some more in. That's the colour I tend to, to use. They got that colour in last right. time. Yeah, like a And pearly. keep your eyes out for when it comes back on because okay. it is brilliant stuff. Useful. Yeah. Any little bits of hand sewing. But as I say, I wouldn't use it for seams because uh, I don't think it would be strong enough for that. Right, I've just taken out my pins. I think I've got more. And I'm turning through. Judy says, this is what, this is what is so brilliant about you all. We learn not only um, of the existence of helpful things, but how to use them as well. Exactly. Because mm. you can go to any website and you see all of these different things, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to use them. It's cost me a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think the thing is, I think Kerry said it. Um, you know, you do these things and you come up for a job and you think, oh, yeah, I can buy that for that. And you think, oh, well, I, I can manage without it. But it isn't until you actually have a go or you see someone using it mm. that you think, oh, yeah, that makes that it really so help. much easier. Yeah. Ah, oh. there you go. I said, you know, I said about keeping in the, keeping in the ties. I've sewn that one in. Oh, how do you how do you release it? I'm just going to take the oh, seam is. undone. I mean, for time, I probably should have just snipped it off. But uh, where's my join? It's just got trapped. Yeah. I oh, can't. Oh, there it is. I'll just do over that quickly. And then we're going to press it all down so that we've got nice straight edge. Oh, it's only a couple of stitches. Well, don't worry, we don't have too much to round up anyway, do we? Everything's gone! <laughs> Everything's gone. Has the charm pack sold out yet? Charm pack was brand new in today and there's less than five of these now. If you've got it in your basket, check out now. Don't wait till the end of the demo. £12.99 and it's the same print as all of the ones that we were looking at um, throughout the show. They're brand new, exclusive to us. 40 coordinating five-inch squares for £12.99. Five of those left. 
I know there have been um, several um, posts on the group Facebook page uh, saying, you know, that people are wondering what sort of quality the the um, fabric is that is used for the panels. And yeah. it's, it's difficult without someone actually seeing something. But I think what I'll do, because it washes up lovely, I think what I'll do is one of my makes at some point I'll make up and then I'll wash it so that you can see, you know, it, it doesn't After shrink back washed. or... Okay, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. That'd be great. So I'm just going around the outside edge. So we've got a nice sharp outside. Right, in the instructions, this next bit is shown with numbers. Okay. Because we're going to put these in now and we're going to sew them in as we go. So we're going to start, I've put my join at the side. I mean, it could, it could be anywhere. But this piece is going to go over here. Right. Now we need to measure the centre. Where did I put my pen? There it is. So we'll go there, and that's the centre. And then we'll have the centre there. And this is opposite my, my um, piece I've left. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you get plenty of fabric. I suppose because these back quarters are so big. Yeah, you have, I, I'm, it's in the green room. I've got the piece that's left over, but you've got a really good piece that oh, you nice. could make bags out of, you know, the sweetie bags. Oh, good. So I'm just going to join up the centre there, look. We, all we're doing here is measuring because we want to make sure that this, it, this here goes in the centre. So I'm going to uh, draw a line, one end, and the other end. And then I'm going to put this in because I can then feel that it's in the right place. This is where I'm going to get the clips out. And I'm going to place that so we've got one end there. So we'll clip, clip that and then making sure that it's not gone underneath the other piece of the seam. Keep, make sure that you keep it all under the same piece. Yeah, that's gone under there. And can you pin into that or you better clip it? I'm clipping it just because if you pin it, it'll distort. So the, the actual thing will move and you mm -hmm. want to keep it in the same place. So, yes, you can pin through it. Mm -hmm. So I'll put another pin there. Right, I'm going to need a zipper foot. Oh, okay. Why you, does a you, zipper foot I help? was going to say, you don't have to use a zipper foot because um, you can gauge along here. But a zipper foot helps because you don't want to sew through this. Okay. Because you need your fabric to bend, yeah. you don't actually want to sew on the interface and you're going to sew as close as you can down next to it. So by using the zipper foot, we can just run the zipper foot along the edge of the interfacing. But as a guide to start off with, I'm just going to give myself a line to line to follow so I'll put my nail in there to make sure that I've got a nice little there we go and then that will miss the interfacing right we've got about five minutes Alison yep no problem how about the fat quarters are they gone this, I'm just trying to keep up because uh, Kat's saying nothing to round up. There's nothing for us to talk about. <laughs> Is the fat quarters gone as well? There's still some of the fat quarters left. They're 19.99 if you want the fat quarters on their own. Um, there's potentially some of the strips on their own, not with the instructions. But have a look back on the website if you do 
um, love all of these uh, extravaganza. Then it's worth looking back through the website because we've had such beautiful fabrics. The Riley Blake brand new collection was lovely. It's had buttons, there's been all sorts, so it's definitely worth having a good look back through. <laughs> right, so you're not actually sewing onto the... No, and you've got to keep your ties to. back. Keep your ties out the way. <laughs> do as you say, not as you do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What have you done, Alison? I've sewn my tie down, that's fine. <laughs> so so I'm just running... Oh, a little blighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running the uh, zipper foot along the edge of the, the interfacing. And oh, then when I get to that. the end, yeah, and when I get to the end, I'm just going to carry on right the way along. Then we're going to take one on this side. Right now, you don't have to draw on this one because you're going to use this guide here. You're going to guide along. And oh, just yeah. So that can just butt up against your stitches, yeah. basically. Yeah, so that's the only one that you need to measure. Yeah. That's it. Had a message from Bridget come in. Uh, loving the demo. Could you just tack the interface into the lining before you sew around the square? Um, it would make it a bit awkward because you don't actually want to go through. Yeah, I suppose you could. Um, but you've you got to. You, yeah, yourself. you've got to turn it through. Um, yeah, I suppose you could. Um, yeah, it'd take a little bit of thinking about because obviously you've got to turn it through and you'd have to leave the centre out because you the centre is a lot bigger. These aren't as big as your, um, your hole. Oh yes, of course. But your centre is bigger than your centre hole there. Right. I'm going to take that off and put it the other side because I'm now going to go down this one. I am going to watch what's happening here. Something. The fabrics catch in for some reason. It's caught around the foot. It's because I moved the foot over. There we go. Right, so when I get here, I'm going to stop where the previous stitch is and take out my foot and turn it to the other side. And then we're going to carry on. and then just run off the end. I would finish off, oh, I just got a waft of daffodils then. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I can't smell them at all. Oh, can't you? No. I'm just running off at the ends, but I would finish this at home. Okay. Would you top stitch all the way around? Or? No, no, no. I would finish it uh, as I'm as I'm going, the ends, the, the threads there, I would finish it off and then bury it oh, okay. within yeah. the seam. Make sure they're out of the way. Ooh. Right, rather than change the foot, I'm going to carry on. So, But it's e a lot easier if you change your foot over. Right, those out of the way. Then we take our centre one. I will just check it because it might need, yeah, it does need cutting down a bit. I said at the beginning, don't worry if you need to cut it down a little so that it fits in the centre because it depends on where you leave your seam, really. 
So use that, use your actual piece as a template yeah. to cut down your base. So this is where we're going to put the centre one in. This is where it would be difficult, yeah, it'd be quite difficult to turn it through if you tacked it all down in the beginning, I think. I don't think you need to either, do you? I think you're probably overcomplicating it. There you go. So now we're just going to go straight along there. Oops, I have that one over that side. Let's make sure all the ties are out of the way. <laughs> once, bitten, little once bitten, twice larger. shy. <laughs> And this is nice and easy to sew because your your zipper foot is just taking it. It's literally you along the edge. Using it yeah, as a, gu a guide. That's the nice thing about having the interfacing doubled up because you've got a nice edge to run along. It's another nice quick project, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. There we go, and then that one goes in. You're done. Amazing. And that's exactly the same. You just close it all up yeah. together. Yeah, and you just do your little bit of slip stitching around the top. I mean, I haven't top stitched them, but I suppose you could if you wanted to. Yeah. You could do a decorative stitch or something like that. We it's love them. And whether you choose to have those little ears in or out, they look lovely, don't they? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. I can't wait to see everybody's Easter pictures on Facebook, on the fan page as well. There we go. Your main graphic, just so you know, is your fat quarters on their own? Oh, I, I think that's virtually all that's off. left of these new um, the, the new panels. I think that's everything that we have. Nice and easy to cut as well. You don't need any special equipment. I'm making this look difficult. It's not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing this time. There we go. And and that just, just tucks in. in. Julie said go. the interfacing would make brilliant sewing room waste baskets. Yeah, you could have this at the uh, side of yes, sewing machine. Yeah, you? for scraps and things. So there we go. You just slip stitch this bit closed. Yeah. Done. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. We've loved all of our Easter projects today <laughs> and we're really excited for our lunch as well. <laughs> We've got Cornish pasties made by Alison for lunch today. <laughs> when are you back in? Um, the thir 30th. 30th, it's amazing. Oh my word, I want to see you now. Oh, you're finishing. Yeah, next <gasps> week, next week. Oh so no. I'll keep in contact oh, with you. You might have a baby course. by then. Oh. <sighs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very they much. They do come early. <laughs> Thank you. So much for all my lovely gifts. Oh, well. that's all right. You're, so very You're, Thank you. very You're very welcome. Thank you. We are all as excited as you are. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Right. Do not go anywhere because we're going to do something really, really different now. I will explain all on the other side of the break. Really quick break. Whatever you do, don't move a muscle though, because we're going to introduce you to another part of the amazing Gemporio group and one of my really good friends, Poppy, who's eagerly awaiting on Skype to talk to us from home. We've got the bamboo scarves that are back and we've also got something completely different. So stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. I'm back with Poppy after this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping!
Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Hello, welcome back to Sewing Street. And we're going to do something completely, completely different this hour. So um, everybody who has watched Sewing Street for the last year, uh, we thought it'd be really, really good to introduce you to other parts of the Gemporia group. We were so lucky, of course, when Sewing Quarter, which loads of us were part of when it ended at Christmas, not last year, the year before, 2019, um, that we were saved by Steve Bennett. And he started up Sewing Street last February, just before the, the craziness started in the world. And uh, he's in, such an incredible, um, such an incredible man who you've met on air a few times. And he loved the idea of bringing Sewing Street on air for simply the fact that it's, it's so mindful he loves the idea of bringing in um, different organic uh, products like he was talking about aloe vera cotton he was talking about bamboo which I know we've already introduced back last year um, but this hour it's only a one hour special it's something that we can't do every week or every day or every month even this is only the second time in two years um, that we've done a primal show and we thought it'd be really really good to introduce you to somebody who I mean we all know behind the scenes Elliot's worked with Puppy on Primal for, for, for years um, Joe and Kat who are my producer and director today uh, we worked back with Puppy probably about eight years seven eight years ago uh, Puppy's a really good friend of mine her and her boyfriend Sam were at my wedding uh, so we really wanted to introduce you to her because She's going to do something completely different today. She's brought over all of the stock from Primal of these beautiful bamboo scarves, which we launched back in October, I think it was, with Steve Bennett. So everything on the Primal Living website says sold out. We now have it. And now, I don't know whether Poppy does know this, but we launched them at 16 99 On the website, on Primal Living website, they're 19 99 and today, all of them are on pre-order. They've been selling out all morning. I will show you how to get there because we're not going to be introducing them till later on in the hour. But if you do want to get ahead on any of the colours, sewingstreet.com is where you get them. You can't get them on the Primal website. If you scroll down, you'll see 
on the pre-order section on the right hand side there's lovely poppy you'll be meeting her in just a moment uh, all of them all of the colors are 14.99 I bought so many of these for Christmas. That's the one that Alison Marion's been wearing all day. That's called rose gold. Um, I've been wearing the coral all day. You'll see Poppy wearing it as well. I'm now wearing um, the ivory, which is that one up at the top there. Oh, and it, they're so versatile. We'll talk about the benefits of bamboo later, but we're also going to do something really different to start with. So I believe this is the first time we've tried to do this. The technical team in the gallery are very excited and eagerly awaiting on TED Talks to see if this works. Poppy, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes. Can you hear me? We can hear you <laughs> loud and clear. Poppy, it's so good to have you virtually with us. How are you? I'm very well, my love. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to see you. I've not seen you for so long. Other than I know. our chat yesterday. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm so grateful to be here, albeit virtually. Uh, I am here at home because of, of course, what's, what's going on and us staying at home as much as possible where we can. But on top of that, I have been shielding uh, myself, as I know so many of you at home have been as well. So yeah. I first of all wanted to send my love and best wishes to everybody. I wanted to thank you for having me here today because oh, I do respect you. and appreciate that it is something a little bit different to yeah. what you normally do. Yeah. The material that, that bamboo is, I know so many of you love and adore already. If you've not experienced it, we'll explain all about that. I know you love your materials. Yeah. Those of you that watch Sewing Street, which by the way, I'm, I'm a huge fan as well. Oh. My grandma uh, was a really avid sewer. Oh, she, Nana T she, oh, was a brilliant seamstress. Oh, Vix, I mean, you know, Nana T used to make actually a lot of my clothes. She did. She certainly used to um, amend them quite a lot. I tell you yeah. what, it's quite funny. I'd, I'd often give her something and say, Grandma, could you just either take it in or take it out? Yeah. And I'd put it on, I'd go, this is shorter than when I gave it to her. And she'd go, if you've got the legs, you've got to, you've got to show them off. Oh, like, brilliant. Oh, I didn't want you to shorten it. <laughs> <laughs> Bless or, her. or she'd pop her initials or something in there. I'm not joking. She'd put like a little gemstone in there or a little, oh. little bit of nanity. Oh, we all love a bit of upcycling. So, yeah, exactly. the bamboo scarves exactly. are perfect for that, actually. So, Poppy, for anybody who's not seen you on mm. Primal or on Gemporia or Jewelry Maker, because I know that you're a big part of the Gemporia group and family, tell everybody a bit about your uh, role in the Gemporia group and your background. Of course, of course, it'd be my pleasure. So I've been with Primal coming up to three years uh, in October, it'll be. I I've known Vix and the team behind the scenes for, for many years and presenting for a number of years, but I also then moved into health. Right. That is because of my own ill health, to be completely honest. And you often hear this as a catalyst for people. Something happens to them or a family member, a friend, a loved one, and it makes them want to learn more. Right. I've had severe asthma, or I still have severe asthma, but it's very well controlled. And in fact, Vix, I don't know if you saw my post today on Instagram, but it's almost, it's eight, almost eight years to the date that I was in, well, I was still in the hospital at this point, but I've been intubated on a life support four times. Uh, all, I'm very healthy and well now, uh, but it led me to learn more about my own health and, and other people's health. And I certified in nutritional therapy. I'm not currently practicing because it's so busy here on air, but I am certified and, and learned a lot about health and nutrition and supplements and so on. I also love, you know, my fashion and my, my, my materials. So, so it, it was a perfect collaboration when I joined Primal. So I'm here on behalf of Primal as one of their ambassadors. I'm here to answer any of your questions about the supplements. I know it's a little bit different to normal yeah. uh, as to what, what's done here, but we we talk about mindfulness a lot and i know sewing street do as well yes uh, sewing crafting all of that is about something that's good for the soul and Absolutely. we're, we're going to be talking a lot about anti-anxiety properties and reducing stress levels and, and what we can do to, to feel and look our best in general. Which I think is a perfect time right now, isn't it, for us to all focus in a bit more on that. So we've only got you for an hour and I know that when we were having a bit of a meeting with Poppy yesterday, she says I can stay on longer and I can stay on later if you want, but we have to uh, hand over to Jewelry Maker at one o'clock. So we've only got you for an hour, Poppy. We're going to start with something that's really exciting and I know we will have loads of questions so please do get them in for us and we can do our best to ask Poppy as many questions over the hour as possible. So Poppy, what is CBD? 
oh my goodness okay where to even start so (laughs) cbd you've no doubt heard of read about seen but what actually is it what does it do so cbd first things first it stands for cannabidiol oil so it's from the 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 cannabis plant now there is a a bit of a stigma behind that and we want to eliminate that because it's it we're talking about hemp so you've got cannabis at the top and then hemp um and then marijuana they're under the same umbrella but hemp is what we're talking about it's got none of the thc or or low very low levels so it's not a hallucinogenic anything like that we're talking about plant power it's a plant compound so we've we've taken the oil the compounds and created it into an oil that so many people people are talking about around the world Mm -hmm. but this is a very very special type of oil in fact um director joe behind the scenes and elliot and and a big thank you by the way to all of you that have worked so hard to to put me on the virtual side of things and and next time i should be in the studio with you fingers crossed um but director joe could we have a little look at slide number one please to explain what organic alpine cbd is all about fantastic because thank you so much it is 100 percent natural it's very important to know that it's grown in bio soil so that, that that this particular soil has been organic for over 25 years we've got to remember that hemp any plant it doesn't even matter if it's hemp or anything else they're like sponges, they draw in what's in the soil. So you've got to ensure the soil is organic for the plant to be organic. The place, uh, the farm, the location of which we've, we've, we've worked with, we've collaborated with, we know exactly where this is coming from. They've been cultivating medicinal cannabis for, for over 15 years. So, so hemp in the medicinal form. They so, grow, they buck. Yes, sorry. Sorry, no, I'm interrupting, but I'm just wondering how important is that that you know the location? How important is the location when you're you're you know you you're looking at hemp? Location is so important. Right. Oh my goodness, okay. it's important on so many levels. It's important to know where it's coming from because okay. if you've got somebody saying to you, "We've got CBD," don't really know where it comes from. Not sure if it's organic. Be scared to I trust would, it. I mm. would steer clear if if it were me. Yeah. Also, location means climate. So, so Switzerland, in fact, if, could we jump to slide number four, the picture of the mountainous range in Switzerland? Because this visually represents oh, beautiful. what we're talking about. I, I mean, have you ever been to Switzerland? Babe? No, I haven't. I would love I have to. I want to oh, know. I would love to. Oh, I know. I know. Um, well, many of our team have been over there. Obviously, we're in direct con- con- uh, continuous communication with the team there as well. And this is actually cultivated high up in the mountains. So if you think about the clean air, Switzerland is known for its purity, its quality, its beauty. Mm. And that's where we get this from. So it's from Switzerland. So you've got organic CBD. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, everything that's grown, bottled, everything within house. It's got a bio Swiss certification. It's this high quality gold standard certification. It is suitable for, for vegetarians and vegans as well. But you're probably wondering, how on earth does this work? Mm-hmm. How does it work? Uh, because a lot of people talk about CBD. They've heard about it. They might have a friend that might be taking it to help them sleep. Someone else might be taking it for joint pain. Little disclaimer at this moment in time as well. If you have an underlying health condition or you're on any medication, I'd always suggest speaking with your GP first before you try it. Yeah. Just, just double check with them. I did. My, my wonderful Nana T did. Yeah. A grandma, actually, when she first tried CBD, she said to me, hand on heart, you know how much my nan meant and still means to me, Bix. And she said to me, I have not slept that many hours in a row in a night for years. Well, this was going to be and my main question is, what is it going to help with? Who's going to hmm. take CBD? And why would you think about taking it? it absolutely. How does it even work? It, yeah. You know, wh- what is it? inside the body that CBD is actually helping with. Okay, so here's the, here's the thing. If we can have a little look at the endocannabinoid slide, I'll explain all about this. So what is that system? We all have a digestive system, we know that. We all have a nervous system, we all know that too. But they're, they're both incredibly important. We know that if it's not working well, that something will go wrong. If your digestive system isn't working, you'll get IBS, like, yes, bloating, tummy pain, nervous system, aches and pains, different um, symptoms might pop up. We've also got something called the endocannabinoid system, and that's what CBD is said to potentially work with. Okay. It's very real. It was first discovered in the 90s, identified. It's always been there, but identified. Uh, vertebrates and vertebrates have it. Our dogs and cats have it, our fur babies. I've got two fur babies actually Aww. in here with me. If they pop up on screen at any moment, please, please, I am sorry. Jesse and Jesse. Dexter do like to get involved. <laughs> Don't start Vix because they will climb onto my laptop. <laughs> Um, but we've all got this endocannabinoid system. 
and it regulates the body. It's it's basically the best way to describe it. It's a sig yeah. signaling system. And we have receptors. So as you'll see on the next slide, we've got two main receptors, CB1 and CB2. Okay. Let's take one of the CB1s, for example. Let's take that blue one in the brain. If that CB1 receptor isn't working to the best of its ability. Now we produce cannabinoids that look after the endocannabinoid system. Say if you're not producing enough, say you've gone through a stressful period of your life, food, you might not have eaten the best food recently. There's a lot going on in the world right now. You can't be blamed for not feeling 100% yourself. I know I haven't all the time. Yeah. You know, we are only human after all. But perhaps the phytocannabinoids, that stands for plant cannabinoids, mm -hmm. that these are simulating in the CBD, could help kickstart that. This is what research is suggesting. Right. Perhaps these particular cannabinoids in the oil can help kickstart those receptors. So it's almost topping up what you've already got in your body. It's acting as a as an example of. Yes, okay. so essentially, yes, but it's it's a plant version. So right. we yes, we create cannabinoids. Yeah. This is a plant version that's simulating what yeah. we naturally make. Right. And the, the the belief system is that it can bind to these receptors and and start to re-stimulate re, re them. So if, if say the one in my, say, look, I'm, I'm here with my asthma um, at the moment, and if my receptor in my lung perhaps isn't working as well, this is yeah. a theory that perhaps maybe that, that receptor isn't working very well. Right. I can tell you, however, firsthand, speaking anecdotally here, having tried CBD, having taken CBD, my goodness, it really, really helped me sleep. It helped my grandma sleep. Mm -hmm. It helped me in stressful times of my life. Um, I even just reached for it as and when. The interesting thing was that actually this fix as well. I gave grandma CBD when she was not very well. And she had asked her McMillan nurse, by the way, she checked. But then when she passed away, she gave it back. Well, I got given it back to me. Oh, gosh, I'm from, I should never talk about my nan on air because I always no, do this. No, don't you get all um, upset. Yeah, but she gave it back. Well, it yeah. got given back to me to help me through that yeah. time. In her, like, I can't talk about her on air. I no, I, it. I, I must so say it, 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 oh. it is very personal to you, and I know that a lot of people who who have had CBD and lots of my sort of lots of friends who I know who choose to to have CBD again is because of something that's very personal that's happened to them. And honestly, I'm, I mean, I'm, we're not going to sit here and tell you it will cure this, it will do this. Please give it a try because I do know people who who severe have severe aches and pains and joint problems, sleep problems, anxiety things, and it really, really has made a difference. So if you have got any questions, obviously we can't sort of go through everybody's different ailments or what tablets you're on. But if you do have any specific questions, get them in because we're happy to ask Poppy, of course, as well. Um, it is such a buzz topic at the moment, uh, Poppy. We've heard so much about CBD. There's a a lot of it in the in in the media and in the press and it's really good to have you as an expert on here just to clarify so the main sort of thing that I know most people are aware of and when I've spoken to my mom and my family about it they always worry that it's going to make them feel different to how they feel so is it going to make me high it, what's no. the difference between this and marijuana then Great question and one we get often okay. and, and completely understand. I like you, Vix, and any, anyone else asking that same question, I asked the same thing, it was my first question, but will this make me feel uh, as though I'm, I'm hallucinating? Will I feel woozy, dizzy? No, it, it, it doesn't work like that. So that's THC, that is a compound that is predominantly found in marijuana. We've taken CBD, an active compound, from the hemp plant. We've got to remember that hemp is one of the most glorious, sought after, loved plants in the world. Uh, it's used for supplements, but also clothing. Yeah. I know many of you here perhaps uh, yeah. watching today have heard not just of bamboo clothing, but hemp clothing because it's sustainable, it's beautiful, it's, it's very well known. And we have it here today in an oil, an right. oil that is organic, uh, an oil that is natural, mm -hmm. an oil that has been known to help many people with different um, different areas of the body. In fact, I mean, the reviews themselves speak volumes. The reviews themselves speak volumes. But before we go any further to those, Vix, there's something we haven't mentioned. Go on. This is water soluble. Right, so this was gonna be my next question. 
we've got it in an oil form, as you said. This is the bottle that we're looking at to start with. Now this is, it says on the graphics here, Puppy, high strength, 2.5% water soluble. What does yes. that mean? What does it mean? Okay, so here's the difference. Water soluble means that you can put it into your water, okay. you can use the pet and put it into your smoothies. You can, if you have a yogurt of the oh. morning, perhaps some people might start their mornings um, with, with porridges or anything like that. This is a way in which you can, dilute the wrong word because you're not diluting the concentration, you're, you're mixing it in. You might be diluting the taste a little bit. Personally, I, I, I don't mind the taste. I actually quite enjoy the taste, it's very earthly. As you would expect, it's from a plant. But this is a great way to incorporate it into your drinks, into your foods. You know, how do you start your morning? Do you start your morning perhaps with one of our effervescents, you know, a vitamin C yeah. maybe, and you drink that. Perhaps you start your morning with a yogurt, perhaps you start it with a smoothie. And the great thing about that is not just the fact that you can mix it, it's, <laughs> it's actually the delivery me mechanism of which this has. So right. water soluble means it's got nanoparticles. Okay, this is getting we scientific. A little bit sciencey here. Go on. We've got to remember, in our bodies, we have got stomach acids, we've got digestive organs, the liver, the kidneys, and they serve a fantastic purpose for us. So when we have something that perhaps has something that's not very good for us in, this is an example, not this, but say mm -hmm. you have something that your body wants to filter out, it'll filter as it goes down into the digestive system, it'll start to absorb it. So what we have here won't actually be the full concentration when it gets down to here into the intestines for example ah, okay so this is why we do in general high concentrations or in this instance we've done water soluble what that means is it actually protects it and you've got smaller particles that are more easily absorbed as mm -hmm. studies have suggested by the body right the amazing thing is this fix although it says 2.5 on the bottle and, and as you can see full well we offer this yeah for a 2.5 price, well, in oh, our the price world. price is incredible. We'll talk about that in a moment as well. So good, so, so good. But on top of that, this is actually the equivalent of a 10% non-water soluble. Oh. And this is the thing. Amazing. So if you think you have a 10% non-water soluble, you take yeah. that and then it goes through the digestive system, it goes yeah. through your stomach acids, it's diminished slightly by the time it's actually released in the body. Okay. Whereas this, is 2.5 and actually the equivalent of a 10% non-water soluble because it's got those nanoparticles. So it's going all the way down. It's got more what's called bioavailability. It's more easily absorbed. You get more of it actually into the body when it, when it releases in the intestines, for example. So it's so special in that you can mix it with your food and your drinks and that it is actually the equivalent because of it, it being more bioavailable to a 10% non-water soluble, but we don't offer it for a 10% price. This is why it's, it, it's for me, it's one of, if not the best value CBD we do. Right, so question coming from Lorraine, how much do I need? How much do I need? Um, and Lorraine said, how much each day? Does Hi, it Lorraine, depend on, you. on, your, on what you're using it for or is it trial and error? What, what do you think, Poppy? You You've hit the nail on the head there. Okay. Yes, absolutely. We're all different. We've all got different lifestyles and tablets, and we're all taking it for different reasons. But I can say this. So many people start with a couple of drops per day and they give it a couple of weeks. They tend to see, right, has that pain in my knee reduced? Has that RSI in my wrist got better? Um, am I feeling more alert? Am I feeling more balanced? And if you find that you could do with a little bit more, why not add another drop? So then you go to three drops per day for a couple of weeks. And I say give it a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. a week at least, each time you you add to, or, or may, you may even draw back on some of your um, doses. And remember, it comes out in droplets. So right. it, it's very easily well uh, easily controlled. In fact, Vix, can you show yeah, us this? Yeah, absolutely. So it's got the little pipette as well at the top. And you can literally just put as much or as little. I mean, this is going to last as well, I suppose, isn't it? Does it have a shelf life? 12 months, so, it says on the bottle. Yeah, so once you've opened it, 12 months, but the, the, the if you haven't opened it, you can keep it even longer than that. But it, it, it's once opened. Likelihood is, you know, you'll be using it within uh, a number of months. Some people, it takes them up to a year to use it. Some people use it within three, four months. It just depends how many droplets you're using. Okay. Um, I myself was using it particularly in the first instance for sleep. So I was actually using mine over night time and I thought, right, I'm going to put, you know, three droplets of half an hour to an hour before I went to bed to, to see if it can give me a better quality sleep. And for me personally, it worked fantastically so absolutely Brilliant. amazing and my grandma as well yeah other people are choosing to take it first thing in the morning they go right i'm going to kick start my day 
-hmm. taking it as, a, as an everyday supplement as I would say my vitamin C or my magnesium, whatever it yes. may be as an overall health and well-being supplement. Right. So almost as like a preventative, instead of, um, you know, it's, it, it isn't something that you need to take um, when something's got to a, a, a severe point, you can actually take this even if you're thinking, right, do you know what, I feel quite healthy in myself, you can just use this as a general well-being drop, droplet. Is that correct? I think for this one in particular, that's, that's often what we see. For the right. higher strength, uh, people are going for something more targeted. Okay. But as a, and, and by the way, in terms of preventative, just, just to say, we're not saying it can prevent, cure, or treat anything, but absolutely in terms of every way, every day, overall health and well-being. Uh, yeah. Yes. You know, there were days where I thought, actually, what am I really taking it for today? I'm taking it because I just, I just want to personally see if it can help me feel generally more balanced and well every day. As I take my vitamin C, I don't wait personally to get a cough or a cold to take vitamin C. I take vitamin, I've had vitamin C this morning, I had it yesterday, I've been having it yeah. every day for as long as I can remember now, yeah. not because I've waited for something to happen. Um, and again, not saying this can prevent or treat anything, but but yes, people are tending to take this every day uh, as, as an overall health and wellbeing supplement is what I'm, I'm telling you to And see. that's with your 2.5%. So Poppy, with 2.5%, you say it's equivalent to sort of around you about your 10% with non-water soluble. Um, can I drive when I've taken CBD? I mean, that might sound like a bit of a silly question, but does it affect anything with my driving? So first things first, no silly questions here whatsoever. Okay. You can ask me anything. That goes for anyone at home as well. Please, please, please. About CBD, that is, and scarves. Yeah. <laughs> I might have just opened up the floodgates there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but feel free to ask me any questions uh, and I will I will answer them. And if there's anything that I can't answer on the spot, I will go away and find out Brilliant. always. I will always come back to you. But yes, uh, Vix, absolutely. I, in fact, I know quite a few people that have taken this to help them through driving tests, uh, oh, to, to help them feel more at ease, more balanced. And this isn't going to knock you out. You're not going to take it and go like this. No. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it, it's not like a, a prescription sedative. For example, mm -hmm. an over-the-counter um, or you know a, a sleeping pill. For example, mm -hmm. this is working with the mechanisms of the body over a period of time. We are looking at a plant oil. It is a compound. It's actually different compounds in there as well, but we're focused on the CBD. We're talking about a compound from the hemp plant that has been associated with relaxing many people. Many people are reporting back a reduction of pain. Someone actually. And I was, I was on another channel last night and we were talking about CBD then, in fact, and they, mm -hmm. uh, we had a lovely message from somebody and they said to, said to us that it was the best painkiller that they had personally ever used. And again, I can't guarantee results for everybody and I can't say this will prevent, cure or treat anything. But isn't that interesting to read Absolutely. that sort of review? And you say the, the, the proof's in the pudding. I mean, there's so many reviews, aren't there? And um, I really, really would go onto the, the Primal Living um, website to have a look at the reviews. In fact, I think we've got some reviews, Kat's just saying. Um, so do you want to just talk through some of these reviews for us, Poppy? Of course, absolutely. And by the way, this is only one area we get our reviews in. So this is Trustpilot. Okay. Um, you have to have purchased to have been invited to write a testimonial. So these are genuine people like yourselves watching today that have purchased this amazing CBD. Um, this is the water soluble one as well. And Lloyd said, CBD reduces the pain in my knees, which make, makes my life much better. And then Julie said, uh, with five stars, usually use CBD 20% oil, but I feel the soluble 10% uh, uh, 10 mil is excellent value for money. It's so easy to take. I put four drops in a glass of water, water in the morning. Oh, here we go with all my vitamins. And that's me for the day. Lots of people doing that, taking it of a morning as they would their vitamins and their minerals. Or if you are looking for a particular time, I, I've done that also. So there, there's been occasions where I've gone, oh gosh, do you know what? I feel a bit, I feel a bit worked up today, a bit anxious. And again, if you, if you are feeling particularly anxious or, or, or concerned, always speak with a medical professional. But if you check with them and it's all okay and they say, yes, go for it with the CBD. Personally, I, 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 would, I would reach for it as and when even. I'd go, right, I, I feel like I've got a meeting coming up or something going on. I've even taken it sometimes before shows. I, I, I always get really excited uh, about shows 
But if I, if I want to make sure that I'm feeling as balanced as possible, sometimes I take it before, you know, whatever works for you. Um, just so you know, so some of the reviews there that you could see were about 20%. We do have the 20% as well today. We're talking about the 2.5, which is your main graphic. We've also got the 20%. If you know that you want that, you know, extra strength and you know that you're targeting something uh, particular, go straight through for the 20%. But this one at 39.99, I think as well, is fantastic, fantastic. And it actually if it works for you how do you put a price on that it's quite invaluable isn't it 39.99 now one thing I was going to ask again was about location so you mentioned at the start Poppy that um, we've got a really really good relationship and Primal have got an amazing relationship with did you say his name was Matteo his name is Matteo yes, yes. correct uh, Matteo is over in Switzerland as I okay. say we have got the direct communication, the connections, we're in constant uh, communication with Matteo, who is absolutely wonderful in Switzerland. And in this next clip here, he is actually going to be talking to us specifically about why the water soluble CBD that we have is so amazing. So, yeah, very excited to um, present our uh, or talk about our latest innovation, um, our water soluble full spectrum extract, uh, which has a THC content, which is non-detectable. Um, this water soluble um, full spectrum extract is a 100% natural product, um, which we developed uh, with a Swiss pharmaceutical company who holds a patent on a unique technology um, called Mitzel technology. And Basically, this technology allows us to encapsulate uh, substances such as CBD in, in form of a mid-cell. And uh, mid-cell are usually um, being produced by human bodies um, in order to absorb uh, substances um, once you consume something. And uh, since our CBD or extract is already encapsulated um, through this technology, um, the body doesn't have to do it anymore for, for, uh, in order to absorb it. And uh, this allows us to have a much faster absorption of the active ingredients and a much higher uh, effectiveness. So our water soluble has a very high bioavailability. So the bioavailability is basically the percentage of the sub substance uh, that reaches the, the systematic circulation of the body. And the higher the bioavailability, the more effective the product is. And um, our Swiss pharmaceutical companies um, run several clinical studies and uh, studies have shown that this mid-cell technology uh, increased the bioavailability um, up to 90%. So if you compare the water soluble to uh, regular CBD oil, um, it's four up to five times more effective than a uh, regular oil. So, I mean, it's brilliant to hear directly from Matteo and just know that you've got that um, trust and the reliable source to go to. And I must say, it's something that I've seen more and more and more and more recently on high streets in um, balms and salves and drinks, foods. And so many different companies are now all talking about CBD and it's becoming less of a... Uh, a taboo or a, a wonder it's we're all being more and more educated about the benefits of it so poppy another question that i know we'll probably have a lot of people asking is right yes i can see it on the high streets obviously it's brilliant because you know me you know us um, as a group of gemporia and steve bennett who's been of course around for so many years now on our televisions but What's the difference between all these different CBDs or how do I know which ones to go for or which ones to avoid? The beauty of what we have here today, for example, is that we have this amazing platform where you can get your questions in live. Yeah. And we actually are able to tell you all of the background on this. We can tell you the location. We can tell you that it's organic. We can tell you the concentrations. We've just speaking to, uh, spoken to Matteo, who mm -hmm. is the co-founder of this. All of these elements bring you quality CBD. 
I would just be, I'm not saying that all of the CBDs aren't like that on the high street, but I'd just be wary of concentrations. I'd be wary of quality. I'd be wary of the, uh, the source, all of those elements. And, and do your research, do your homework. The great thing is we've done all that for you. So we can say, this is where it's from. Let's meet Mateo. It is organic. It's grown in bio soil. By the way, bio soil, just to touch upon that, means that they've actually taken the stems and the lower leaves and they've used that to fertilize the soil. Right. It's only the top leaves and the top flowers they use for the CBD oil, or we use rather. And the reason we do that is it's got the highest concentration and quality of CBD. So we're, we're utilizing the whole plant, nothing gets thrown. We take the bottom, it goes into the soil, it fertilizes it and creates an even um, more vibrant and, and healthy plant for us to extract the oil from. So it's all these little elements that make us stand out and we have actually brought to you other cbds before pro life as an example mm -hmm. also phenomenal quality uh that's a different location that's colorado usa very sunny very vibrant um, what we have here for you today is another phenomenal location high up in the alpine swiss mountains where the air is so clean uh the conditions for the growth is absolutely sensational and that's what makes us stand out also being honest, fix it is pricing as well. It is pricing. Well, that's it. You can pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds for CBD. You can get it also very, very affordably. So please do, as we said, ask the questions. Please do get in touch with us. Here's um, a 5% uh, CBD oil. It's £59.99. Um, so that's the 10 mil, which is the same as what we're looking at here. So how does that sort of compare, Poppy? So... It's not a direct comparison because first things yeah. first, it's not water soluble. That additional ah. technology, that delivery mechanism is a lot different to, to, to what other people can offer. In fact, I've never seen, as it stands, another water soluble. It's the only water soluble we do. This is unique for us. So it's definitely unique for other people yes. as well. But again, we, we have the resources with Matteo and, and the Swiss farm. They've been doing this for over 15 years. Yeah. So it, that in itself showcases what we're able to offer, what they're able to offer, who we partner with. So water soluble for me, so unique. We've also got to remember that actually technically you're getting a higher concentration. Mm -hmm. The bottle says 2.5, but it's the equivalent of a 10% non-water soluble. Right. You've just seen a 5% non-water soluble that's higher than in price than what we have here. A reminder as to why this is the equivalent, because these have nanoparticles that are more easily absorbed. Mm -hmm. A 10%, when you drink a 10% or put a droplet of 10% of, of CBD in the body, it's not 10% by the time it gets down to, I'm actually touching my tummy, I know you can't see that there, but uh, down to the intestine, because it's gone through the stomach acids, it's gone through your digestive system, and all of that gets absorbed, it's broken down. Mm -hmm. By the time it gets to where it really needs to go, mm -hmm it's actually less. Right. Whereas this has these nanoparticles, that delivery mechanism that is entirely unique, so special. And we can do it affordably because we have the connections and because we design the packaging in house as well. All of those elements keep the cost price down. We're, we're really like the best kept secret when it comes yeah. to supplements and CBD and clothing. Yeah. It, it, it's it's quite amazing. Absolutely. Now, we only have a really limited amount of time with Poppy. And obviously, we could talk about this for hours. And it's so interesting, isn't it? It's really, really interesting. We do want to offer you the higher strength, though, because I know a lot of people are messaging in about different um, and things that have been getting them down. Um, but if you do want to target a particular pain who is it that you think should go for the 20 percent poppy what we tend to see with the 20 percent because it is the highest strength that we do across any of our ranges okay are those that are looking to target an area more so again yeah. little disclaimer i'm not saying this prevents cures or treats anything yeah but do we see amazing results from reviews yeah do we see lots of people reporting back that their pain has reduced that their inflammation is reduced that uh, they're feeling more at ease, that they're sleeping better, they're less stressed. Do we see those reviews? 
yes, yes, and yes again, and I will show you those here well, today. Of well, Poppy, actually, I you. think people might have watched your shows in the past because we've already had people who have come in and multiple already on these. So Fantastic. I'm presuming that they've already found you and loved it and buying multiple. So just be aware that anybody who's watching for the first time has not seen or heard um, of um, the Alpine C CBD, then please do make sure that you're not waiting too long to check out because there's a lot of people who are coming in to re reorder. Um, so is this something that I put on my skin? Because this isn't water soluble this time. So where do, how do I use this? So with this one, it's directly under the tongue. So you oh, open okay. it up, you've got the pipette. Yeah. We say under the tongue, um, if you swallow it, that's absolutely fine. But it, it's just better to put it directly under the tongue because it's more easily absorbed into the bloodstream. Okay. And as you can see, it's really easy to control. You can do one drop, two drop, 10 drops, however you choose to use it. I'm often yeah. seeing people start with a couple of drops per day okay. and then seeing how they get on after a couple of weeks and going, actually, have my migraines reduced? Do I feel... Uh, less stressed. If I feel in the need a little bit more, maybe you up it to another drop. You know, it's as easy as that to tailor around, tailor around your needs, your lifestyle, what it is that you might be looking to take this for. Right. Should we have a look at what other people have taken this for as well? Yeah, absolutely. This was. Um, there's a lot of people who are asking um, individual questions about different ailments. And I know that you would say, Poppy, it's worth speaking to your GP as well, just to check in case you're on already any other uh, other medication right have a look at these testimonials so what we have here again five star reviews specifically on the 20 percent. and christina said can't emphasize enough the positive effect that this has had on my life it has reduced my osteoarthritis pain significantly and enabled me to get through some days almost pain-free 100 percent is never going to be possible with my condition but it's life-changing as far as i'm concerned thank you steve and toby's getting a thank you there as well and all at primal that is amazing can i read the other one as well yeah Vicks? absolutely please do thank you lovely so uh lynn here lynn applegate said this product is as it was advertised mm -hmm. the oil is clear and has virtually no taste that's nice to know isn't it because i know taste is quite um yeah. a, a big question that we get in as well it has helped with general issues for arthritis in my joints which is what i wanted it to help with luckily i'm in good general health but as i get older i want to keep as active as possible for as long as possible oh, and great. this product helps me to do so i am 72 years old oh my goodness lynn Brilliant. and christina and and to everybody that's message, thank you for taking the time to do so. It is so great to hear your results. Uh, and please do keep keep sending those in because you are what, what keeps us going. We don't Absolutely. do big billboard campaigns. You know this, Vix. We don't do big no. advertisements. You don't see us on the side now. of buses, no. No, you don't. No. no, I don't think anybody would want my, my face enlarged on the side of a bus. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we exactly, we, 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 we live on, on your reviews and... Your, your word of mouth, that's it. Your word of mouth, that's the best, best kind of uh, marketing, in my opinion, because it's Agreed. it's real, real yes. real testimonials. It's social proof. So, Poppy, this one says it's got coconut oil in it as well. Yes. I know how yes, good coconut does. oil is for you anyway. I know it's brilliant for your skin and your hair. I mean, my cooking, I'll have it on my hair. It's lovely anyway, isn't it? Um, so it's why great. is it that this one's um, infused, it's also got uh, coconut oil in? Coconut oil is also in this because studies have suggested that the coconut oil uh, is able to help with the absorption. So on the oh. last one, we had the water soluble nanoparticles. That's yeah. the delivery mechanism that is helping as much of the bio. In fact, it's enhancing the bioavailability, the absorption. With this one, you've got coconut oil because coconut oil has something called MCTs. They're okay. called medium chain triglycerides. Ah. Putting it really simply, they are known to help with assist, assist absorption. They've also got antibacterial and anti, uh, that's when I say viral, that's my fault, sorry, antivital, but they're also vital too, <laughs> uh, antiviral properties. And studies have shown that they may be able to even speed up metabolism. Right. It, uh, Brilliant. I know some people have actually said to me they've taken CBD for weight management, and we're not about skinny or anything like that we're all different shapes and sizes and and, and that that's beautiful that's what we're about but so if you're does looking that help, about... it help it get to the right place quicker basically yes so okay. so coconut oil is often used in in not just this supplement many supplements because it is it is said as studies have suggested to to help with absorption ah, so it's okay. helping the cbd it's like the friend of cbd going come on on you go on you go yeah. pushing it along <laughs> 
Amazing. So that's brilliant. That's another fantastic positive point that it's also got the coconut oil in. Um, so just to make you aware, loads of you checking out on both 2.5 and also the, the 20%. Is the one that you would recommend for people who have never tried CBD before, Poppy? If you've never tried it before, what I tend to see are people going for the 2.5 initially because it's very versatile in that you can mix it with your water, mix it with your drinks, mix it with your yogurts, mix it yeah. with your smoothies. Smoothies are great, by the way, to start your day because you can get your veg and also your fruits in. Can you still you take really it take... straight? Can you still put it under your tongue or would you just suggest putting it as a water soluble? Because it hasn't uh, got it... the coconut oil. It would, it, the advisory is to mix it because okay. of the delivery mechanism. Yeah. I do know lots of people that are also using this on their skin. In fact, I'd probably go, if, if it were me, I'd be going for the 20% uh, if I'm using it on the skin. You can use both um, topically. So if you've got dry rashes, dry elbows, cracked heels, some people are even using it on the face. Like anything, I'd just say avoid, you know, the eye area. That's, you know, mm -hmm. with anything you put on the face. But if you've got Someone said that it's really helped them with adult acne, actually, was a wow. message that I got going back a few months ago. There's so many reasons and ways in which you might be able to use this and which you might be able to um, seek benefits from this based on the reviews that we have seen. Lots oh, of people are... Absolutely. Yes. Pops, I was going to say, I've watched um, lots of your shows on Gemporia and the amount of messages that come through and even you and um, the guests and everybody is, is sometimes quite surprised of, oh, I haven't heard that it's helped for that. Or, yeah, I've heard it's helped for this, but it's brilliant to have the review. So it is, like you say, the proof in the pudding. All of these amazing reviews are real people who have bought this product. Um, we've got loads of reviews and there are uh, so many on the, the Primal Living website as well. So if you are umming and ahhing about it, read everybody's reviews. Don't take our word for it. These are more about the, the water soluble, which is your 2.5% as well. Yes, so that, that this is your 2.5. So I'll show you this slide. And in fact, we have another one that I can show you. In fact, a couple more reviews even, that, that just a two of very many uh, on the 20%. But let's read these as well if you're looking to get the water soluble. Okay. Uh, Carol, I uh, have used this for a couple of weeks now and have found that I sleep better and don't get wound up about things so much now. <laughs> Gosh, Carol, you know, that, that's worth its weight in gold, isn't it? I've been, I've been um, in, in the house with Sam, uh, this is my how partner. Are or, he's, how are things? Things are great, but I'll tell you what, Vix, it just made me realise more than ever what a patient man he is, <laughs> predominantly with me. <laughs> but but we, we've had to really be careful with the internet as well. So if I do a show, he's got to be careful that he's not on a, a, a client call, but in at the risk of it knocking one of us out. Yeah. Um, he's ever such a patient man, uh, even without CBD. But going back to that as well, uh, what Carol said there really helped her uh, feel less wound up about things. I, you know, I think we could all do with that at some point in our lives, couldn't we? Yeah. Um, have started my husband. Oh, here we go. Have started my husband on two drops twice Brilliant. a day. <laughs> <laughs> See what we've done there, Carol. Um, he has coped and uh, that causes... He has coped and that causes anxiety. So he's, he's got anxiety by the sounds of it and gets panicky about things and it seems to calm him. Oh my goodness, thank you for sharing this. So it's a win-win for both of us. Um, put it in juice in the morning and evening drinks so can't taste it. Great idea, Carol, you can add it to juices. Avon, eases pain, I have uh, associated to joints in fingers and knees. Take four drops in a little water twice a day. Brilliant. And you say that we've got some as well for the 20%. A few people who have purchased the 20%, um, which is... Um, again, still your 10 mil bottle. So how long do, do, do these generally last? Or is that a bit of a difficult question, Poppy? It, it does depend on each person. Okay. For me, I was using mine in about four months and I was using anywhere between two to two to six drops a day sometimes, but I would vary it. So it was hard for me to sort of say the average no, because some days... Sense. Yeah, it's it, it, but months, some people go up to a year, some people um, use it within two months. Right. I would say get it home and start with a couple of drops per day. Well, that's what I tend to see people do. Start with a couple of drops per day, give it a week or two, see if what you're taking it for is reduced. So has my pain reduced? Has have my headaches reduced? Am I sleeping better? And if you still feel like you need a little bit more, add another drop and then do the same, and then add another drop, and on and on and on it goes, you know, see how you get on. Brilliant. Poppy, we're bringing on screen the 20% testimonials. 
This uh, is from Denisa. So five star again, fantastic Swiss product, which does exactly what it is advertising and more. Uh, Denisa bought it for her cousin who is currently going through, oh gosh, Denisa, thank you for sharing this with us, uh, through cancer treatment. We send all our love to you. And it helped him massively uh, with side effects. Uh, we'll go back to that in a moment, actually. Thank you so much and highly recommend. Thank you, Denisa. Um, and Lynn again uh, mentioned about the 20%. This product is a bit expensive for me, but you get what you pay for. So we understand it is an investment, but it's an investment that people are seeing differences with. You can see by the packaging and the quality of the oil that it's top draw. I will continue to use this product as long as I can afford it. I'm a pensioner and I can feel the benefits of the upgrade to the 20%. It will last, possibly last longer, it will indeed, as the dosage, uh, you know, you need to use less. Uh, so it, it, it evens out in the long run. Poppy, they're all point five there, star. Then. They're all five star mm. reviews, aren't they, that are coming in? It's brilliant. Very, very, very good. The reviews on CBD are particularly uh, amazing, I have to say. And you could argue that that supplements is quite subjective because we're all different. One person might be taking this or, or buying this today for joint pain. Someone else might be thinking, gosh, I, I've been having a really rotten night's sleep uh, recently, so I'm gonna take it for that reason. Someone else might be watching and thinking, oh, you know, I, I find that when I'm in the car for long periods of time, when you might be going back to work, driving to the office, my knees start to ache so many different reasons mm -hmm. and yet we get so many five star reviews which is <laughs> so good it, it, it's testament to what what's being done yeah. absolutely um now puppy because we've got 10 minutes left i can't believe how how quick this hour is going um so is there anything else that you wanted to touch on or anything else that you wanted to mention about the cbd before we talk about you bamboo before we move on to you, Bamboo, if we can maybe just uh, remind everybody uh, with the CB1 and CB2 receptors, what CBD has been associated with. So remember, CBD has been talked about potentially re-stimulating the receptors in our body on the endocannabinoid system. I know it sounds like a lot of information, but these are your receptors. CBD may be able to help get your CB1 receptor in your brain working better, the one in your lungs working better, perhaps, um, ones that look, look after the immune system. So it's about supporting potentially overall health and well-being. We'd love to hear how you get on, whatever reason it may be that you chose to go for the CBD today. Uh, and again, thank you for having us. Now oh, we've please got leave us reviews. The, the scarves. <laughs> Absolutely, leave us reviews. We can't wait to hear how you get on and, and want to know what it's helping um, you with. Um, we've had a lot of questions. Will it help this? Will it help that? Um, it's definitely worth. I know that Poppy, how do we find you on social media if there's any particular questions that, that, that we can directly sort of ask, ask you? Uh, so my name is Poppy Valentine Hadkinson. That is my real name. I didn't make it up. Uh, neither did my, well, my mum kind of did. Uh, and if you find me on Instagram, it's probably the best way to get me, although I have a Facebook account as well. Uh, and just drop me a direct message. Uh, if I can help you, I absolutely will. Just to confirm, so I, I'm certified in nutritional therapy, but it, it's always advisory to speak with your GP as well because, you know, any medication you might be on. Brilliant, thank you. So, um, something else which I know we've all loved here in the past, and I know that we haven't got anywhere near enough to, uh, time to talk about it in the depth that, that we'd like to, but it is something that we've, we have touched on back in October last year with Steve Bennett. You Bamboo, this is such an amazing brand, and for a number of reasons, Poppy, isn't it? I love Bamboo. I've got the Bamboo bedding, and I absolutely swear by it. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> Gosh, what's not to love about you, Bamboo? It's I am. Um, it? It's the best. It is, and I really feel that. I, I honestly do. It is the softest, most beautiful oh, material. I'm really funny about what I wear around my neck as well because of my asthma. Uh, yeah. for, for a long, long time, you know, I was very, you know, high necks, anything like that. Even necklaces, I got very panicky about, yeah. and I'm still. I'm still funny about what I put onto my skin because I get psoriasis and I know lots of people suffer with psoriasis and eczema. Yeah. This is the most lightweight, softest. It, it's like silk, but not slippy. That's yeah. the best way I can yeah. describe it in the absence of you touching it. Obviously you'll get this home. Yeah. And it's yeah. so sustainable as well, Vic, so sustainable. Well, this is it. It's not only good for you, it's good for the environment as well, isn't it? So why is it that um, Steve sort of started down the road of bamboo? 
Okay, so bamboo, why bamboo? Mm -hmm. This particular material is so eco-friendly, so sustainable. We here at Primal Living believe in healthy body, healthy mind, but also healthy planet, and this covers all bases. Oh, great. It's antibacterial, you know, look at it, tick, 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 green tick for all of them. Antibacterial, so bamboo uh, stays fresher for longer, it helps reduce odors. When it's actually growing, it doesn't need that much water, so it re requires far less water than cotton, making it more sustainable. Mm -hmm. It's it's grown without pesticides and fertilizers, like that of the hemp with the CBD oil. So mm -hmm. you've actually got a hypoallergenic material. So if you've got eczema or psoriasis or irritability of the skin, it's far kinder to the body. Oh, brilliant! It's one hundred percent. I know it's one hundred percent biodegradable, can be returned to earth, um, and you get far more bamboo yarn than you would cotton. It grows quicker, you get more of it, it's softer, it's cleaner, it's more sustainable. And today we have multiple beautiful colours for you. Oh, and Poppy, I had a pair of bamboo socks for Christmas years ago, and it had about 12% bamboo, but they were marketed as bamboo socks. Whereas I've just looked on the label here, 100% bamboo. I mean, this isn't just a small percent, including bamboo. These are bamboo, aren't they? They're absolutely beautifully soft. They are indeed, and you have to look out for this. Often it's 50% bamboo, or I mean, even, yeah. even yeah, less. 50 more, yeah, less in, in, that, yeah. in that instance. And then the next, and then sometimes it's cotton or polyester, which is kind of plastic, really. But anyway, uh, this is not that. This is 100% bamboo, and I know you all love your stitching here as well. If you look closely, you can see that it's got the most beautiful diagonal parallel stitching that yeah. creates almost an, an iridescence, a pearlescence to the material. It's not glittery and it hasn't got sequins on or anything like that, but the, the, the stitching itself is so cleverly done and the material is such high grade. And because it's 100% bamboo, not a bit of polyester, a bit of cotton, a bit of this, you have this, this shimmer, this mm -hmm. sheen, that is absolutely glorious. Oh, we've had so many people who bought them for Christmas presents. I personally bought loads of these for everybody at Christmas. I'm currently wearing the ivory, just so you know which your graphic is live for. Poppy, were you aware of these new prices we were doing? So I messaged, uh, well, Kat yesterday and I said, right, I've spoken with Steve Bennett, the Bennett, the founder, yeah. and I asked permission, I had to ask permission. Oh, brilliant. Of course, and we have got this on an entirely exclusive price. Vicky, we've never even done this on our own website, and now we don't even have these available on our own yeah. website because I we bought, I said to them, look, can we have everything from the warehouse? And they said, well, you know, well, look, we, we, you know that would make, keep, mean we're sold out on our website on Primal. Yeah but it's been done. So if you go to primalliving.com, you will find a sold out sticker on all of the bamboo scarves now. Oh, they are here. amazing. Thank you so much. I mean, we have had so many people who have come back and said, when are we going to get the scarves again? So do make the most of it. Uh, so this is the ivory that I'm wearing. The one that Poppy's wearing is the coral. I've been wearing this all morning and I had loads of compliments. This is the one that I bought for my mom for Christmas and she's had so many compliments on it. Um, and it's just $14.99 today. It's absolutely beautiful. That's the coral. It is definitely worth making the most of these. Kerry in Cumbria has messaged in. I've oh, just got my scarf. Brilliant. Love bamboo clothing. Being vegan, I love anything natural and organic, she says. Oh, it's so lovely. And it is being kind to the environment as well, isn't it, Poppy? Kind to the environment, kind to you. It covers all bases. And we're being even kinder today with the prices, with yeah. the TV exclusive that we have on offer for you today, uh, which is absolutely outstanding. For me, this reminds me of Kashmir. And, and if you were to it pay for Kashmir, you'd be, you'd be looking hundreds and hundreds. In fact, I found a very conservative example Here we go. of Kashmir. 124. Now, this isn't Kashmir. This is bamboo. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I actually prefer it for so many reasons, for the sustainability factor and so on. So let's have a look at a 100% bamboo scarf so you can get an idea. Now, that's beautiful, I have to say. Beautiful colour. Uh, they've got the frayed uh, edges to give it character like ours. $34.95. Big difference to $14.99. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're great prices. And, and, and that one as well is like a sort of pashmina style. So is this. I love how versatile they are, Poppy. So you know when we get to go to all of the occasions that have probably been postponed over the last year or so, it's lovely as a wrap as well mm -hmm. as like a scarf like this, isn't it? Vicky, it's actually six foot in height. Can I do something? Can I yep. stand back? I'm going to take my headphones out. Bear with me. Yeah, give us um, a give us a twirl. Um, we've got the grey graphics in, just so you know, which is the one that's been on the uh, dress form the whole time. This is the one that Wendy Orlando loves, and there's only four left. 
we'll let Poppy do her, her twirls. So she's just shown you how big it is. That is really long, isn't it? So if you do want to, to, to make something else with it, you absolutely could. You could embroider on it. You could use it as fabric and make something else because it is a lot of fabric there. The grey, there are now four left. Four left of the grey. Um, very, very limited on the coral. The rose gold's completely sold out. We have also got the khaki, which was really busy on pre-order. Um, this is your olive green, which... Oh, it's still got that slight sort of sheen to it, hasn't it? It looks very, very expensive. Kat's comparing it to when you have your hair done at the hairdressers. It's very luxurious. Oh, gosh, we all miss that, don't we? Oh, Do you remember gosh, those days? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's uh, lovely puppy. I might have I might have done it myself a few days ago, Vicky. Thank you very much. I might have got the, uh, uh, the, the hair dye out and have a little go myself. <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. Um, we've got some reviews um, of these beautiful bamboo scarves as well, haven't we? We do. They're so loved. They're so lightweight. They're so soft. Angela said to us, I bought this for my mother for Christmas. She loves it so much. She has ordered another two. It is so soft, not a bit itchy and lightweight. Again, lovely light scarf. Got two now. Uh, Sandra, Mrs. Thomas there. Absolutely phenomenal. They're soft. They're lightweight. If you're um, very susceptible to, to itching against materials like yeah. me, yeah. then you will love these. I've never had a scarf so soft in my entire life, and no. I mean that hand on heart and the colours. I mean, stepping into spring with this, yeah. you can wear it with any outfit, dress it up, dress it down, wrap it around you at a wedding, wrap it around you of an evening. Yeah. Or wear, I mean, I've got this on with a pair of jeans and a white top today. Yeah. It, it, it's so versatile. Brenda says, perfect, even when walking the dog. It's really lovely. There's so many, um, I've bought this for, for a lot of the gents in my life as well. It's, it's unisex, isn't it? Brilliant for him or for her. Yes, yes. Sam's actually got the black one um, because, it, again, black goes with everything. Goes with everything. Uh, so it's it's just easy to wear. It's like the you know LBD little black dress. We Absolutely. you know we, that that's a well known saying. But yes, uh, they are for men. They are for women. I if I'm being honest, Vix, quite often recently I've just sat you know in the house with it wrapped around me because it's so sizable. I walk in it. I wear it in the house. Uh, I can't wait to go out and see people and oh, show no. people. Show it off. <laughs> um, now we've officially run out of time. All of the colours are underneath us on the website. We've ran through all the graphics. I mean, you've seen them all dotted around the set all day today. Um, so pick your colours, multi-buy at this brand new lowest ever price of Sewing Street. Puppy, one, it's so good to see you and I can't wait until we can meet up in person when we can have you in the studio or even we can pop round and see each other for a coffee. It's been lovely I to see you. I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Thank you to you, Vicky. Thank you to the whole team. And thank you to each and every single one of you for watching and allowing me here today. I know it's something a little bit different, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, um, it's been so informative. Thank you. And if you'll have me back, I'll, I'll be happy to pop back at some point in the future as well. We'll have you back. We'll have you back. We also have the bamboo mask on the website, which we haven't even talked about. Now, tomorrow's show looks a little bit like this. We have got Delphine Brooks here. It's going to be good. We've got a brand new applique wall hanging, Felix the Fox, which we've decided to put it straight on at eight o'clock because they always sell out. Nine o'clock fabric bundles and pre-cuts. Ten o'clock, we've got Dolly the Dog, draft excluder for just for you, cat. 10 o'clock we've got Moda and 12 o'clock we've got our daily dose of Yarn Lane. Thank you ever so much to lovely Poppy and Alison Marion. Pre-order tomorrow will be live from half seven. We'll see you at eight. Bye.